Ladies and welcome to the uh, live coverage of the second day here at the uh, Saints Quadrangular Tournament 2022. We had an eventful day one yesterday with uh, T10 cricket and basketball happening. And to kick things off, uh, the second day we have uh, Rugby Sevens, St. Peter's College taking on St. Benedict's College in this opening encounter. They score at halftime uh, 17 points to nil St. Peter's, having a 17 point buffer against uh, St. Benedict's College. As uh, this is the second and final day of the uh, St. Scott Rangula, we will have the uh, finals of all the three sports today. And uh, joining with me to kick a day two off is Sudarshana Piris. Good morning, Sudarshana. Very good morning to you, Laksisi, and a uh, very good morning to all our viewers joining us on uh, Sri Lanka's number one sports app, www.thepapri.com. Coming to you live, like Laksisi mentioned, from uh, Bob Lepidia, the St. Peter's College grounds. One of the very few uh, school grounds in Sri Lanka where you can accommodate a full rugby pitch and a cricket ground. Some of the schools do have uh, both the facilities, but in... Uh, respective grounds of weather forecast maximum temperature at 30 minimum at 24 currently feels like it's around the 28 mark partly cloudy so it's a gloomy sunday morning but if you are up early you're joining us on sri lanka's number one sports hub you are a real sports buff st Peter's college of course uh, playing against uh, the bents he tried a definite favourite, 17 points to nil, a commanding first half performance from them. Straight away, puts the ball in space to the winger, who has no problem, but sprints right down the post. He tried picking up from exactly where they left off, making things look so ever easy. Complete mismatch here. Luxe see, especially given the fact that uh, the Benedict Tynes uh, are playing in uh, the lower division. The eager, eager cricket fans will pardon me if I say this is uh, quite similar to yesterday's uh, World, <laughs> World Cup T20 encounter between uh, New Zealand and Sri Lanka. Well, the difference here is that uh, Sri Lanka actually had a chance yesterday, but here St. Bendix actually, they, as you said, it's a really big mismatch as we all know. St. Bendix, they play in the lower division and St. Peter is one of the uh, better schools in rugby here in Sri Lanka. So it's going to be a really good experience for the uh, Bendix Tines. Yes, the Benz will uh, take a lot uh, from this. We spoke about um, how the Bens are inexperienced and you can see that from their attacking patterns as well. They don't use the entire width of the field, beat rights at home. They know exactly every single blade of grass here at uh, Bombalipitya. Using the space, pace and the experience to keep the continuity going, keep hold of possession. But it's uh, moments like this that Benz need to try and take uh, advantage of, try and count as much as they can. Because defensively, if you see, they're only covering a quarter of the ground. And when you do that, what happens is gaps are bound to open up. And here's a foot race. And uh, that's the second try of the second half. St. Peter's. Getting another score under their belt. A packed day of uh, rugby yesterday, um, Luxe like internationally as well. The Autumn International is happening and also uh, the Rugby World Cup 2021, the Women's Rugby World Cup, which is currently happening um, in New Zealand, concluded with uh, the two first two uh, quarterfinals New Zealand and of course uh, that's uh, the replay of uh, the second touchdown 
New Zealand and France having booked their place in the semi and uh, England playing uh, their quarterfinal currently and I in a commanding lead 19 points to 7 will fancy their chances to go the distance and in the autumn internationals Scotland yet again so very close but uh, yet a little too far 15 points to 16 Murrayfield did think that they had a very famous win to crow about but uh, worse not to be as the Wallabies just managed to get across the line it's going to be very interesting this year like to see because uh, this is going to be the final time these teams are going to meet each other before the World Cup which will be held in Northern Hemisphere and uh, these Northern Hemisphere teams are putting up a real charge against the Southern Hemi Hemisphere rivals who generally hold uh, the upper hand as indeed Sudarshana, as you said, uh, Scotland, even in World Cups, that has been the case, isn't it? They have always been there and there about, but just at the end, they always give it away. That has been the story for them. And uh, talking about uh, rugby, how good was that encounter between New Zealand and Japan yesterday? All Blacks had a really close call against the Japanese, the Brave Blossoms. What a terrific story for Asia, isn't it? The Asia rugby. Japan really have been uh, the lone horse from Asia, keeping that flag so very up high. 31 points to 38 against whatever All Blacks team that could be. Could be the C, D or E side. It's going to be that jersey that they represent. Uh, 31 points to 38. Uh, terrific effort. Absolutely terrific effort from Japan. Final couple of minutes, all the All Black fans would have had their hearts in their mouths because um, Ian Forster seems like he's collecting badges, all the unwanted kind, and they could have been <laughs> a, a real massive blow in his armor because um, he doesn't have much left, uh, Laxi, like from um, how things have panned out. <coughs> And um, incidentally, yesterday, uh, oh, there you go. The first try from the bench. They needed to make use of any opportunity that they got. Used a uh, short-term penalty that uh, was awarded by the referee for a crooked throw by St. Peter's College. The big man going across. Nobody was going to stop him. The Patriots will be disappointed. They would have wanted to keep a clean sheet. It's the first game of uh, this shortened competition only three teams taking part in uh, this competition coming back to what i meant what i what we were chatting about new zealand versus uh, the brave blossoms and uh, the new zealand rugby fraternity having trouble five years ago to date it was the last time new zealand uh, saw five of their greats play in uh, new zealand the likes of uh, Richie McCord, Dan Coles, Kevin Mialamu, Manonu, and also the absolutely impressive Conrad Smith. Two centers, fly off hooker, and uh, your number seven. The All Blacks, unfortunately, ha are yet to replace every single one of those positions with uh, players getting consistent uh, game time. They've tried so many options but are yet to settle down despite uh, a World Cup after. That's indeed Sudarshan because uh, when you look at that, they have never recovered from those uh, losses, New Zealand. And uh, because of those losses, actually the other teams, they have managed to narrow that gap between themselves and the All Blacks. The Japan team is the perfect example because whatever the team that played against Japan, they were always there to score a three-digit score New Zealand against Japan especially those days but now it's just a seven point gap between the two teams that has been the story that has been the development of Japan rugby and at the same time the uh, I really don't want to say this especially in front of you but as the uh, level of rugby that New Zealand have played in the recent uh, past well, yes, uh, here's some uh, confidence in uh, the Benedictines, uh, but uh, 
I think uh, that lad there would have wanted to be part of uh, the crew who are currently playing to our right in the basketball turf. But uh, that brings us uh, to the close of uh, the first encounter. Petra is taking a very comfortable win, 27 points to 5. One consolation try for the Benedictines. First game of uh, which has uh, turned out to be a try series. Pete Wright's taking the early advantage, 27 points to 5. Highlights on the second half. Pete Wright's had a 17 point advantage, having dominated the first half. Scored uh, at the whistle in the second, right underneath the post. And then uh, again, a little dink can a chase, tossing down underneath the purse. And this was uh, the moment of glory for all the Benedictines who scored their one and only try against uh, the Beatrites. It's end of the first game. Next up, uh, we, the key stats of uh, the game five tries for the Beatrites with a single con conversion, and uh, Benedictines, of course, tossing down just for that uh, solitary try 27 points to 5 is the final confirmation next up we have the Pete Wrights taking on the Antonians well we'll go for a quick commercial break and we'll come back with the second game your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. ओडिबारे <laughs> उपलब्ध 
वैदिकल यानन नो यानन मात्रन अपने तेरुंगान पुलांगुना कोतरम विशिष्ट तीर में अधिक लगा पाएंगे लोग के में में न कोटा उक्कम अनित पैतर गील लती बुने क्या ने खाडू रखीन न दूंने उधर बैठ करना पुलांग कैने करना मुतोब इट आत्पसीम वेनस तीर में गाना प्रसाद जावर न कीनो खाना एम खाडू र कुमार नंबर तो ना बैठ करना कोट आप इधमो यार गोल इससे ला फील करागे ना तो आप इधमो ए ए अनेक कंडाय में लाखों हार से बना गान आप इधमो दावा से काम आ रहा है बैठ कर तो आप ही बैठ करने गई ला पाले नहीं ओवर देखे विकट टैक क्या ना तो कुमार बैठ करने अन्नो है तो कुमार दावा से काम आ रहा है Trumping yang misalnya, ni pulang catch yang misalnya. I think, yang agi atteram average juga dibbe, kalau hatalis gan, hatalir hatalis gan anggol dibbe. I think, mama ya dek juga, wah, balan dah me, me ni katika kamaru job beka, wah ata keep kalla bet, keep kalla bet keran orang, wah number part height agi, kian gilkris agi bet keran dah nak. Ni kat keepers la bet, samaning bet keran ni A level lagi, pahari high ari, samaning high. इतिंग या इच्छा रखें मतलब उन्हें या मटक कीवे या कीप करने वाले या के बैटिंग में टे एक आ हेल्प पे ना किला मुको दे बोले ना पेन वाले इतिंग ये वाले इतिंग आप ये लाये तीर ने गत्ता मुको दे आप ये हितो खंडा है मेनुए ये ट पस्ते मांगिता ने या के एवरेज जगह हैटा पहाड़ वाले आवा में नॉन कीपिंग बैटिंग Mai dah ni, keeping kalau lekat tak mereka hati lisan orang mana ni dibbe, keeping nawat nawat tu lah ya betting macam tu, muka dia ada tu orang hunger ke ready, tu dia ada mana dah, wicket keep keram ya ada responsibility ada tiga ni, tu dia ni wicket keeping, ni tiga ni tu, ini betting mana tawat ready pun responsibility, kalau itu ni ya, gahapu duitnya satu ke satu ke permainan ini ready puna, tu dia ini ini kapit penuh puna, mungkin tu ni ke, ini kata tiri ni, kanda ni ni kata tiri ni. Ting ekar sama, ibilah ini kuma ponca kekar dasar tu tu nanti, mungkin tuan ni Rex Kiwa lagi, hati itu hari la balun aku tu, ekar mungkin tuan ni yaat, ya ke average result tu, ekar improve la tuin, ting mungkin tuan ni ekar tu tuir ni, mudah terus mah, wicket keeper kene tamar retest match, one day match je ke pulua, api one day bela ya wah ingkari ni, one day bela keep kara, test match asal itu tera kapi yaat Kiwa. वाह मैं नंबर थ्री बैठ करने में भाई विकेट कीपिंग काटा रही दिन में अरविंद सिल्वा की इनको बोल क्या करते हैं बहुत अरविंद ये क्या ना की इन्होंने ना अरविंद ये हम उठते में तीनों का उरोरे वीरे मामा क्रिकेट गान का लेने में मगे थी एक कम वीरे अरविंद ये मुझे मामा ऐसे रह मैच बाला नहीं अरविंद ये बैठ करने नोट वितरा है अरविंद ये गाहन ठीक है बाला ना या उठना डबासे मामा है ना तीन ये एक तीबुना लुकुए लुकुए टोलवे एक तार मांग की हुआ याम किसी ही नहीं आकुआ गये हुना मट अरविंद ये तक मेहमे कर क्रीड़ा कराना लगूना ये कहने मागे तीबुनु मटे वार तेरे ने कोह मत किया नहीं किया था मैं आपी हितांग ने आपी हितागत तो पूत गले आपी आशा कर को पूत गले के के कट क्रीड़ा कराना लगे नो किया नहीं कि एक मांगी था नहीं मुलु किसी में देखा कर सामाकरण नहीं बै मटे या अवस्था वाले बुना मांग हरी में पूत गुम हुना ये तक क Jadi karena saya sama hari itu pun ada kerjanya nak catch atau ada match pada dini hari kita. Ini ada hari siang kita kan? Tarik lagi. Kamu ni itu kita catch atau hari kita field lagi ni dah ni dia terpas nak kan? Ini ada hari siang kita kan? Jangan dia kan dah ini. Nanti itu kita di sini mah. Apa kita ada lagu nanti ada tekka. Eka lagu nanti kat tiada dini. Catch atau hari ini siang tu nampak kita macam ni. Apa kita ada lagu nanti kan? Ti challenge je kita, kadang-kadang tu nak kari otte, tapi ni kan macam ni. 
सपोर्ट तेक दिन नोने अमति से मैं चैलेंज बार अगर नोने अभी सीए देखा हुए एसीए नमत्ता न तो मैं अभी आन नोने अमति से कहूँ बेच रहे ने अभी ऐतिहासिक लड़ी तलने एक गहन थी एना एक अट साधारण एक रात नोने मारा के ना मेरी मेरे ना ऐतुले गहन नोने ना फील तमंगे उपरी मस दाया दे दे नोने भी तर के दंगे सेमीफाइनल तारंगे कलकत्ता लगाया तूनो गाल मुल्ले में न कोटे ओबे अत्तर में गीला ला नायक यार कीरों ने द आरविंद वेतना पांडुरा की नतियान ऐपा मुकदाव उटे जाम किस देख पैदी लाभ देख सिद्धु न ते में आवश्यक तारंगे टाइगर प्रश्न एक करना मामे तंत्र नंगे लाभ वॉलेंटियर ने आनी वाले � आर इंदर एड नो फाइनल लेके तो दिन दावस्ती को तो नहीं तीन अपे लोकुमा बेस्टमैन तीन मटो कोमारी लोकुटम हेमा ने मटो तेरु ने मटो आर इंदर गन अतुलेट तिया गन ने कता है तीन ओके वेन नो ने मागे हिते किए वेन नहीं तीन तीन देख के ठीक अपे मेन ने के नोया ना मटो हिते ना याव गन ने किए ने कता ह� लाई नहीं करते इतना करता है मैं आई वो ये बोतल टिके नहीं यो उन कंडा एम बार वस इतना पुतगले अनिशा हाँ मम्मा कहे मती कोम दो ब क्रिकेट कंडा में अनागत है दाखिल नहीं देदास दाहना में लोग कुसराने में पास है देदास दाहना में लोग कुसराने में पास है मामा अत्तर में दाखिल ना मामा इधर कल ऐसा क्यों हुआ देदास पीछे तो नहीं वर्ल्ड कप पे एक गाने इंडिया वे गाने ने मटर पे ना होंडा अनागत या कपिल तीन आ गया ना मुकदमा मटर अंडर 19 साइड देख गया ना गुड़ा कॉन्फिडेंस सीन और देंगे ना प्लेयर्स लगे ये गोलन दाह हाथ दाह आटे एक आटिया तब आउर दो हाथ रखें विषय देखा बितरे गया ना एके होंडा काटिया किन ये तो पोड़ा उड़ी नो तीन ना जब खामी दुमें दिशा एक काटिया इन्ना और दुबी शाय और दु हाथर किन क्या ने और दु विषय हाथर आकृति पाहक के ना काटिया एक कमी ना कुसाल में दिशा और दु विषय हाथ आकृति आटक के ना एक आले मामा ही तो ना आपे अनु है खांडा है मगे एक्सपीरियंस टीम Mama ada ini dalam heta gaya tapi macam mana dah alat ini program kau tu ada. Tapi istirahat lagi ni, nama misa. Muka tapi dah fokus kena kuda young pet. Mang under fifteen, tapi dah group pega genna nah dana under seventeen, body group pega patangan nah dana. Tapi pace bowling, spin bowling, pet tu fokus kena. Coaches lagi ni, ting. Ewo cuma dah alat ini ni, dedas pisah sone goal lekar. Muka dah high performance entry lagi, tapi plan ni kaya ni, dedas pisah sone world cup pe di nana. एक दिन आना था मैं अभी इतने दम पाल्हर दम प्लान कर गए याने मान दाना खाओ हेड कोच वेट दर ना ये दावसन है वोड़ा इतने अपेय प्लान ने क्या ना अभी प्लेयर्स लव लास्टी कराना ये दार इतने मटर अत्तर में साथ उठे अनागे ते हम तो पैट्टा करते ही नहीं अभी इन सामान ने दक्षिण अफ्रीका के संचार क्या नहीं किया क्या नहीं तरह लेसी पास हुआ है ना इन्हें वही इतिहास का तो तेरे में शुरुआत करना है बारह दिन में इन्हीं में किंग लखनऊ देसी है इससे किंग इमरान तंग इन्हीं में किंग लखनऊ में किसी बना किंग वाली ये हम संचार किंग वाली ना मुझे देदास दार्टे संचार है ये इतिहास का तो संचार ह अतर बाव ना मामा गुड़ाक वेला और एक मुलु संचारे तुलम हिटिए सीईओस बॉक्स के इतिंग दक्षिणु अफ्रीकानु राटे सितन में जेस्ट में क्रीड़ क्यों वासे इन में पाल पाल का मंडले काटिया ये क्रीड़ा पिट क्रीड़ांगने तमाई बहुत दूर है सिटी इतिंग मरा उन सब में काताकरण नट है कि आवले बनो उन पुदुमेन पुदु तारंगे पारदी भी किया ला इतने मुकदमे लोगों के नस कमा करा जाती खंडना में तारंगा आवलियाँ यान नेट नायकत्व एमआर करी मार के वाकी में लोगों के नस कमा आलू 
नवक्रीडगान की बदने के अतुलत करा जीस्ट क्रीडगान की बदने की बात करा इदिन ए अवस्था वेदी होन किसी से बाला प्रोत्तुरने ऐसे लंग करने हैं इतराम होनिंग फीडा कराई गया ना मुत्त अनितिकनाथ में लसित तंबुल देनी है जा बलुदिंग हिम महितन ने अंतर समाज फीडा तरंगा वलिए तरंगा तरंगा गुड़ा � Jadiin, ohu orang ye diluar pera winuat. Jing eveni risky decisions tikak aragen. Jing eva hari gih ama gudak kegollo create ke dinne kau dah kat selectors nak create ke dinne winat putgalan. Eki selectors na wasin kau dah kuat me hundak han lebi dinne. Nara ke vitara han lebi hundak korot play hundai. Nara ke korot selectors नारक आई थिंक एक सामान्य स्वभाव है। स्वाभाविक मिलाई नियम लेमन रस आई खागे दिव पीनवाई मैली बन लेमन पाँच पाँच लेमन पाँच मैली बन लेमन हम सितक में पीपी दे रास लेमन रास दे जीवित है यम मीराई मैली पन लेमन पाफ पाफ लेमन पाफ मैली पन लेमन पाफ मैली पन लेमन पाफ चिल बेच मैली पन लेमन इस बार भी खता कलो इधर समझे अनुनाम में लोग कुछ नाले में पास से श्रीलंका ने में देवनी वटे का सूझ काम लाभ नहीं है अब और तुरंत कोई नहीं काले कंडे में एलिस इतना ये दिन मैं तो ने कुपटे गुड़ाक दी बल आई भी हूँ ना समारकला टॉप बट अवस्था तो इतना लोग के एक दिन तालंग वाले दी लाखों ज़्यादा क्लबागत्तू एक एम पास से मंगिता ने में सिलेक्टर्स ला डिसीजंस वगैरह करता दिन समारे वट मामा गुआक्तूर टामना आप वेला हिटिए मुको दे गुलांग कता कर ले काक किया ले काक करपु हंदा ये गुलांग हरिये टो मामा टक कता कर ले कि वो ना मुकद्दी सिचुएशन ने का किया ला एक अमामा पिलिगानो इनामुत मंहितान ने सिलेक्टर्स लवाशें इकदयक करांडों ने में प्लेयर्स लटो हुंग आपके लाभ टा अपफ्रंट वेला कियांडों ने हर ये टमा मुकद्दे सिचुएशन नहीं किला एकाई मामा ही तनविधिये सिलेक्टर के ने कुटे ए विधिये टा करानं मंगे अमनापे हुंग आप तुरत आडूए नमुत मामा हितागत्ता ये वेला भी मामा खावदाक्वत में ड्रॉप कर पुहान्दा मामा खावदाक्वत एगुलंगे ए टर्म्स वोल्ट मामा क्रिकेट नवत्तन ने मामा नवत्तन ने मगे टर्म्स वोल्ट तमाई खावदाहरी मंग पोहमारी करला आयत पारक मैच टिका गहला मगे टर्म्स वोल्ट तमाई मामा नवत्तन ने कियला मामा आदिश्चाने कर गत्ता इधर मामे ये वेला भी ठीक दाव सा ट्रेन कर ला इत पटंगन ना हाथ रुको टा अंतिम मुहते ये गोलंग ये वेला भी त ये वेला भी ड्रॉप करा इट पास से मामा आय तरंग वगे गहला अभिल्ला मामा हितागता लंका भी टेस्ट तरंग माला वग गहला तमाय मामा में नवतन निकिएला एक अट इस सल्ला मगे होंदे वेला वट मिस्टर माइकल तीसरा मटक खता करला दबसक कीवा मीटिंग में कटेंड किया ला इट बसे या वस सिलेक्टर उनाम एक याने वारने सिलेक्टर्स ला मारु वेला या वा पॉइंट वेच्चा का मम्म मटेंड किया ला खता करला मटे कीवा में आप इट बर्ल 2003 बर्ल कप पे कट Wah, apa sahaja. Ekatnya, me, apitnya, muka dama me bela betis kerja, utjaga hiti. Apa sahaja. Ekahanda, me, 
අපිට මේ Zimbabwe වලට ටූර් එකක් තියෙනවා අපි ඒකට පික් කරන්න බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනවා කියලා. ඉතින් මම ඒ වෙලාවෙම කිව්වා ඒ වෙලාවෙ වෙනකොට මම කිලෝ 10ක් විතර ඇඟත් දාලා ඉතින් මම ඒ වෙලාවෙ එතුමාට කිව්වා මේ Zimbabwe වගේ රටකට මම ගිහිල්ලා තේරුමක් නැහැ මේ ඉන්න විදියට මට මට හරි විදියට ක්‍රීඩාව කරන්නත් බැරි වෙයි. ඉතින් ඒක හන්දා මට මාස මාස එක අමාරක් දීලා පාකිස්තාන් යනකොට ඊළඟට තිබුණේ පාකිස්තාන් ටූර් එක මම ඒ වෙලාවෙ වෙනකොට අමාරු ටූර් එක ගන්න මේකට යන් එක කෙනෙක් යවන්න කියලා කිව්වාම එතුමා මට කෙලින්ම කිව්වා හරි ඒකට අපි එකඟයි කියලා එතකොට ඒ මාසය ඇතුළත මම මගේ ට්‍රේනිං ප්‍රෝග්‍රෑම් එක දෙක දෙගුණයක් තුන්ගුණයක් සමහර දවස් වලට කරලා කිලෝ දහ තුනක් ඒ මාස ඇතුළත අඩු කරලා ඒ වෙලාවේ මම පාකිස්තාන් ටූර් එක යන්න ඇස් වෙලා අපි පාකිස්තාන් ටූර් එකට මම අර අර කිවරලා ඒගොල්ලන් පාකිස්තාන් වලදී අපි මම ගියා පාකිස්තාන් වලට අර්ජුනත් එක්ක ඒකි තාමත් සාර්ථක ටූර් එකක් වෙලා ඒ පළවෙනි තරගෙම ලකුණු සීයක් ලබා ගන්න ලැබුණා ඒත් එක්කම අර්ජුන මට අමතක වෙන්නේ නැහැ අත කඩාගෙන විනින් රන් එක ගහනකන් අපි දෙන්න එකට බැට් කර කර හිටියේ එතකොට අපි මැද ඉන්දෙත්තිත් අපි දෙන්න ගිය කීටියේ කොහොම හරි මේකේ සිලෙක්ටර්ස් ලටයි පර්ණ සිලෙක්ටර්ස් ලටයි පාඩමක් ගන්නන් ඕනි අපි දෙන්න කොහොම හරි ඉඳලා මේක මේ මැච් එක දිනකන් ඉන්න ඕනි කියලා ඉතින් ඒක ඉවර කරලා ඊට පස්සේ ආවම අපිට ටූර් එකක් තිබුණා ලංකාවේ මං කිව්වා එතකොට නවුන්ස් කරා ටෙස්ට් ක්‍රිකට් නවත්තනවා කියලා අන්තිම තරගේ තමයි අන්තිම ටෙස්ට් තරගේ තමයි ලකුණු දෙසියක් ලබාගෙන මම රිටයර් වුණේ ඊට පස්සේ වර්ල්ඩ් කප් එක ටූ තෞසන්ඩ් ත්‍රී සවුත් ආෆ්රිකා වල ගහලා මම නවුන්ස් කරා ඒකෙන් පස්සේ මම නවත්තනවා කියලා ඔබ ලෝක කුසරණ අවසන් මත අරගෙදි අර්ධ ශතකයක් ලබා ගන්න අර්ජුන නිතරම පවසන දැයි තමයි මේ ලෝක කුසරණ ජයග්‍රහණයේ අන්සන් ඊරෝ ඔබ කියලා එය කොතරම් තෘප්තියක් ගෙන දෙන දෙයක් නෑ මම හිතන්නේ නායකයා ඒ වගේ එකක් කියනකොට ගොඩක් තෘප්තියක් වෙන හැබැයි අපි මගේ තනි කර තිබ්බේ ටීම් එක ඒ ප්ලෑන් එකට යන්න ඉතින් ඒ ප්ලෑන් එකට කියලා දිනපු එකට ලොකු දෙයක් ඒක ඒකත් අපි මැදදී එක පාරක ඇත්තට මම අරවින්දයි කතා කරා මොකද අපි දැනගත්තා ඕස්ට්‍රේලියා හරිම හොඳ සයිඩ් එකක් රන්ස් අඩු කරගෙන අඩු කරගෙන අන්තිම ඕවර් වලට යන එක ඉතින් අපි ඒක ප්ලෑන් කරලා තිබ්බා අපි ඒක ඉඩ දෙන්නේ නැහැ කියලා මම අවුට් වෙන්න පොඩ් එකට ඉස්සලා අපි දැන කතා කරලා මම අරවින්දර එදා කිව්වා මම රිස්ක් එකක් අරන් ගහනවා කියලා දැන් මොකද අපි නිකන් හරි හිර වුණා නම් ඕස්ට්‍රේලියා හරිම හොඳයි ඒ වෙලා ඉතින් ඒ වගේම අපි ඔක්කොම කරේ සයිඩ් එකට මං විතර නෙමෙයි ඔක්කොමලා ඉතින් මං ඒක නිසා දිනපු දේ කවදා කත එක අපෙන් ගන්න බෑ කාටවත් දැන් ඔබ ඒ කියන්නේ ඔබගේ කාර්ය බාර වෙලා තිබුණේ උපන්දු වාර පනාම බැට් කරන්න නමුත් ඔබේ අවස්ථාවේදී රිස්ක් එකක් ගන්නවා නෑ මම ලකුණු ප්‍රමාණය වේගේ වැඩි කර යුතුයි කියලා තීරණයක් අරගෙන එමයි දැවි දැවි යන්නේ ඔව් ඒ වෙලාවේ මොකද මම අරවින්දයි කතා කරා මොකද මන් දැනගත්ත අරවින්ද පළවෙනි බෝලෙම ක්‍රීඩා කරපු විදියට ඒක යාගේ දවස කියලා මොකද මම අරවින්දත් එක්ක අවුරුදු 13 වගේ ඉඳලා ක්‍රීඩා කරන්න තියෙනවා පාසලේ එයා DS එන නැයි ක්‍රීඩා කරද්දී ඉතින් ඒ වෙලාව මම දැනගත්ත අරවින්ද ඉන්න ඕනේ කියලා 50 වෙනකන් මං අපි දෙන්න කතා කළ ඩිසිෂන් එක ගත්තේ කෙනෙක් රිස්ක් එකක් ගන්නවා කියලා. ඒ දවස් වල තිබුණාද ප්‍රවණතාවයක් ඩයවර්ට් මොගින අපු තරංගකදී අපි කොහොම හරි ලකුණු 20ක් කපා අරිනවා. ෆීල්ඩින් හොඳට කරලායි කියලා යම් කිසි ප්‍රවණතාවයක් තිබුණාද ඒ ගැන පොඩි පැහැදිලි කිරීම කරනවා. ඔය ඇත්තටම අපි ටාගට් එකක් දෙනවා රන් අවුට් එකක් තරඟ මැච් එක තරඟ එකදී එතකොට ලකුණු මිස්සක් විතර දාන්න හාෆ් චාන්සස් ගන්න ඒ වතාව චැලෙන්ජස් දැන් අපි අපි කොම්ෆර්ටබල් සෝන් එකේ අරගෙන ඉතින් කැචස් තමයි නමුත් ඊට තෙහ යන ඒවා තියෙන අමාරු වෙයි දැන් මම සාමාන්‍ය ෆීල් කරනකොට මම අඩි 10 10 නම් මට මම පහලත්ම මේ තරම් මම 10 මම ඕකේ හැබැයි මම බ්‍රිලියන්ට් වෙන්නේ පහලු නවත්තන එක එතකොට පුළුවන් එක කරන්න මම ඉතින් හොඳයි කියලා පේන්නේ මම අර පහලේ නවත්තන නිසා 
එමතිස්සේම වැඩිපුර චැලෙන්ජ් එකක් ගන්නවා. ඔව්. ඒක තමයි තමන්ට ඒ චැලෙන්ජ් එක සක්සස් කරගන්න පුළුවන් කියලා. ඔබගේ අන්තිම සංචාරයේ බටරින්ද කොදේ උදුපත් වලට තිබෙන සංචාරයේදී කණ්ඩායමට චෝදනාවක් නැගෙනවා පන්දු පළුදු කරයි කියලා නායකයා පූර්ණකරු සහ ඔබ ට විශාල වශයෙන් සස්පෙන්ෂන්ස් ලැබෙනවා තරඟ කීපයකටම මේ දෙය ඔබගේ ක්‍රීඩා ජීවිතයේ කොතරම් කඩු පැල්ලමක්ද මම හිතන්නේ ඒක ඒක තමයි මට ක්‍රිකට් ජීවිතයේ තියෙන මෝ ඒ කියන්නේ රිග්‍රෙට් වෙච්ච කියන්නේ තරඟයක් තියෙනවා නේ සස්පෙන්ෂන් එකට වඩා අපිට ඒ චාර්ජස් ඇවිල්ලා එකෙන් වෙච්ච එක අන්තයක් සස්පෙන්ඩ් වෙච්ච එකයි ටීම් මැනේජර් හැටියට ඒගොල්ලන්ගේ ඉබේම එනවා ටීම් මැනේජර් එකට ඒගොල්ලන් මොකද චාර්ජ් කරන්නේ කැප්ටන් වයි කෝච් වයි මැනේජර් වයි ඒක ලොකු කළු පැල්ලමක් ඔය කියන්නේ මට හිතන්නේ හැම එක්කෙනාටම එතන හිටපු මං හිතන්නේ ඒ තරඟයෙන් පස්සේ මම ඒ දවස්වල කලමන කලමනාකරු විතරක් හැටියට හිටියා නම් හයි පර්ෆෝමන්ස් එක නැතුව මම ගොඩක් කලාට එදා ඇත්තටම ඒ ටූර් එකෙන් පස්සේ මම ස්ටෙප් ඩවුන් කළා ඉවර කාන්න තිබ්බා මොකද මං දැනගත්ත ඒක ඒක හරි නැහැ ශ්‍රී ලංකා ක්‍රිකට් වලට මොකද ටීම් එක අපි අන්තිමට ශ්‍රී ලංකා ක්‍රිකට් එකට ඩැමේජ් එක ආවේ ඒක හරි දුකයි ඒ ඒ වෙච්ච දේ ගැන දැන් ඒ තරඟේ තරඟ තීර කවර ඇයි ජවගල් ශ්‍රීනාත් ඔබ තමත් සමීප මිතුරන් එකට ක්‍රීඩා කරලා තියෙනවා ඔහු කිසියම් අවස්ථාවක ඔබට කිව්වේ නැද්ද මේ කරන දේ වැරදි මේක නොකර ඉන්නයි කියලා අවධානමක් දුන්න නැද්ද ඒ කියන්නේ අපිව චාර්ජ් කරන් පස්සේ අපිට ගොඩාක් උදව් කරා මම හිතන්නේ වෙන මැච් රෙෆරි කෙනෙක් හිටියා නම් ඔය මැච් එක අවෝඩ් කරනවා එතෙන්දීම අවෝඩ් කරනවා අපිට තව ගොඩාක් ප්‍රශ්න එනවා වෙස්ට් ඉන්ඩීස් ක්‍රිකට් කණ්ඩායමෙනුත් මම හිතන්නේ ශ්‍රීනාත් නිසා තමයි අපි ඔච්චර විදියකින් හරි බේරුනේ ශ්‍රීනාත් ගොඩක් තලාට අපිට ආවිල්ලා කතා මට කතා කරලා කිව්වා එයා ඇඩ්වයිස් කර දිගටම ඉතින් අන්තිමට අපි ටීම් ටීම් ඩිසිෂන්ස් අපි ගත්ත හැමදේම මේ එයා ඇත්තටම ඉවර වුණාම් පස්සේ මේ ළඟදී සවුත් අප්‍රිකන් සීරීස් එකට ආපිලේ මාත් එක වාඩිලා ලොකු කතාවක් කරා එයාත් එක්ක ඉතින් ඒ යාළුකම තාම තියෙනවා එයාටත් ඇත්තටම දුකයි අපි ඇයි කියලා ඒ වැඩේට මේ ඕනේ අසන් දැන් අපි පන්දු පළුදු කිරීම පැත්තකට තිබ්බොත් එහෙම පිටියට නොයාම දැන් ඔබ ගොඩක් අද්දකින් බවුල පුද්ගලයෙක් ඔබට තේරුණ නැද්ද මේ කරන දේ වැරදි කියලා කිසියම් අවස්ථාවක යන්න ඕනේ කියලා ආයේ නැවත පිටියට මට මුල ඉඳන්ම මේක අත්‍ය මම කවදාක ජීවිතේ අපි ක්‍රිකට් ෆීල්ඩ් එකකින් මම යන්න කැමති නැහැ දැන් අර්ජුන පළවෙනි තරඟයේ අර ඔය කියන්නේ මුර්ලිදරන් ඉස්සල්ලාම කෝල් කරේ වෙලෙත් අපි ඒ වෙලාවෙත් මේවා කරේ අර්ජුනට තනියම ඇතුළට යන්න ටීම් එකේ ක්‍රීඩා කර අරවින්ද ඇක්ටින් කැප්ටන් කරලා අපි ක්‍රීඩා කර තරඟේ ඉතින් අපිට පාසලේ තු ගන්නලා තිබ්බේ අන්තිමට අම්පයර්ස්ලයි කියන දේ හරි ඒකට යන්න ඉතින් මුල ඉඳන්ම මට කිසිම මේකත් තිබ්බේ නැහැ මැච් එක ගහන්න ඕනේ නැහැ කියලා මගේ අඩ්වයිස් එක තිබ්බේ ප්ලේයර්ස් ලටයි කෝචිං ස්ටාෆ් ටයි මැච් එක ගහන්න ඕනේ කියන එක මගේ විතරක් නෙවෙයි කොළඹිනුත් ආව අඩ්වයිස් එක ඒක ඒ දවස්වල අපේ ස්පෝට්ස් මිනිස්ට්‍රි ෆයිස මුස්තෆා මහත්මයා ඒ මහත්මයාත් මට කතා කරා ඒ මහත්මයාත් කිව්වේ ඒකයි ටීම් මේට කියන්න යන්න මෙතන ඉන්නේ නැහැ අපි ඒක ප්‍රශ්නේ අපි පස්සේ විසඳමු එතකොට හිටපු බෝඩ් එකේ ප්‍රසිද්ධ ළඟ සුමුතිපාල මහත්මයාත් මට කතා කරා කතා කරලා කොහේ ටීම් එකට යන්න කියන්නේ මේ තව ප්‍රශ්නේ ඇයි කියලා. ඒ එක්කම මේ කවුද රොෂාන් මහානා මගේ හොඳම මිත්‍රයා පාරන මැච් රෙෆරි මට කතා කරා. කතා කරලා කොහේ ටීම් එකට යන්න කියන්න. ඉතින් ඔක්කොම ඇඩ්වයිස් ඇත්තටම ආවේ ෆීල් එකට යන්න කියන එක. ඒක තමයි අපි වැරදියට කරේ. ඔබ ටෙස්ට් වරම් ලැබීමෙන් වසරකට අනතුරුව ඔබගේ මංගල ටෙස්ට් ශතකය වර්තා කරනවා පාකිස්තානු කණ්ඩායමත් එක්කම ඔබ අයි අර්ජුන එක්ක විශාල සම්බන්ධතාවයක් තියෙනවා අතරණි කඩුවට ලක්නු 244 වගේ ඔව් ඒ තරගේ අපිට දකින්න ලැබෙනවා ඉම්රාන් ඛාන් සහ වසිම් අක්‍රම් දෙපළම ක්‍රීඩා කරනවා ඒ තරගේ ඔබ ක්‍රීඩකෙක් හැටියට මුණ දුන්නු ඉතාමත් අසීරුම වේග පන්දු යවන්න කවුද ඇත්තටම අසීරුම එක්කෙනා වසිම් අක්‍රම් ඕනම තනන ඉල්ල එක හොඳට දාන ෆාස්ට් බෝලර් කෙනෙක් ඒ කියන්නේ දැන් ෂාජවලේ දවස්වල ෂාජ විකට්ස් වල කිසිම දෙයක් තිබ්බේ නැහැ බෝලර් කෙනෙකුට හැබැයි ඒ විකට් වලත් ඇවිල්ලා හයියනුත් දානවා ස්වින් කරනවා තනකොල තියලා 
තරණිල්ල දුනොත් ඒකේ දානවා අපේ අගේ ඇක්ෂන් එක සමහකට අඩි 10න් විතර හැරිලා එනවා ඒවා සමහකට ඊට වඩා 6න් දාන අඩි 10න් හැරිලා එනවා ඉතින් ඒ ඔක්කොම බැලුවාම එයා තමයි අමාරුම ෆාස්ට් බෝලර් මන් ජීවිතේම ගහලා තියෙන්නේ එම තරගාවලිය තමයි ඔබ මුලින්ම අංක 3 ස්ථානයට පිටිකර් විකට්ට පැමිණෙන්නේ මේ අංක 3 ස්ථාවරත්වය ඔබ ලබා දුන් කණ්ඩායමට දී කාලයක් ඒ රදා පවත්වා ගන්නට පුළුවන් වුණා ජාතික කණ්ඩායමට ඒ අංක 3 ක්‍රීඩා කරනකොට මොන වගේ දේවල්ද පිටිකර් විකට්ට ඔබ කරන්න වෙන්නේ මානසිකව මොන වගේද ඔබට ඇඩ ගැහෙන සිද්ධ වෙන්නේ මේ කියන පොඩ්ඩක් කතා කරමු ඔයත් අතරම මට අංක 3ට ක්‍රීඩාකරන් හම්බ වුණේ පාකිස්තානය ලංකාවට ඇවිල්ලා ක්‍රීඩා කරද්දී ප්‍රැක්ටිස් වල රොයිඩ් ඇස් ඉන්ජර් වුණා ඉන්ජර් වුණා මට ඩුලිප් මෙන්ඩිස්වි ඒ දාසල හිටියේ මිස්ටර් අබූ ෆාඩ් වි කතා කරලා කිව්වා නම්බර් 3 බැට් කරන්න කියලා ඉතින් මම කොහ ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැහැ කියලා ඒ ඒකෙන් තමයි හම්බ වුණේ ඊට පස්සේ මම මුල තරංග වල මම හිතන්නේ මම වැඩිය චේන්ජ් කරා කියලා ගහන විදිය හැබැයි මට තේරුණා මට පුළුවන් තරම් ඉක්මනටම මාරු කරන්න එනවා කියලා මොකද මම ඉස්සර බැට් කරේ නම්බර් 5 6 අතර ඉතින් මම ගොඩක් අග්‍රසිව් ක්‍රීඩා කරා ඉතින් මට ඒකෙන් පොඩ්ඩක් එලියට එන්න වුණා මොකද දැන් තියෙන විදිහට නෙවෙයි ස්ට්‍රැටජීස් ගොඩක් වෙනස් ඒ දවස්වල ඒ දවස්වල අපිට අපේ ප්ලෑන් එකේ තිබ්බේ මම නම්බර් 3 ක්‍රීඩා කරොත් ඒ කියන්නේ ටෙස්ට් තරඟ යන්න දවස් වම බැට් කරන්න යන්න ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැහැ ගහන ගහන ලකුණු ගහන එක් දින තරඟයක් වුණත් ඕර් 50 බැට් කරන්න එහා පැත්තෙන් අනිත් බැට්ස්මන්ලා බලා ගනී කියලා ඉතින් මම හිතන්නේ මම පටන් ගන්න කාලේ ලකුණු 160ක් 70ක් ගහුවොත් මැච් එක දිනන්න පුළුවන්. ඒ කාලේ තිබ්බ විදියට ප්ලෑන්ස් එක දැන් 160ක් කියන්නේ ඕර් 15න් විතර ඉවර කරන්න පුළුවන් මැච් එක. මම චේන්ජ් කරේ ගොඩක් මම ගොඩක් කෙලින් ගහන්න පටන් ගත්තා. මම V එක කියන මේකේ තමයි මම ගොඩක් ක්‍රීඩා කරන්න ගත්තේ. ඒකයි මම හිතන්නේ මගේ patience උත් ගොඩක් ආවා. එතනින් මම මට වැඩියම මං බය වුණෙත් නැහැ අනිත් එක මම වැඩි අප්සෙට් වුණෙත් නැහැ රන්ස් ආවේ නැහැ කියලා. මොකද මම දැනගත්තා මට බැට් කරොත් ගොඩක් කියලා මට ලකුණු ගන්න පුළුවන් කියලා. දැන් අවුරුදු දෙකකට කලින් දකුණු අප්‍රිකාවට යනකොට කවුරුත් අහලා තිබුණ නැති ක්‍රීඩකෙක් තමයි ඕෂධ ෆර්නැන්ඩෝ කියන්නේ. යම් තාක් දුරට ලසිත් ඇම්බිල් දෙනියත් නමුත් ඔබ තීරණය කරනවා මොවුන් දෙදෙනා මේ තරඟාවලට එක්කන් යන්නේ තරහ නෙමෙයි ඔවුන් තරඟ දෙකම ගස්සනවත් එක්කලා අවසානයේදී ශ්‍රී ලංකාව දකුණු අප්‍රිකාවේ තරඟාවලිය ජයග්‍රහණය කරන්න පළවෙනි ආසියාතික කණ්ඩායම් බවට පත් වෙනවා මේ ගැන පොඩ්ඩක් කතා කරොත් නෑ ඇත්තටම මම අපි බැලුවා මේ ලසිත ඇමුල් දෙනිය මම හිතන්නේ එයා අපි ශ්‍රී ලංකාව මේ අයිලන්ඩ් එක සීරීස් එකක් ගැහුවනේ ලංකාවේ ඒ කාලේ මේ සවුත් අප්‍රිකාවට යන්න ඉස්සෙල්ලා ඒ කියන්නේ අවිෂ්කත් රන්ස් කෝ කළා ලසිත් තැමුල් දෙන්නේ ඒකේ මම බලන් මම බැලුව ඒ මැචස් ඔක්කොම. ඉතින් ආ ඊටමත්ම හොඳට බෝල් කරා. ඉතින් අපිට ඇත්තටම ලෙෆ්ට් ආම් ස්පින් එකක් අවශ්‍යතාවයක් තිබ්බා. ඉතින් අපි හිතුවා එයා එයාව යවන එක සවුත් අප්‍රිකාවට අපි හිතුවා ඒක හොඳයි කියලා. මොකද ඒ වෙලාවේ අපිට ඒ වගේ ස්පින් එකක් හිටියේ නැහැනේ. නරංගනේ රත් රිටයර් වුණාට පස්සේ අපිට ලෙෆ්ට් ආම් ස්පින් එකක් ඒ ඒ අපිට උමනා තත්ත්වෙට හිටියේ නැහැ. ඉතින් අපි හිතුවා ඒ වෙලා හිටියේ ඩිල් රුවන් තමයි හුඟක් වෙලාවට බෝල් කර කර හිටියේ ඉතින් එයාටත් කකුලෙ ආබාධයක් තිබ්බා මේ ඒක ඉස්සෙල්ලම් කරන්න බැරි වුණා ඉතින් අපි අනිත් එක ඕෂධ ගත්තම අපි බැලුවා ඕෂධ අපි මැචස් වල බැලුවා එයා ලෝකල් මැචස් වල හුඟක් රන්ස් ගැහුවා එයාගේ ඇත්තටම බැටින් ටෙක් බැටින් ටෙක්නික් එක බැලුවම අපි හිතුවා එයා ඒ බවුන්සි පිචර්ස් වලට හොඳයි කියලා මොකද එයා ඇත්තටම එයා මේ වේග පන්දුවට පහර දෙන විලාසයේ බැලුවම ඇත්තටම සිලෙක්ට කෙනෙක්ගේ තියෙන්නේ ඇතින් ඒක බලනකොට තේරෙනවනේ සමහරක් විතර අපිට පිටිකරුවෙක් බැට් කරනකොට අපිට පේනවා එයාට තියෙන යම් කිසි ඉරියව් වලින් අපිට තේරෙනවා මෙයාට යම් කිසි හැකියාවක් තියෙනවා කියලා. අපි හිතුවා මේ බවුන්ස් පිචර්ස් වල එයාට ඒ හැකියාව තියෙයි කියලා. ඉතින් එයා ඒක ඇත්තටම පෙන්නවා. එයා හොඳට පේස් එකට ගහනවා කියන එක. අනේ ස්පින් එකටත් සෑහෙන හොඳට ගහනවා. ඉතින් අපි හිතුවා මේ වෙලාවේ අපිට ටිකක් බැටින් වල ටික අඩුවක් තිබ්බනේ. ඉතින් ඒ හින්දා අපි හිතුවා මෙයාව ගස්සල බලමු කියලා. ඉතින් ඇත්තටම එයා නම්බර් 3 ගැහුවේ. ඉතින් මම හිතන්නේ එයා හොඳ ඉනින් එකක් ගාලා අපිට මේ මැච් එක දිනලා දුන්න දෙවෙනි ටෙස්ට් එක සූ ගානක් නොට් අවුට් ගහලා. මම හිතන්නේ දැන් එයා එතනින් එහාට දැන් ටෙස්ට් ක්‍රිකට් විතරනේ වන් ඩේ ක්‍රිකට් T20 අපි එක මැච් එකක් දුන්න ඒකේ සැත්ත ගානක් ගැහුවා. ඉතින් එයා පෙන්නුවා එයාට හැකියාව තිය
then a Pia, Elka Perigala, a Pia Seva. A yak the Egata Villa Dino. Think Mangidane, Evagi, Vishwa Fernando, Evagim. Thor Kasun Rajit, Yak, then up and coming. The Mangidane Huna is Matamataka, Akila than Jeuna. The last Dulai Mama Javan in Nogota, Mahela Villa Giva, may I need bowl again. May I have a gamma be World Cup Scotty, may I have Matt Gala Tibbin and Scotty give a tidy. Matagiwa may Avila Mahela give a mile at Hunga respect and no mile like a mile at Hunga Ayagatino players that Mang Anitake Evila Hiti Ford Yadat on the Ayagatib. We Kusal Janita Aikare may Mahela Ford with them. He did not want to give South Africa to one ticket and eight him. Yeah, we are going to get a lot of people in the band. It was a mini and unfortunately, dingo. We are not there. 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 We are not ඉතින් අපිට සන්තෝෂ අඩුම ගන්න අවුරුදු ගානකට පස්සේ මේ මේ හුඟක් ලංකාවේ දැන් වැදගත්ම ප්ලේ කෙනෙක් කියලා තියෙනවා. ඒ වගේ තාක් කියලා දලන්චි. මහේල ඇවිල්ලා කිව්වා මේ මෙයා නෙට්ස් වල බෝල් ගන්නවා අපිට ප්ලේ කරගන්න රීඩ් කරගන්න බෑ කියලා. ඉතින් ඇත්තටම අපි සිලෙක්ෂන් කමිටි අනිත් මෙම්බර්ස් ලා කතා කරලා කෙලින්ම වර්ල්ඩ් කප් ස්කොඩ් එකට දැම්මා. මැච් එකක්වත් ගහලා තිබ්බේ අපිට ඒ වෙලාවේ සෑහෙන දොස් කිව්වා. ඊට Nor a miniature bowl as a moon. Rasil. By final leg, Gahala Matamata, Minia Samuels, if you cut gut. Hurry. Eat a passe, Mangidane, Yamkizi, Mandan, and Mone Hate over the Lila, or Dugana, Minia, Bellevue, now Ruthunaki. Drop Kalama them. Eat a passe, Mangidane, Didas, always the Dasi, the Bavitama, Apo, again. The Mandan, the Mang Api Atherama, Evila, Api Dagala di Bene, me, 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 Akila Danange, Atherna Kotimago, they are net bowl again. A bayar Mahela get Ibber. Yeah, I will give up Mamma Gino, Mia Gand, Mia, surprise bowl again, a couple of Mia Vedagat. The Yagia Tibber, Captain Gibber, and it's a Mahela on the Monkey Walk, on the Ayagatin of me, talented. Mumbai, Hungak Sartha Gala in Eka. You had a hundred talent at Tina on the me, on the players la Pika. The Eka Eka Napi Duna. The A players la him had the law, I think Eka, the Mapi selectors ladiata, Api, Evila got the Tirna again a passable noda, Adumana to Satru and Nula, the Minisu, Evila Banino. I think Rex Kiwagi, Atite, Balnogoda, got to Tirna, Hungak, Tirna, Eva Harigin. Australia, uh, Sri Lanka, Kulabaga, Palamu, Shataka, Labagan, Uber, Uber, Gaba Piti, the Ekasia, Tata, Labagan, Lakunik, the Sumsia, Sunami, the Tama, YouTube, Berianangim, uh, video clips, Balagan, Pulang, Ubagana, Hook Parwal, Cut Parwal, Click Parwal, Itama Bakum Kalvi. Obey teammates, the Godakina, Tarangan Kalinki, Obey Godak, Tarahan Killer, Mogoda, Itama Avatak Seru, Lakarla Tibuna, Obey Kanda. I am not sure if you are a good person. I am not sure if you are a good person. I am not sure if you are Tavas Pak Taranga Gandhi Gulan Tahekia Vakne Apita Testaranga Tavas Pak Karanetui Tavada Adukaranatimunaki, I think Eva Gideval Kienukota Samarela Vata Mama Penan in Etunata Mangvedia Katakaran 
කැමති නැහැ සද්ද කරන්න කැමති නැහැ ඒ නමුත් හැබැයි හිත ඇතුලින් මම හුඟක් කතා කරනවා මට ඒ ඒක තමයි මගේ තියෙන ගති ගුණේ මම කිව්වා මටම මේගොල්ලන්ට හොඳ පාඩමක් උගන්වන්න ඕනි කියලා මේ ටෙස්ට් මැච් එකේ ඉතින් ඒකේ තමයි මම අධිෂ්ඨාන කරගත්තේ අපි ඒ දවස්වල අපි බැලුවේ පුළුවන් තරම් දවසක් හරි දෙකක් හරි පුළුවන් නම් බැට් කරන්න ඉතින් ඒක තමයි මගේ පරමාර්ථය තිබුණේ කොහොම හරි මම ඇඟින් හරි ගගහ මම මේ විකට් එකේ මම කොහොම හරි රැඳී ඉන්නවා පුළුවන් තරම් කියලා එතකොට ඒක මේ කොහොම හරි ඒක එදා ඒ වැඩි ඉෂ්ට වුණා එලා මැ තරගේ ඩ්‍රෝ එකක් වුණා මං හිතන්නේ ඒ වෙලාවේ මේ අපි ලබාගත්ත ලොකු ජයග්‍රහණයක් ඒක වගේ මාෂන්ත තවත් සුවිශේෂ ටෙස්ට් තරගයක් තමයි ඔබ කලිනුත් පැවසුව 1985 කරච්චි ටෙස්ට් තරගය ඔබගේ ඔන්නම ෆිගර්ස් වාර්තා වෙන්නේ ඒ ඔබ කඩු අයක් ලබා ගන්නවා ඉනිමක පාකිස්තාන් කණ්ඩායම තමයි ප්‍රොපල් ග්‍රේඩ් එකකින් ඔබ දවා ගන්නවා ජවේද් බියන්ඩා සලිම් අලික් පුදසනස වැනි අය මම අහන්න කැමතියි මේ තරගේ ඉම්රාන් කානුත් ක්‍රීඩා කරනවා ඔහු නායක නෙවෙයි ජාවිඩ් නායකයා ඉම්රාන් කානුත් ක්‍රීඩා කරනවා කොහොමද ඔහු එක්ක උරින් උර ගැටි ක්‍රීඩා කරද්දී ඔබට ලැබුණු අත්දැකීම මම හිතන්නේ ඉම්රාන් එක්ක මට ඇත්තටම මං ඇත් එක්ක හොඳට සුවද ඒ කියන්නේ අසූ දෙකේ මට මතකයි ලහෝ වල ටෙස්ට් මැච් එකට ඒගොල්ලෝ අර කෙරි පැක වලින් ඉඳන් ආවා පළවෙනි ටෙස්ට් මැච් දෙකේ ඒගොල්ලෝ හිටියේ නැහැ ලහෝ ටෙස්ට් මැච් එකට තමයි ඔක්කොම කට්ටි ආවි මට මතකයි ඉම්රාන් විකට් දාතරක් ගත්තා මම හිතන්නේ විකට් හතයි හතයි ඒ ෆ්ලැට් පිච් එක එයාගේ රිවර්ස් ස්වින් ඔක්කොම බෝල් ඩෙල් බි ඩබ්ල්යු තමයි ඉතින් මට මතකයි මට ඒ වෙලාවේ පොඩි රනප් එකේ පොඩි ප්‍රශ්නයක් තිබ්බා මගේ නෝ බෝල්ස් එක මට මතකයි එයා මට ඇවිල්ලා උදව් කරා මේ ප්‍රැක්ටිස් කරනකොට පොඩ්ඩක් ඇවිල්ලා ඊට පස්සේ ලංකාවට එනකොට අසූ පහේ එයා ලංකාවට ආවා ඊට පස්සේ මාත් එක්ක හුඟක් ඒ කියන්නේ යාළු වුණා ඇත්තටම මේ පාර මේ ශ්‍රී ලංකා පකිස්තාන් වලට ගිය වෙලාවේ මේ සහිර් ඛාන් තමයි මාත් එක්ක සෙල්ලම් කරේ ඒ කාලේ මා ඒ ඉම්රාන් උත් හිටියා මං සහිර් ඛාන්ට කිව්වා මට ඉම්රාන් හම්බෙන්න මං කැමතියි මොකද මම සෑයන කාලෙකට දැකලා නෑ කියලා දැන් ඔහු අගමැති ඔය දැන් ඔහු අගමැති නේ පකිස්තානල තියෙන ඒ වෙලාවේ එයා ඒ වෙලාවේම කෝල් එකක් දුන්නා ඉම්රාන්ට ඉම්රාන් කිව්වා දැන් එන්න කියලා ඉතින් අපිව ඇත්තටම එයා එව්වා එයාගේ සිකියුරිටි ඔක්කොම එවලා අපිව ඇත්තටම මමයි රොමේෂයි අපිව ගෙනිච්චා එයාගේ ප්‍රයිම් මිනිස්ටර්ගේ ගෙදට ගෙනිලා බිස්නස් කට්ටිය ඔක්කොම ඉන්නේ මට මතකයි ලෝන්ස් දෙන්න එහෙම්මෙන් ඇවිල්ලා හිටියා වර්ල්ඩ් බැංක් එකෙන් ඒ කට්ටිය ඒ කට්ටියට ඉස්සෙල්ලා අපි දෙන්නව ගත්තා අරගෙන අපි ගැන ක්‍රි අපි අහලා කොහොමද කියලා අපේ ආදිකාල ක්‍රිකට් ගැන කතා ගැල්ලා ඒවා හුඟක් වෙලාවක් කතා කරගෙන හිටියා අන්තිමට ඒගොල්ලන්ට ඇවිල්ලා කියන්න උනා මේ දැන් අර හුඟක් ඇවිල්ලා කට්ටිය ඇවිල්ලා ඉන්නවා හම්බෙන්න ඉතින් මේක ඉවර කරමු කියලා මොකද එයා එච්චරට ඒ කියන්නේ අපිව දැකලා එච්චර මේ කියන්නේ අර ඒ අපිත් එක යාළුකම තාම තියෙනවා මේ කියන්නේ දැක්ක වෙලාවක් වුණත් ඉතින් ඒක මං හිතන්නේ ලොකු දෙයක් මොකද ක්‍රිකට් වල ක්‍රිකට් නැවැත්තුවට පස්සේ තියෙන්නේ තියෙන මේ ෆ්‍රෙන්ඩ්ෂිප්ස් තමයි තියෙන්නේ ඉතින් ඒක මං හිතන්නේ ඉස්සර කාලේ හුඟක් තිබ්බා දැන් මං හිතන්නේ ටිකක් අඩුයි ඒ මොකද ඒගොල්ලෝ සෝෂලයිස් කරන්නේ නැහැ වැඩිය ඉස්සර අපි හුඟක් අපේ ඔපෝනන්ට්ස්ලත් එක්ක ඩිනර්ස් වලට යනවා ඒගොල්ලොත් එක්ක කියන්නේ හෝටලේ සමහරකට හැම හම්බෙනවා හැන්දෑවට කතා කරනවා ඒ වගේ ඉතින් අපිත් එක සෙල්ලම් කරපු හුඟ කට්ටියක් අපි තාම යාළුවි මම හිතන්නේ ඒක ටිකක් දැන් ටිකක් ඒක අඩු වෙයි කියලා මට පේනවා මොකද හුඟක් කලාට කට්ටිය වැඩිය සෝෂලයිස් කරන්නේ නැහැ ඔපෝනන්ට්ස් ලත් එක්ක නවසීලන්තෙදී එක දෙයක් වුණේ මේ තරගෙට ඉස්සල්ලා මට මතකයි මම මේ අපිට එක් දෙන තරඟ දෙකක් තිබුණා ඕක්ලන්ඩ් වල ඊට පස්සේ මගේ අක්කත් හිටිය ඕක්ලන්ඩ් වල තමයි ඒ දවස්වල ඉතින් මේ අක්කගේ ගෙදර මැච් එකට ඉස්සලා දවසේ ගියාම අක්ක කිව්ව මේ කාල වේලස්සිනි ගිහිල්ලා නිදා ගන්ඩ මේ තරගේ හෙට හෙට ඉම්පෝටන්ට් තරගයක් තියෙනවා කියලා ඉතින් ඊට පස්සේ මාව වේලස්සනින්ම කාලා 
पोटलेट एरिया इन मम्मा की हिला मांगी तन्ने नामे अठाह मार पिनो कोटे वागे मम्मा निदागन न की हिला उदय ने की हिला मैं मैं चकट की हिला अभी बैठ करने कोटे पालवे ने बोला तूने अतरे मम्मा गहला स्लिप पे के कैच्चा की हिला उठ तूना बिंदु अगर इटे पासे टेस्टे का तिबिला प्रैक्टिस कर ले इलंग टा आए किया मैच चेक का तिबिला मैं इल इलंग दावजे मैच चेक टे इससे लग गया मैं मैं इदाउत अक्का की बात अंगी मैच चेक के पारक को ला यान लेते यान डा दा आटर रखिए ले आवला इदा की हिला इटे पासे तारंगित बोल गाना गाला मैं माय ताउत ना कॉर्ड भी आयें ये दामेच चिकित बिंदु आई इटे बसे तो मैं विलिंगटन वाले टेकी है टेस्ट में चिकित है इतनी मामा ही तो उनको आके डिला गई है ये बिलावे की इल्ला में अभी विलिंगटन टेस्ट में चिक पटांगता प्रैक्टिस थी पुना दावस का ना की इटे टेस्ट में चिक पटांगता में इटे बसे टॉस से कर डाले एकुलंग बैठ करने में अभी इधर इधर रह मंगता ने विषय तूना कटर देखा करी माम बैठ कर कर ही थी माम तूना ही नॉट आउट मतलब ताम मत गई इट पास से इधर रह अभी टा फंक्शन ने करते बना श्रीलंकन हट्टी है के एक में श्रीलंकन एसोसिएशन ने के फंक्शन ने के वाले लावा इन पास से माम ही तो आधे ना माम वेलस नहीं दागन ने अन्य क Ili tiga illa ya lu katya illa mangguak travel awe, ni dah asal kerana aku cuma Facebook kala ini, mata nama social media kita ini, mama mangitan ni payah kuat mama ni dah ganjil tiga illa, iting ini dah manggi illa itu pas saya villa udah kelim breakfast kala mama macam cerita tiga illa, ye palu ni mata apa tu tamai mama एक दावसीन लापुनु देसी या गहबु दावस इधर मटे ये दावस तमतक भी नहीं मुकदा मैं इधर मम्मी ही ताकत तो समाहर वेलावट क्रिकेट क्रीडा व करनो कोटा मानसिक तत्व तमाय हुंगा क्यों रटा बालपान ने इधर समाहर वेलावट हुंगा की तने काई फेलियर्स के नहीं तने का समाहर वेलावट मेंटली एक तमंग विधिया हरी आकार वाती आगन रिलैक्स माइंड का मेरे वाके स्पोर्ट टैक करने को टारी इम्पोर्टेन्ट ये थिंग तमं एक बैलेंस करन इगन अगर नो एक्सपीरियंस हुई मैच्युरिटी एक हम दाम उदय अविल्ला क्रिकेट यहाँ लगे ये त मंगिता ने समाहर वेला वाती ये नो माइंड का क्रिकेट टोलिंग आइन कर ला तमं के सिचुएशन ने Wena mata nak kita aragan lagi hilang, me cricket trolling, ainggane ikat amai kian samara itu break ya kau ni kila, me refresh keragan mind deka, ikat hari me important muka tu siat anu atak tien ni tamangi mind deke, game me katien ni, i think ikat handa tamang purduen do ni kau mande kila, ikat balance keragan na mind hari mind deka tiagaan ni me me game me kahanu kota. अभी सुंदर मत कहने के ना कथा ऐसा ना कौन ब्रेंडन मतलब ने अमीरी मत कहने उसको डक कथा ऐसा ना नो ने मांगो बोलेंगे आहन ने कहा मतलब ये जिदास नामे लाहौर सिद्धि संबंध है जाते कांडा है मतलब प्रस्तावित नहीं पारा अभी ना ये मेरे कोटे ओबाई कांडा में खालम ना करूं ये अवस्था वेदी अभी प्रहार एक ना गुड़ाक Kodi pada diri kita macam tu. Jelas, nama awasnya di antara mahina nua, ek tiernya tibuni antara mau India sah, Pakistan antara Tarangga awal jatuh mai selangkaran tibuni. Namu t mami hitan awi dia nang raw ay tening labun security information exa India kan dah mau withdraw kara. Itin desa pal ni kebasin Sri Lanka kan dah mau 
यावान्नर तीरने अगता या उस तरह भी सिटी बालक मंडले इतन किसी में मंहितन्ने अध्ययन या करा के ला सिक्युरिटी सिचुएशन ने गैन ये तारंगावल टपी वारी ना कोटन नमूद क्रीड़ा एमजी तुम्हा कराची इन वोरे टप पेमिल्ला आप क्रीड़ा गैन सामग्री सिटिया आप इन विश्वास या क्लबा देने टप किसी प्रश्न या नहीं किया ला वो आप इस सामग्री सिटिया कराची इन वोरे दिन वही तो ना आप इटे सहन आरक्षा वा क्लबा दी लती बुना मुकुद बुडक देना बाला परुतुने अटैक किया नमूत लाहो नगरे टा अपि गुण का तब विन्न टा पटांग का तहाम व्यापूर्त टेकर गी हाम बुढ़ा जनुंडुआ टा फ्लाइट टेका पैर देखा तूना कितना पारा कुएँ किया ला टेक्निकल फॉल्ट टेका किया ला इट पास से मंग ये दावसला हिटिए अभी एम्बेसिडर विजय टा विंग कमांडर जालत जैक जायकोडी महात्मा इतन ये मात्र ना सामग्री मत सामान दूना दुर्गति नहीं वो गुआ लाहौर नुवर या हम किसी काल बल तारी का त्याग दिवे ना वो एक ऐसा संपूर्ण एम स्वयं बलागन सिटी ने प्लेन का पारा कोई नहीं साई ना तो टेक Welcome back uh, to all our viewers. Uh, we are back live with some rugby action. St. Peter's College uh, taking on St. Anthony's uh, in the seventh uh, tournament uh, under the Saints Quadrangular Tournament 2022. St. Peter's College celebrating their centenary year this year. And celebrations continue right throughout the year with this uh, taking place during this weekend. Yesterday we had uh, cricket action, the T10 uh, format. Today we have uh, rugby is to start off the day and uh, early on St. Peter's College uh, had the better of uh, St. Benedict's College winning that first game in the day and now St. Anthony's College uh, will try to create an upset here at the Bumblepitia grounds. Uh, weather forecast today there's not much uh, <coughs> rain expected today so that's good sign for all the sports uh, that is lined up uh, for today and hopefully that will remain the same until the day's proceedings are over it will be St. Anthony's uh, to kick start the game and joining me at the comment box is Sudarshana good morning to you Sudarshana very good morning to you Ranjik and very good morning to all our viewers joining us on uh, the popper.com as uh, the Patriots uh, look for their second win in this uh, in this competition, what has turned out to be a tri-series. The host, uh, of course, taking on the recently crowned uh, schools games champions, all island schools games champions, uh, the Antonians, who got the better of uh, the much fancied uh, DSA Nanaika College. St. Peter's showing some very good continuity. Using uh, the width of the field, home conditions, breaks the first tackle and uh, that's the first try. Easy as you like it. Good understanding uh, between the players and also the structure. They're holding to uh, their patterns, uh, runs again. They're doing the hard work, straightening things up, attacking uh, the outside channels. Players arriving in support and doing those little things right. Just keeping it uh, simple, St. Peter's College uh, getting the opening points on board. Conversion to come, conversion is not uh, successful, but five points to nil. Taking the early lead, uh, St. Peter's College. This could um, effectively be uh, a dress rehearsal to uh, the final, which would come. Um, because these two teams are the favourites to make that uh, Pete Wright's of course one foot in the final after their victory against the Benedictines and uh, the Antonians are expected to win their game against St. Benedict's as well. But uh, strange things have happened in the, the game of sevens. On your day, how you play is going to be uh, very important inside those 14 minutes.
it's a line out ball uh, and St. Anthony is up for the scrum had the option of uh, taking either the line out or the scrum Antonio's doing the right thing by opting to go with uh, the scrum which is uh, percentage wise so much safer option than the line out most times they're not the throwers are not uh, very accustomed to throwing the ball in the line out here's uh, Kirti Siri the Antonian captain uh, in 2023 putting up uh, a little dink uh, the chase was good but couldn't control it the oncoming runner so Antonian's putting pressure it's unfortunate there the second kick uh, went uh, towards the line out uh, rather than the straight so he had to chase it uh, astray couldn't keep it in Pete Wright's uh, opting for the line out throw gets it right no the referee does not agree so good opportunity for St. Anthony's uh, to respond to that early try from the Pete Wright's It's, in, it's important that uh, the Antonians play as much rugby as they possibly can in uh, the beat right quarter. That's how you can put pressure. If you can hold on to position, you can draw out that uh, mistake. Kitisiri, this time uh, taking two men and offloading, but the oncoming runner coughing it up cheaply. St. Peter's now on the counter, attacks the shortest side. Good desperate cover defense coming in from the Antonians. Want to get their hands on the ball, but um, illegally so. Peters taking it quickly here. Support on the outside channel. Good tackle coming in from Keith. Is he was that dangerous? Referee thinks so. Maybe looked like there was a little bit of a tip. The landing situation, uh, I think, uh, is not safely done. If we will have uh, a chat with uh, the AR, take a look at this once more. Oh well, I'm just, uh, I'm afraid uh, it's uh, going to be a matter of what color it's going to be, and I think uh, for sanity sake uh, that's going to be just a yellow for the Antonians lucky to get away with just a yellow Ranjika because uh, the player did not land safely at all now Pete right with the numerical advantage trying to attack uh, the outer channels coughs it up Antonians can they score with one man down seat belt tackle referee says okay to play on now the Antonians with a numerical advantage but uh, more times than we like teams play out of their skin when they are reduced uh, in number. It's another high tackle, high shot. Lazy arm uh, coming in, isn't it? Yes. Uh, fortunate once again not to be penalised. Uh, there you go. He was beaten, just uh, strung his arm out in desperation. Yes, and Anthony is on the halfway mark. Didn't have right to the ball, uh, wasn't supporting his body weight. Anthony is taking it quickly, trying to create something, get that equaliser. It's going to be important who dictates terms early in this competition. And the Antonians wanting to make sure that they don't get. Uh, too far behind the beat right who are looking in a mood here's a run through the middle need support now though offloads the support arrives from uh, the beat rights looking for options plenty available for the st peter's opting to go on the the far side good defensive pressure coming in from the antonians Referee now playing advantage in favour of Father uh, Pete Wright. Pass through the legs. 
still fighting the Antonians about the Pete rights. Finally, gets through a, a wraparound, touching down for their second 10 points to nil. Good support play from the Patriots. Uh, seems to have uh, understood their game really well. There's always uh, support in coming. Even in this occasion, the play was brought to ground, but there you go, two men arriving in support for the offload. And uh, one man was enough at the end for the second try for the Patriots. The conversion to come. Seven minutes up on our clock. Conversion is not straight, uh, and that will be half time in uh, the second game of uh, the state's quadrangular tournament, the rugby segment. Pete Wright's taking a healthy lead, 10 points to nil against St. Anthony's. Well, the Detroit's continuing from uh, where they left off. Antonians may be having that first game jitters. Didn't really uh, kick off, isn't it? That they did not have quality possession with them at all. St. Peter's uh, second try. That was the one just before the half-time whistle by the Detroit. Next up, uh, after this game is concluded and with a break, uh, we will have the Antonians taking on St. Benedict. Benedict Tynes went down to St. Peter's 27 points to 5 in the first game. We'll go for a quick uh, commercial break and we will come back with the second half section. Second half action. Pete Wright's uh, kick start uh, the second half. In the lead, 10 points to nil. Good high hanging kick uh, there. Let's hit bounce. St. Anthony's Cardinal error gives away position for the Pete Wright's. That's going to be a penalty. Hands on the ruck, uh, says the referee. Here comes Peter Wrights on the halfway mark. Changes direction. Looking for options. Goes by himself. Good break there from the number 10. Gets the offload to the supporting player. Unfortunately, couldn't get the pass right. Here comes in Anthony's uh, with the advantage. For that earlier... Infringement not supporting the weight. Pit right uh, player. And then these need to uh, start strong in this second half, especially trailing by 10 points. If they want to make a comeback in this game, they need to strike early. Let's look at uh, the incident one more time. Number 10. Looks like he's struggling with his leg. Could have jammed it on the ground. Not very good signs if you're an Antonian supporter. That's Sahan Kirti Syria, and that uh, knee has been uh, 
troubling him up this entire season so that's something uh, a lot of the antonians will be a little edgy and nervy about but uh, seems like the magic spreaders uh, the trick unbelievable what that uh, little can can do is an entire run here comes anthony's once again from the halfway mark trying to use the width of the pitch uh, now kids he cuts back in gets the offload brought down on the 40 meter loose ball uh, referee once again playing advantage uh, for offside here comes Anthony's once again kills here with the cross kick testing ball pit right uh, player doing the, the correct thing under pressure did, did not want to get take a chance the ball will be brought back to the 22 This helter skelter stuff from both sides. Uh, speed rights now. Kick the ball deep. Chase is on. But it's Antonian who wins it. Now trying to learn by himself. Goes past the first defender. Gets the offload. Brilliantly done. Here comes in Anthony. It's the number 7 jersey now. Gives it out to his winger. Number 12 jersey. Brought down, good defence uh, from the Pete Rights. Unfortunately, knocks it on St. Anthony's, but uh, referee playing advantage for not releasing the tackle. St. Anthony's with momentum. He escaped the Siri. Gives the offload to the number seven. Dances his way almost to the try line. Just inches away now, and Kid Siri will touch down at the end. Brilliant tie, try from. Uh, the Anthonians they were up against it but they kept the ball in hand and the support players were brilliant time and time again and at the end skipper keep the city no. touching down for the first try of the game brilliant just brilliant from the Antonians this makes it very very interesting uh, the game th makes the game very interesting now uh, Antonians are now within a score away from uh, equalizing from uh, the beat right if they can get the extra two from here it will make this one very spicy the Antonians when they hold on to position they look like a team that can really threaten isn't it uh, can put uh, Sibirius under pressure they lack position in the second first half and uh, but now, it seems to have settled their nerves. And hopefully, they can keep up the tempo. Not ten. Unfortunately, the restart is not good from them. Let not 10. Mark. Be a half, half a mark free kick for the Pete Wrights. Good break there from the Pete Wright. Uh, number 5. Good support not once again. For the Pete Wrights, they have players on the outside. Here comes the number 13. Response with a try. Third try for the Pete Wrights. Against the run of play. Big break from that number 5. Who broke through a couple of tackles. And gained good yards. Then no floated to his support players. And number 13. Doing the final touches. Easy as you like it. Attack the corner flag like all good wingers do. Good stuff from uh, the beat rights. Absorbing the pressure and making sure that they do the little things right and making sure that they are in the front foot. It's their home ground after all. They will not want any chinks in their armor. They will want a clean run through and through. St. Peter's 15 points to 5. Puts in a little bit more daylight between uh, the two teams. Twelve minutes up on our clock. Okay, ten seconds. Pete right, sir, with the restart. Kicks it deep this time. 
And Donians having all to do, Keith Siri. Good defense there from the Pete Wright. Not letting the player go through. And uh, once again, a cardinal error. Knock on, says the referee, giving away position inside their own half. This could be costly for them. Well, you saw the inexperience coming in their run. They were indecisive on who the receiving man on that pass was. He was in no man's land to collect that pass. Should have let it go to the next man and then maybe go around, wrap around and support. But uh, it wasn't a great pass from uh, the number seven. He didn't know who the pass was intended for. But now, Pete Wright holding on to position makes good use of it. They haven't been wasteful with the ball and they will touch down for their fourth score. 20 points to 5. The Pete Wrights showing dominance and showing who rules Bumblepedia. That will seal the deal once again. Enough and more support uh, for the runners. And uh, it just seems to be in sync in today's game and rightfully in the lead 20 points to 5 and that's the end of the second game of this uh, quadrangular tournament St. Peter's College uh, sealing the spot in the finals with two wins out of two second game against uh, St. Anthony's the final uh, time Confirmation is 20 points to 5 in favor of the host. Take a look at this. Uh, the second half action started off with a good try. Good team try from the Anthonians finished by skipper Keith Desiri. But... St. Peter's uh, responded immediately with the number 13 touching down near the corner flag and then this to seal the game off the number 10 going over for the fourth try of the game and sealing the game that's a breakdown four tries for St. Peter's against uh, a sole try for the Anthonians 20 points five full-time confirmation Next match uh, will be St. Anthony's taking on St. Benedict's College. Decider that who will uh, go meet uh, St. Peter's College in the finals. The winner will be uh, the finalist uh, later on in the day. And we'll go to a short commercial break. At the other side, we'll have the last uh, game of the round robin stage in the rugby segment uh, in the Saints Scott Rangular. Do stay tuned to property.com.
ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನ ಹಾರಂಗ ಪಾನ ಸಿಂಹಯಂಗಿ ಕೆಮ್ಮ real time be up to date with it all let us capture your milestones get it sizzling hot off the turf hear the experts break it down dig deep into the nitty gritty be inspired by their greatness relive all the scintillating action ಒಳಿಬರಪ್ಪ ಅಮೀರಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ನೋಡಿ ಕೆಮತಿ ದಿದಾಸ್ ನಮೇ ಲಾಹೋರ್ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಜಾತಿ ಕಂಡ ಮತ್ತೆ ಒಬ್ಬಾಯಿ ಕಂಡ ಮೇ ಕಲ್ಪನಾಕರು ಈ ಅವಸ್ಥಾವೇದಿ ಪ್ರಹಾರ ಗುಡಾಕ್ ಕ್ರೀಡಕೀನ್ಗೆ ಅಹಲ ತೀನ ಮುಖದ ಸಿದ್ಧೂನಿ ಕೋಕದ ಸಿದ್ಧೂನಿ ಕಂಡೇ ಮೇ ಕಲ್ಪನಾಕರು ಒಬ್ಬಟೇ ಈ ಅವಸ್ಥಾವೇದಿ ತಿಬ್ಬು ವಾಕೀಂ ಸ ಒಬ್ಬ ಈ ಅವಸ್ಥಾವೇದಿ ಗಂಡ ತೀರ್ ಜಿದಾಸ್ ನಾಮೆ ಅವಶ್ಯದಿ ಅತ್ತರ ಮಹಿಂದನ ಏಕ ತೀರ್ಣೆಯ ತಿಬುನಿ ಅತ್ತರ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಸಹ ಪಾಕಿಸ್ತಾನ ಅತ್ತರ ತರಂಗಾವಳಿ ಅಕ್ತಮ ಸಲ್ಲಂಕರಣ ತಿಬುನಿ ನಮೂತ್ ಮಮ್ಮ ಹಿತನ ವಿಧಿಯರ ನಾನು ರೋ ಆಯ್ತ ಲಭುನ ಸೆಕ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಕಂಡ ವಿಡ್ರಾ ಕರ ಇದಿನ್ ದೇಶಪಾಲನೆಗೆ ವಶಿನ್ ಶ್ರೀಲಂಕಾ ಕಂಡ ಯಾವಾನ್ನಡ ತೀರಣಿಯ ದತ್ತ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥಾ ವಿ ಸಿ ಟಿ ಬಾಲಕ ಮಂಡಳಿ ಇದೀನ್ ಕಿಸಿಮ್ಮ ಮಂಗಿತನ್ನೇ ಗುಡ ಅಧ್ಯಯನ ಕರ ಕೇಲ ಸೆಕ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ಗನ್ ಏ ತರಂಗಾವಲ್ ಅಪಿ ಅರಿನ ಕೊಟ್ಟ ನಮೂತ್ ಕ್ರೀಡಾ ಎಮ್ ಜಿ ತುಮ ಕರಾಚಿ ಇನ್ನೂರ ಪೆಮಿಲ್ಲ ಕ್ರೀಡೆಗೆ ಸಮಗ ಸಿಟಿಯ ಅಪಿ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ಯಾಕೆ ಲಭಾದೇನಟ ಕಿಸಿ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಯಾಕೆ ನೆಹಾಯಿ ಕೇಲ ಊತ್ ಅಪಿ ಸಮಗ ಸಿಟಿಯ ಕರಾಚಿ ನೂರ ದಿ ಮಹಿತನೋ ಅಪಿಟ ಸಹೇನ ಆರಕ್ಷಾ ವಕ್ ಲಭಾದಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ತಿಬ್ಬು ಮುಖದ ಗುಡಾಕ್ ದಿನ ಬಲಾಪುರ ಋತುನೇ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಏನೋ ನಂಗೆ ಕರಾಚಿ ನೋಡಿದಿ ಈ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಏ ವಿಧಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ನಮ್ಮ ಉತ್ತ ಮಹಿತನ್ಯ ಲಘು ಬಲಾಪುರ ತಿಬ್ಬು ಹಾಕಿ ಲಾಹೋ ನಗರ ಇದೆ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಏ ವಿಧಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ನಮ್ಮ ಉತ್ತ ಲಹೋ ನಗರೇಟ ಅಪಿ ಗುವನ್ ಗತ ವೆನ್ನಟ ಅಡಂಗ ಹಾಮ ವ್ಯಾಪೂಟ ಟಿಕೆಟ್ ಗಿ ಹಾಮ ಜನುಂದ ಫ್ಲೈಟ್ ಟಿಕ ಪೈದೆ ಕಾಕ್ತು ನಕ್ಕಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಪರಕ್ಕು ಏ ಕೇಳ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕಲ್ ಫಾಲ್ಟ್ ಟಿಕ್ ಹಾಕಿ ಹೇಳ ಪಸ್ಸೇ ಮಂಗ್ ಏದ ಅವಸಲ ಹಿಟಿಯೇ ಅಪೇ ಎಂಬಸಿಡರ್ ವಿದ್ಯಟ ವಿಂಗ್ ಕಮಾಂಡರ್ ಜಾಲತ್ ಜಾಕ್ ಜಾಯ್ಕೊಡಿ ಮಹಾತ್ಮ ಇತಿನ್ ಏ ಮಹಾತ್ಮ ಸಮಗತ್ ಮನ್ ಸಂಬಂಧ ನಾ ದುರ್ಗಾತಿ ನೀನ್ ಓ ಗುವ ಲಾಹೋ ನೂರ ಯಾಮ್ ಕಿಸಿ ಕಾಲಬಲ ತಾರಿ ಕತ್ತಿ ಬಿನೋ ಹೋಗೇ ಗೆನ ಸಂಪೂರ್ಣ ಎಮ್ಮ ಸ್ವಬಲ ಆಗನ್ ಸಿಟಿನ್ನೆ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಗೆ ಪರಕ್ಕು ಇನ್ನೇ ನಿಸಾಯಿ ಏನು ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕಲ್ ಫಾಲ್ಟ್ ಗನ್ ನಿಮೇ ಈಗ ಈಗ ಅಭಿಪ್ರಾಯ ಹತ್ತರ ಅಪ್ಪ ಹಕ್ಕಿ ಥರ ಪರಕ್ಕುವಿಲ್ಲ ತಮ್ಮ ಇಲ್ಲ ಹಾವು ನೂರಟ ಗೀ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥಾ ಇಮಿತ ದೇಶಪಾಲನೀಕ ವರ್ಷೇನ್ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಲಹಾವು ನೂರ ಅತಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅತಿ ಗುಣ ಹೇ ಸಿಟಿಪು ಅಗ್ ಆಂಡುಕಾರ ವರೆಯ ಅಗ್ರಮಾತಿ ವರೆಯ ಅಸ್ಕರಲ ಅಹು ಬಾಲೆಯ ಪಾವರ ಗೆನ ಅತಿ ಗುಣ ಅಗ್ರಮಾತಿ ವರ ಹಸ್ರೀನ್ ನವಾಜ್ ಶರೀಫ್ ಅಹು ಅಸ್ಕರಲ ಗೂಟೋ ತಮ್ಮ ಅಗ್ರ ಅಗ್ರ ಆಂಡುಕಾರ ಸಿಟಿ ಅಹು ತಮ್ಮ ಬಾಲೆಯ ಅತ್ಪತ್ ಕರಗನ ತಿಬ್ಬು ನಾಯಿ ಇದು ಅವಸ್ಥಾ ವಿಧಿ ಅಹು ಅತುಲ ತ್ರಿಬಿದ್ದೆಯ ಏಕೊಲ್ಲ ಇನ್ನು ಡಿ ಐ ಐ ಜಿ ಪಿ ಇಸ್ಲಾಕಿ ಎಲ್ಲ
ट्राफिक सेक्यूरी ए वगे सेक्शन पे डीआईजी सिक्यूरी इनफर्मेशन मैं डेली आवा नमूत कोई मेल आवका अटैक नमूत मेधा वे उपहदिली सामने खंडा दिखाई विनशकार विलाव क्यूति हरियट में विलावट यानो अभी ये विलावट यान लैसन पाकिस्तान खंडा में क्रीडियो जगने की तरह ये विलाव उदय आहार पान लाग ओन लैस हिटी ने यान पुडक्के सक सहित मुखद सामान्य खंडा में जातीयंतरता क्रीडियो परक परकुना ओं दाल यानो ओं बलांगी ने मुत्मीस्तावेदी सिक्यूरी तत्व निशा पाकिस्तान बस नवतुना अंपायर्स श्रीलंका बस हरियर मुख्य विलावट पिटात्ना थी तब बस के सहायक ट्रेन ने क्या बस गोडोनी ने ओह बस के बस मंगनी नगे नती केूट बेहित नहीं तमाम महत्म की ये बेला सके खिता अवस्था व्यक्ति बुनी ने स्वाभाविक नियम लेमन रस खागे दिव पीन वाई लेमन लेमन जीवित बाईना कल गल नर कर बस मेच तरह पल और गाड़न पटांग मुल्टी ऐपल को बल्लो थिंक मुल्टी को बस गाड़ बस आए इट बस मंगनो यहाँ पे लोन नोड़ने के अर्जुन अरविंद मैं गन एट ये गाल इट बस बोले बड़ा पत्र बोत लेने दाने पूर्वल अरे इट बस नवत्तना फ्लैट बोले बोत लेके दिन ले दिन बस काल बोत ले दूसरे बस नवत्तना नवत्त बस मेकता है फ्लैट दूसरे बस अपना ये गाल अति कुमार ड्रेस रूम अरगने इतनी मैं बड़ मर बैदर कंट्रोल अभी मेच से मैं बिशाइए तो ताम अतु पेड़ पिरी लगे रहा है एक पेड़ने कटी और पेड़ने दादी का बस अपना बस जीपाई बस कुशला यूट्यूब क्लिप सेंचुरी क्रीडांगण तरंगे सनदेश्वरी आबादी लखला पीटी अनुवाद रखला बैगण किसी अपस्तु आया 
ඒනිය මතක දරන්න අපිට ලකුණු 100ක් ලබා ගන්න තිබුණා ඒ තරමින් ඔව් ඉතින් ඒ බෝලේ පැටිච්ච වෙලාවට ඒක හිතලා කරන දෙයක් නෙමෙයි ඒ නැචුරලි එන දෙයක් ඒ වෙලාවේ ඒ බෝල දෙකට ඒ විතර තමයි පහර දුන්නේ මම හිතන්නේ ඒ හැකියාව මම දැකලා තිනවා අපේ හුඟාක් දෙනෙක්ට තියෙනවා අපේ මේ ලංකාවේ ඉතින් මට ඊටමත් කනගාටුයි අපේ ක්‍රිකට් මේ වගේ තත්වයක දකින්න මොකද අපිට හැකියාව තියෙනවා ලෝකේ පළවෙනි දෙක අතරේ ඉන්න හැමතිස්සෙම ඒ වගේ අපේ මේ ටැලන්ට් එක දෙක්කම හරි ප්ලෑන් එකක් ඇතුව අපි ඉස්සරහට කරගෙන ගියොත් මම හිතන්නේ මේ මේ ඉන්න කට්ටියට සහයෝගය අත දීලා අපිට ඊටමත් සාර්ථක කණ්ඩායමක් පුළුවන් බිහි කරන්න ශාන්ත බොහින් ඒ වගේ මහන්න කැමති 82 ටෙස්ට් වරම් ලැබිලා මාස කීපයක් ගියාට පස්සේ කැරලිකාර සංචාරය තියෙනවා දකුණු අප්‍රිකාවට රිබෙල් 2 එක යම් මේකින් ටෝනි ඕපාත ඔබට කතා කරාද මේ කැරලිකාර සංචාරයට සහභාගී වෙන්න කියලා ඔව් ඇත්තටම 82 මම ගියා මේ ලැංගිෂ ලීගේ සෙල්ලම් කරන්න මේ පාකිස්තාන් සංචාරයෙන් පස්සේ කියන ඉංගලන්තේ අපි සෙල්ලම් කරලා අපි ගියා පාකිස්තාන් වලට ටෙස්ට් මැච් තුනක් සෙල්ලම් කරලා ඊට පස්සේ ඇවිල්ලා මම අප්‍රේල් මාසේ මම ගියා ලැංකිෂයි ලීගේ සෙල් ගන්න කරන්න රැම්ස් බොටම් කියලා කණ්ඩායමකට මට මතකයි එක මැච් එකක් ගහන වෙලාවේ මම දැක්ක ටෝනි ඕපාත ඇවිදගෙන එනවා මැච් එකට ඉතින් මං මං ඒ වෙලාවේ දැනගෙන හිටියේ නෑ මේ ටුවර් එකක් ගැන ඉතින් මැච් එක ඉවරලා ඇත්තටම ටෝනි මට කතා කර කතා කරලා කිව්වා මේ මෙමයි අපි සවුත් ඇෆ්රිකාවට යන්න මේ ටීම් එකක් අරන් යනවා ඔය එන්න කැමතිද කියලා ඉතින් මං ඒලා ටෝනියට කිව්වේ මම ඇත්තටම දැන් මම මගේ ටෙස්ට් මේ මැචස් පටන් අරන් විතරයි මට ඒ වෙලාවේ අවුරුදු විසි දෙකක් තමයි වයස මං කිව්වා ඉතින් මම ගියොත් මට ඊට පස්සේ සෙල්ලම් කරන්න හම්බෙන්නේ නැහැ අනිත් එක ඇත්තටම අපි ඒ කාලේ සෙල්ලම් කරේ රෙක් සුඟක් රටට සෙල්ලම් කිරීමේ තිබ්බ ගෞරවය කියන්නේ සල්ලි කියන එක අපි එච්චර ඒ කාලෙ සල්ලි එච්චර තිබ්බේ නෑ නේ හැබැයි ඒ සෙල්ලම් කරන රටට ගහන එක අර තොප්පිය ඇඳගෙන ෆීල්ඩ් එකට බහින එකේ තිබ්බ ගෞරවයට තමයි අපි හුඟක් සෙල්ලම් කරේ ඉතින් මං එයාට කිව්වා ඉතින් මම මට නම් ඉන්න බෑ මොකද මම මේ මම ආවොත් මට ආපහු මේ ශ්‍රී ලංකාවට ක්‍රිකට් සෙල්ලම් කරන්න බෑ කියලා ඉතින් ඊට පස්සේ එයා කිව්වා එහෙනම් කාර්යක් නෑ බැයි ඒගොල්ලෝ ටීම් එකක් අරන් යනවා කියලා ඉතින් මං කිව්වා ඒගොල්ලන්ට සුබ පතලා මං කිව්වා මට නම් එන්න බෑ කියලා කොහොමද මුදල් ප්‍රමාණයක් කතා වුණාද මට නම් මතක නෑ ඒ කාලේ මම ඉඳලා ලොකු මුදල් ඒ කියන්නේ අපි බලනකොට ඒ කාලේ මුදල් ප්‍රමාණය ලොකු මුදල් ප්‍රමාණය ඒගොල්ලෝ කිව්වා අවුරුදු දෙකකට තමයි යන්නේ ඉතින් අවුරුදු දෙකකට රුපියල් වලින් බලනකොට ඒ කාලේ ලොකු මුදලක් හැබැයි ඉතින් මට තේරුණේ මම ඒ ගියානම් මට එතනින් මගේ ක්‍රිකට් ජීවිතේ ඉවරයි ඉතින් මම මුදල ගැන බැලුවේ නෑ මම ඇත්තටම කිව්වා මට යන්න බෑ මොකද මම මට ශ්‍රී ලංකාවට ක්‍රිකට් සෙල්ලම් කරන්න ඕනෙන්ද කියලා. ඒ කණ්ඩායමේ ටුප සමහර තරුණ ක්‍රීඩකින් චමින්දවාස් සනත් ජයසූරිය වැනි අය කියනවා කණ්ඩායමේ ටුප ශේෂ්ඨයන්ගෙන් දරුණුතුම පුද්ගලයා ඔබ කියනවා ඒක ඇත්තත් මම කියන්නේ දරුණුතුම කියන්නේ අපි ඩිසිප්ලින් තියාගත්තා ඒ ඒකත් අපි මේ වකරද අර්ජුන කැප්ටන් හැටියට අර්ජුනට තිබ්බ අනිත්‍ය ඒවා කරන්න ස්ට්‍රැටජික් ප්ලෑනින් ඔක්කොම අපි සීනිය හතර දෙනා බලාගත්ත එක ඒක දේවල් අපි කියන්නේ මම ගොඩක් ඩිසිප්ලින් පැත්ත යන්ග් ප්ලේයර්ස් ලත් එක්ක බලාගත්ත හෂාන් නුත් ගොඩක් හෙල්ප් කර ඒ පැත්තේ ක්‍රෝෂානුයි අරවින්දයි අනිත් සමහරක් ඒවා බලාගත්ත කියන්නේ ඒක තමයි කැප්ටන්ට ලේසි වුණේ නැත්නම් කැප්ටන්ට හැමදේම කරන්න ඕන අමාරුයි අර්ජුනට කිසිම ප්‍රශ්නයක් තිබ්බේ නැහැ ඩිසිප්ලින් ගැන හොයන්නවත් මොකක්වත් එයා දන්නවා අර සීනියර් ප්ලේස්ලා හතර දෙනා කරනවා කියලා හැබැයි දැන් වුණත් ඒගොල්ලන්ට කතා කරලා ඒගොල්ලන් කියන ඒවයින් ඒ ඩිසිප්ලින් හදපු එකෙන් හොඳ වුණා කියලා ක්‍රීඩකයෝ කිව්වට ක්‍රිකට් පල්ලයට ගිහිල්ලා කියලා කියලා 
परिपाल इन उद्वीर अंकियां ने मैं क्लब सिस्टम में के मतलब आप ही वर्ल्ड कप का दिन नहीं किया था ओ एक तरह मांग क्यों ये काय मैं का अरे एक गोलो मैं गोलों ने के लिए मैं गोलों के लिए के लिए डन्ने प्रधानम वाके की मतलब ने क्रीड़ किया था ओ दाना करने ने ओगे देवल मना देगे ने थानी ये मगरन नॉन देवल थी ना तमा मैं पून करो वाला विनाडी पाला किस सक क्रीड़ा करो वाम एक इवर कल गिदरे आने का निमित्त ही तमांगे फिटनेस के इंदम मैं का प्रधानम दे तमांट आवश्य फिटनेस किये ने क्रिकेट गान वो देखा मटो दा देखी में दिए ना मुझे मामा दे पाहुगी आउर देखे टक खालीं मामा सेल्ला कर दी मामा वैडिया फिटनेस कराने गाते ने गाते मटे तेरु ना हरी अमार हुई के ल मैच गान इट बसे मामा वैनम में वैनास कर ला मागे फिटनेस कराने मामा पटांग गाता एक हर ला मैं पाहुगी आउर देख गान ना मटे तेरु ना प्रधान हम तमंगे शारीरिक योग्यता है त्यागनों ने में क्रिकेट टेके दी त्यागे नहीं मेरे वेला तमंट टागट टेक हादागनों ने कोहमा दे अन्य किए ने के कोच किए ने कांग आर्या किए ने कांग इन्ह ना रखा है तमत तमंग हादागनों ने तमत तमंगे टागट्स तमंग बैठूना ना घर माम मूलिंग क्यों हुआ वागे में तो � मिथ्या पैतरा बैन करने के लिए मैं क्रीड़ के अंतर्गत परिपालन के उन्हें लगे आठ अवस्था वाले क्रीड़ के हरियत यान नॉन में चलिए शॉर्ट कट नहीं तो कोई अवस्था वाले लोग कुछ लड़ता लगा वाले ये दी ओब तदनु ने जाति का नाम डर में लोग कुछ लाने जाए लाने के लिए प्रावस्था आती है ना इसके बाद अतः मैं अभी क्वार्टर फाइनल लेकर टावा में मंग अर्जुन अटत में मैं दाऊद सक्रे कैमरा का रंगा मंग की हुआ अभी मैं क्वार्टर फाइनल लेकर तारंगे ना अभी क्लियर उन्नत मंग ही तरने अभी तो मैं के दिनाने लोगों का � गेम में का इंग्लैंड एक का एक मामा हितुआ में गुआक पिलावट आप इटा ये तरंगे पान्ना गान्ना पुलवान नंग ये मुलुगा मन्ना में इतामत सार्थ के लिए सा यंदा पुलवांगे के लिए थे दा आप ही वासना उठ वागे आप ही बैटिंग लास्ट मिनट आप ही बैटिंग लाइनअप पे का स्ट्रेंथ कर ला सनात इतामत थोंदर क्रीड़ा कर ला अभी इधा जायकराने एक क्लब आगत। अब आवश्यक टेस्ट तारंगी बटे इंडिया को देखो कांडा मत सामग्र रवैत्रे ने पोर्ट ऑफ स्पेन में भी लखनऊ में अत्ता टक क्लब आगर नो पाल मोइनी में भी इट पसे नाम तक टेस्ट तारंगी क्रीड़ा कर ला ना आह ओ एक ही मांगा रहा मूलिंग की वो दे तमे इतना अपिटे � पालवीन टेस्ट आरंगे क्रीड़ा करे प्रसन्न जायवादन क्रीड़ा करना और प्रसन्न नेट बोल आप कर दिला आगे अंगिले आबादे कर लाऊँगा इड पासे तो माय इतने हिट बैट्समैन हिट डीटी मामा मावी लगा मैच्चे गास्सा ने गुलो तीर ने करा संगा का महितन कीप करा एक संगा तो कोई कीप कर ला मामा गहलाई थी मामा एक ही लखन एक इतने मामे पूर्ण तरह के क्रीड़ा करा एक इतने मामे इनिंस देखे हम लाखों उपनाय हत्या वाय एक इतने हुआ नोट आउट गाल ऐसी है बे मटर चांस के कारण बे आता ना प्रसन्न जायवर्धन तब आपने नंबर वन विकेट कीप तो ये वेला आवे दी प्रसन्न ने टी अवस्था हो दूर नहीं कोल कीप करना दीला मामे ने � मुलीम में दिलचान टेच आंसर को दूना ये मैचेस गान नहीं किया रहा दिलचान ये मैचेस के सीयक गानो तीन सीयक गया हुआ है तो मटे हिम्मत में बलागे नहीं नहीं ना इट पास है तीन इट पास है इट पूरी टीम में का संपूर्ण ने में हम विदेश में चांस का गाना मारू ना है मोम लखून वातर हिट किया तीन ये क क्रीड़ा के कैटियर तेरीम का मिटे सामाजिक कैटियर सह कालबना कर्मी कैटियर जाती करना है मैं मैं काल सीमा वेदी निकाल समय दी 
ඔබ ගොඩක් ක්‍රීඩකින් දැකලා තියෙනවා මේ අතරින් ඔබ දන්නේ කවුද ඔන්නම ඔබ දැකපු කඩලු රකින්න මහේෂ් ගුණතිලකද කුමා සංගකාරද ප්‍රසන්න ජයවත් නැත්නම් වෙන කෙනෙක් ඔය තරම මහේෂ් ගුණතිලක මම බොහොම සුළු කාලයක් තමයි දැක්කේ තාමත්ම හොඳ කඩලු රකින්නෙක් ඔහු ස්වභාවයෙන්ම කඩලු රකින්නෙක් වශයෙන් තමයි क्रीडा कर हेमंत देव प्रिय तामात्म हुद खु रखी क्वशे चिटिया समकालीन क्रीड के क्वशे ये प्रसन्न जावर्धन मे तुदना तम मैदन मम दखीनवा हुद खु रखी वशे सिटील हितनवा ना मे काल वक्वा विनस अभी हेमंत देव प्रिय गुट ओ दखिण पुराण संचारे गेन साहूट क्रीडा कर लगुनी नेह वैदिक महेश कुल का क्रीडा करे टेस्ट तरंग हरि की पमन ऊटा दक्षत दक्षण लैबुरी ने प्रसन्न जावद ऊट अवस्था लैबुना दर्शक दक्षण गुडाला कडूल रखी खुंदाई के लखियाँ विकट आसा ने कडूल रखने को विशेष दंग पंदुआवट ये वेगत पंदुआवट कडूल लंग इंदा कडूल रखी नट है कि इधन मंगिंद नो ये उक्को मुझे बेलुहा क्रीडाक अवस्था सलसून क्रीड के वशे महिता प्रसन्न जावेदन इस तरह सिद्धवाकिन कुमार कुमार संगकार के नम संधान कर कुमार संगकार अतरम हो पिचकार वशेन तम कन्या इटीन बहु दूर कन्या मे बैलेंस बालन को कडूल रखी क्वशेन क्रीडा करो ऐन या किसी वासी खंडा अतिनो यदि महिला ये वासी तम गुडाकुलाम कौटे रोमेश कर्मता पसे कुमार संगकार पड़ांगत्त नमूत विशेषेन मैं कुमार संगकार अभी कें हार्ड वर्किंग के तमत्म महंसियन तमंगे क्रीडा कौशल्य दीवन कर क्रीडकें ओहूतरंग वेहसाख तमंग क्रीडा वीवन कर क्रीडके नतीतर ये एक पेन हूगे स्टैटिस बेलुहा स्टैटिस्टिक्स बेलुहा पेन उत्तर स्तम किरी वर्ट असुगर तीन कैच साल तीन तीन नमूत दक्षता भी आती बेलुरी महिद प्रसन्न जावर्धन इस तरह सिटी महेश कुमार के तरह पास पास नहीं है कि प्रसिद्ध प्रसिद्ध विशिष्ट बैठक දැන් අපි බැට් කරන්න ගිහිල්ලා පළවෙනි ඕවර් දෙකේ විකට් එකක් යනවා. දැන් කුමා බැට් කරන්න යනවා. දැන් කුමා දවස් එකමාරක් විකට් කීපින් ගන්න ඊටමත්ම අමාරු ජොබ් එකක්. ඒ කියන්නේ නැවෙන්න ඕනේ හිට ගන්න ඕනේ. කොන්සන්ට්‍රේට් කරන්න ඕනේ පොඩ්ඩක් මිස් වුණොත් කැච් එකක් ස්ටම්පින් එකක් මිස් වෙන්න පුළුවන් කැච් එකක් මිස් වෙන්න පුළුවන්. ඉතින් යාගේ ඇත්තටම ඇවරේජ් එක තිබ්බේ ඒ කාලේ 40 ගණන් 40 ගණන් වල තිබ්බේ. ඉතින් මම යාට කිව්වේ වා बलांड में मेक टीका अमारू जब वाट कीप कल्ला बैट कीप कल्ला 
बैट कराना होना वो नंबर पार्ट हाइट वाके इन क्या नहीं गिल क्रिस्ट वाके बैट करना था ना कर दिक्कत कीपर्स ला बैट सामानिंग बैट करने ए लेवल लेके पहाड़ी हाई आ रही सामानिंग हाई आई थिंक या इच्छा रख ऐमती उन्हें या मटक कीवे या कीप करने वाले या के बैटिंग में टा एका हेल्प पे ना के ला मुकोजे बोल एना पेना ने इतिंग ये वाला इतिंग आप ये लाये तीर ने गत्ता मुकोजे आप ये हितो खंडा है मेनुए ये टा पस्ते मंगिता ने आगे एवरेज जगह हैटा पहाड़ टा वाके आवा मे नॉन कीपिंग बैटिंग करा ये कीपिंग पैसे गत्तो तेली है टा मंगिता ने आगे एवरेज जगह मंगिता ने दिर हैटा पहाड़ के आगे के � Keeping, nawatlah, nawatlah ya batting itu rak, mukade ya ada, tora hunger ke ready. Mukade ya ada, mana deng, wicket keep kerana me ada air responsibility ada tiga ni inda, deng ya wicket keeping. Nanti inda, ini batting mana tawat ready pun responsibility. Kau itu ni ya, gahapu dua itu sahaja, sahaja ke permainan ini ready puna. Mukade ini, ini, ini kapit penu puna. Mungkin dah negar, ini kata tiri ni, kanda me ni kata tiri ni. Ini ni kerja sama, ini, ini lah, ini kuma pon dah, ini kerja asal tu tu nanti. Mengidan ni Rex Kiwa ke, hati itu hari la balun aku dah. Eka mengidan ni, yaat, ya ke average asal deh, ke improve la tiennu. Ting mengidan ni, kat sini tiennu, mudah terima. Me wicket keeper ni, tama orang itu test match, one day match je pulu. Apa one day la, ya apa ingkari ni? One day la keep kara. Test match asal itu tak kapi yaat Kiwa, wa me number three bat karan, ni me wicket keeping katari deh ni. Arwin the Silva King Oba, ini nak apa? Arwin the yang kena kini orang Arwin the ini hemat utam itu ino kau orang viri. Mama cricket gahana kali ni, mama mager ti bekemah viri Arwin the ya. Muda mama entar match balan ni Arwin the ya bet kerana orang itu vitara. Arwin the ya gahana tika balan orang ya out not pasai mama ana. Ting eh eh kat ibu na luku luku atau luye. Eh kat tar mang kiu ya, am kisi hi niak wa geuna mat Arwin the ya tte kemeh meker krida kerana lebu na. Ikan mager ti ibu nu matai orang. Tiada ini, kau mahu dikira ni kira, tapi hitang nanti, api hitaga tu putgal ek, api asa kerupu putgal ek ke ke kat, kerida kerana lebih nak kira ni, ke ikan mangi tan ni mulu, kisi mandi ikan sama kerana ni, mati ya asta awal pun mang hari mana putu mau na, ya tte ke kerida kerana, eva game itu mana kerinda saya ini orang putgal ek mati evila, godat dewal kiel tu mana kerida kerana dia vidya dewal, godat dewal mana mati katana. Jadi karena mesra mari itu pun ada kerjanya nak catch atau reda match pada dini hari kita. Enak itu hari siang kita raga kan? Tarik ke di. Kaman ni, tu kita catch atau hari kita. Field ke ni dah agen itu kita pasti nak kan? Enak itu hari siang kita raga kan? Jangan dekat mana ini. Nanti kita ingat apa disebut. Apa yang kita lakukan itu ada teka. Eka lakukan itu kita ada dengan dia. Catch atau kita hari ini siang tu nampak kita mai kan? Apa yang kita lakukan itu kita ये चले जेक तो कहीं देखो तूने करी होती है मैं अपनी कम मतलब ये सपोर्ट टेक दिन नोड है मतलब इससे मैं चैलेंज बार कर नोड है अभी सीए देखा हुए एसीए ना मत तर ना तो भाई अभी आन नोड है मतलब इससे कहीं हुए चला है ना अभी ऐसे के लिए तो एक गहर थी ये ना एक अट साधा ने करा नोड है मारा है ना मेरी मेरे ना ऐसे तुले गहर नोड है ना फील तमंगे ऊपरी बस लाया दे दे नोड है भी तर के था Dengi semifinal tarung ke Kolkata lepas itu no gal mulai main. Nampak tak? Obat itu tu mungkin dalam naik kerja kira ni tu Arvind itu na pandura kini nanti an. Epa muka tu orang tu jangan kisah dek pedi lah abad dek sedu no tema awasan tarung kita ni lah. Perkhidmatan kita ni. Mami tan tenang kita boleh volunteer kita ni. Ah ni baru. Ek muka tu entar baik kita ni. Apa ini main investment kita ni? Kita ini mata injury kita kuno tu mata kali hati na. Recovery. Tuta. Ari ini ada orang no final leh kita tadi ni dah pasti kita naik. Ting, apa loko mah bestman. Ting, mana kau mahari loko utama, heh mana ni mata teru ni mata hari ini ada gan. 
ඇතුළට තියා ගන්න එක තමයි ඉතින් ඕක වෙන්න ඕනේ මගේ හිතේ කියවෙන්නේ නැත්තේ ඉතින් දැක්ක හැටි අපි මේන් එක කෙන ඔයාට මට හිතෙනවා එයාව ගන්න කියන එක තමයි මගේ හිතේ ඔක්කොම ඇති නේ ඒකනේ ඒක නිසා මම ආයෙ දැන්ට යන්න ලයින් එකට එතකොට තමයි ආයි ඔය බෝතල් ටික එන්නේ යොවුන් කණ්ඩායම් භාරව සිටින පුද්ගලයා නිසා මම කැමති කොහොමද ඔබ ක්‍රිකට් කණ්ඩායමේ අනාගතය දකින්නේ 2019 ලෝක කුසලාලෙන් පස්සේ 2019 ලෝක කුසලාලෙන් පස්සේ මම ඇත්තටම දකින්නම් මම එදා කලසක් කිව්වා 2023 වර්ල්ඩ් කප් එක ගැන ඉන්දියාවේ ගහන්නේ මට පේනවා හොඳ අනාගතයක් අපිට තියෙනවා කියලා මොකද මට අන්ඩර් 19 සයිඩ් එක ගැන ගොඩාක් කොන්ෆිඩන්ස් තියෙනවා දැන් ඉන්න ප්ලේයර්ස් ලගේ ඒගොල්ලන් 17 18 කට්ටිය තව අවුරුදු 4කින් 22ක් විතර වෙනවා ඒකේ හොඳ කට්ටියක් ඉන්න ඊට පොඩ්ඩක් උඩිනුත් ඉන්නවා දැන් කමිදු මෙන්දිස් වගේ කට්ටිය ඉන්නවා අවුරුදු 20යි අවුරුදු 4කින් කියන්නේ අවුරුදු 24ක් 25ක් වෙන කට්ටිය ඒකම ඉන්නවා කුසල් මෙන්දිස්ලා අවුරුදු 27ක් 28ක් වෙනවා ඒ කාලේ මම හිතනවා අපේ 96 කණ්ඩායම් වගේ එක්ස්පීරියන්ස් ටීම් එකක් අපිට හිඳී කියලා 2023. හැබැයි ප්‍රෝග්‍රෑම්ස් අපි එක එක කෙන ආවහම අලුතෙන් මාරු කරන්න හොඳ නැහැ. මම අද ඉඳලා හෙට ගියත් අපි මෙතන දාලා තියෙන ප්‍රෝග්‍රෑම්ස් කවුරුද ඇවිල්ලා තව ඉස්සරහට ගෙනියනවා මිසක්. මොකද අපි දැන් ෆෝකස් කරනවා ගොඩාක් යන්ග් පැත්ත. මම අන්ඩර් 15 අපි දැන් ග්‍රූප් එකක් ගෙන්වන්න හදනවා. අන්ඩර් 17 පොඩි ග්‍රූප් එකක් පටන් ගන්න හදනවා. අපි පේස් බෝලින්ග්, ස්පින් බෝලින්ග් පැත්ත ෆෝකස් කරනවා. කෝචර්ස් ලගෙන්. ඉතින් ඒව ඔක්කොම දාලා තියෙන්නේ 2023 ගෝල් එකට. මොකද හයි පර්ෆෝමන්ස් සෙන්ටර් එකෙන් අපේ ප්ලෑන් එක යන්නේ 2023 වර්ල්ඩ් කප් එක දිනන්න. ඒක දිනන්න තමයි අපි එතනින් ඉඳන් පල්ලි හරි දැන් ප්ලෑන් කරගෙන යන්නේ මම දන්නවා කවුරු හෙඩ් කෝච් වෙයි දැන් නෑ ඒ දවස් වෙනකොට. ඉතින් අපේ ප්ලෑන් එක යන්නේ අපි ප්ලේයර්ස් ලව ලෑස්ති කරන්න එදාට. ඉතින් මට ඇත්තටම සතුටුයි අනාගතය හොඳ පැත්ත කර තියෙන්නේ අපිට. මෙන්න සාමාන්‍යයෙන් දකුණු අප්‍රිකාවට සංචාරයක් යනවායි කියලා කියන්නේ තරම් ලේසි පාසු කහර නැන්නේ වේ ඉතිහාසය ගත්තොත් එහෙම ශ්‍රී ලංකා නම් පරදින්නේ ඉනිමකින් ලකුණු 220කින් එහෙම නැත්නම් ඉනිමකින් ලකුණු 150කින් වගේ ගියාම සංචාරකින් වගේ නමුත් ඒ 2018 සංචාරයේදී ඉතිහාසගත සංචාරයක් මොකද ශ්‍රී ලංකා නම් ආසියාවේ පළවෙනි කණ්ඩායම් වෙනවා දකුණු අප්‍රිකාවේ තරඟාවලියක් ජයග්‍රහණය කරන්න ඔබත් මේ මොහොතේ දකුණු අප්‍රිකාවේ විතියා ඔබට ඒ අත්දැකීම කොතරම් මිහිරි දෙයක් වුණා ඇත්තටම මම ගොඩක් වෙලාවට ඒ මුළු සංචාරයේ තුළම හිටියේ CEO box එකේ. ඉතින් දකුණු අප්‍රිකානු රටේ සිටින ජේෂ්ඨම ක්‍රීඩකයෝ වශයෙන්ම පාල පාලක මණ්ඩලයේ කට්යත් ඒ ක්‍රීඩා ක්‍රීඩාංගණයේ තමයි බොහෝ දුර සිටියේ. ඉතින් මට ඔවුන් සමග කතා කරන්නට හැකියාව ලැබුණා. ඔවුන් පුදුමයෙන් පුදුමයට පත් වුණා අපේ ක්‍රීඩකයන්ගේ දක්ෂතාවය ගැන. මොකද ඔවුන් බලාපොරොත්තු වුණේ දවස් තුනකින් විතර අපි තරගය පරදීවි කියලා ඉතින් මොකද ලොකු වෙනස්කමක් කරා ජාතික කණ්ඩායමේ තරගාවලියට යන්නට නායකත්ව අමාරු කිරීමක් ඒ වගේම ලොකු වෙනස්කමක් අලු නව ක්‍රීඩකයන් කිහිප දෙනෙක් ඇතුළත් කරා ජ්‍යේෂ්ඨ ක්‍රීඩකයන් කිහිප දෙනෙක් ඉවත් කරා ඉතින් ඒ අවස්ථාවේදී ඔවුන් කිසිසේම බලාපොරොත්තු වුණේ නැහැ ශ්‍රී ලංකා කණ්ඩායම ඒ තරම් හොඳින් ක්‍රීඩා කරයි කියලා නමුත් අනිතික නැද්ද ලසිත් ඇඹුල් දෙනිය බැලුවදින් එහෙම මං හිතන්නේ අන්තර් සමාජ ක්‍රීඩා තරගාවලියේ තරඟ තරඟ ගොඩක් ක්‍රීඩා කළ තිබුණයි කියලා ඒ අවස්ථාව වෙනකොට ඉතින් ඔහු අරන් ගියේ දිළුවන් පෙරා වෙනුවට ඉතින් ඒ වැනි රිස්කි ඩිසිෂන්ස් ටිකක් අරගෙන ඉතින් ඒවා හරි ගියාම ගොඩක් ඒගොල්ලෝ ක්‍රීඩිට් එක දෙන්නේ නැහැ කවද අක සිලෙක්ටර්ස් වල ක්‍රීඩිට් එක දෙන්නේ වෙනත් පුද්ගලයන් ඒකේ සිලෙක්ටර්ස් තව වශයෙන් කවදාක්වත් මේ හොඳක් අහන්න ලැබෙන්නේ නැහැ නරක විතරයි අහන්න ලැබෙන්නේ හොඳ කරොත් ප්ලේය හොඳයි නරක කරොත් සිලෙක්ටර් නරකයි ඉතින් ඒක සාමාන්‍ය ස්වභාවයක්. ප්‍රසයයි කාගෙත් දිව පිනවයි බැලිබන් ලෙමන් ප
ලෝකේ Welcome back. Uh, we are coming to you live from the St. Peter's College grounds in Bambalapitiya. The Saints uh, quadrangular tournament virtual semi-final between these two sides and Bendix College taking on St. Anthony's College. St. Peter's College have already secured their spot uh, in the finals winning both their first two games. And now it's up to these two games, to these two teams rather, to uh, find to secure that last spot in the final. And joining me at the comm box is Laksasi. Good morning to you, Laksasi. Good morning, Ranjika. Both the teams who lost their first game to St. Peter's trying to uh, book their spot in that uh, final. St. Benedict's lost the opening game 27 points to 5 against uh, St. Peter's. And uh, St. Benedict's looks like they were gaining some momentum, but unfortunately, it's a turnover ball. St. Anthony's with the chance here. Using their numbers in Anthony's, the winners of the national school games, and then number five, he manages to find space and he will go all the way. That's going to be the first score of this uh, third encounter. Brilliant stuff by uh, St. Anthony's. He's picking just uh, outrunning his uh, counterpart, running around him and going all the way under the post. He is a pass. Look at this. Enough pace to run around. And the long uh, lever is uh, put to good defect. The conversion is also through. And uh, seven points to nil in the second minute. St. Anthony's College favourites to uh, go through to uh, the final and face St. Peter's College. We are unfortunate that uh, we don't have St. Joseph's College in this tournament. League runner-ups and uh, the knockout uh, runner-ups as well. It would have been a great spectacle if they were a part of this game. The reckless tackle there. A warning from the referee, not a card given. Yes, and Benedict's trying to respond. Good run there from the the Benz uh, speedster, winning that penalty as well. Benz once again running the ball out wide, loses the ball. In the process, giving away position to the Antonians. Yes, and Anthony is now with space out wide. Now cuts back in. Could see some move there, but uh, defense was up to it. St. Anthony is still pushing on. Good support play from uh, the Antonians. Now have a play on the outside. Does he have pace to go all the way? Yes, he does. That's a second try. For the Anthonians. Neatly done. Good support play for the Anthonians. Keeping the ball, keeping the position and keeping the ball in play as well. The conversion is through. Takes them to 14 points in the fourth minute. That's in Anthony's college. The number one. He found the space and he just outran the Asambani defense defenders quite easily. 
Goes over for their second try. St. Anthony's College, of course, the winners of the uh, National School Game 7s. And you bring the All Island 7s, they actually lost to the Eastern Night College and were unfortunately eliminated from round one. And then they went on to win the ball segment of the tournament. Not the best of uh, restarts by St. Anthony's. That's unfortunate. Butterfingers from the bench player. Giving away position once again. They can't afford to do that. Need to get some points on board before the break. Time is running out. St. Anthony's College in with another chance to get another score before Lemons. Feeds it in the Antonia changes direction. He has space on the outside. Steps on the gas, steps away from a tackle. But good defense there from the Benedictine. St. Anthony's still with the ball. Gets the pass away to the number 15 jersey once again. Good rush defense. But uh, looks like there was an infringement early on, not supporting the weight. So penalty for St. Anthony's. Now advantage. And uh, the third try. Easy as you like it. Ref reverse playing advantage uh, for offside play. And he used it to just uh, creep through the middle. And uh, score under the post. Third try with the conversion to come. Conversion is good. Takes him to 21 points in the first half. Dominant, do, dominant, dominant performance from the St. Anthony so far. Indeed, Ranjuga, St. Bernard's College, not clearly showing the inexperience here. St. Anthony is, on the other hand, one of the top tier teams. They have uh, played in crunch moments before and they know how to handle these situations. It's going to be a really good uh, learning experience for St. Bernard's College playing uh, against these uh, sides. They played against St. Peter's earlier, scored a try as well. Want to uh, score a try or two in this encounter too. Advantage uh, straight away for St. Anthony's after the restart. Yes, St. Anthony's with numbers once again. Fumbles it. It's knocked forward from the Antonian. <laughs> Two changes coming in to the field for the Benz. No, Rajiko, we have three sports uh, happening in this uh, quadrangular tournament. Uh, we have one more encounter from round one of the E10 cricket remaining, which will uh, happen next after this uh, final game of the uh, sevens first round between St. Anthony's College and uh, St. Benedict's College, the same two schools. Yes, St. Benedict's College, can they find some space to score that first try? St. Benedict's still with position, trying to use their numbers, a good break here. St. Benedict's must make sure that they keep the ball in hand without losing it. They're advancing, advancing well, and they have given it away once again, St. Bendix. And yes, St. Anthony's with the opportunity once again, the number 16. And it's going to be a yellow card for the number 16 of uh, St. Anthony's. Let's take a look at that one more time. Here's infringement. Looks to be like a knee shot to the abdominal of that uh, bench player right in front of the referee as well. He thought he could get away with it, but uh, the referee was right on cue. Needless uh, from the Antonian player, they're dominating the proceedings.
after this game uh, we'll have a t10 action once again we were supposed to uh, play the remainder of yesterday's game between uh, st peter's college and st joseph's college unfortunately st joseph's are forfeiting that game and uh, which means that uh, st peter's college uh, will go into the final with three wins out of three and then uh, the game between St. Bendix College and St. Anthony's College. If St. Bendix win that, it will mean that uh, St. Bendix will uh, meet St. Peter's in the final. He, as we speak, the Benz uh, number 11 jersey making a break for the first time. St. Bendix reaching the 22 meter of the Anthonian half. Now in with the chance to uh, get a score on board with the numerical advantage. Can they make it count? Trying to go from the outside, gets the offload. That will be the first try. Brilliantly done by the Benz. They had that uh, numerical advantage and they used the width of the pitch to perfection and found the try, first try of the game for the Benz. That's brilliant stuff uh, by uh, St. Benny's College. The Benz finally finding the try line for the first time in this encounter that final offload was really good so let's see whether he can add the uh, two extra points to make it 21-7 so it will stay 21-5 as the uh, referee signals for half time That's a half-time confirmation in Anthony's College leading 21 points to 5 against St. Benedict's. Here's our, here are the tries. First try scored by the number 5 jersey running around uh, his uh, counterpart. Two conversions, uh, two successful conversions from the Anthonians as well. Here's a second try once again outrunning the defenders. That two was converted uh, for the Anthonians, and this one catching uh, the bends off guard, taking the quick tap, and going under the post. The third try, taking them to 21 points, and then they considered that yellow card for a high knee, and it opened up. Uh, the space for the Benz to find the white wash for their first try. We should go to a short commercial break. At the other side, we'll have second half action. Bana Singhayangi Gemma Gemma Tamai Nera di Olibarapu, Yal Panatil, Martha Kotavila Gumpy as a Tavila. We're back with the uh, live action from the second half of this uh, final round one encounter of uh, the Rugby Sevens uh, tournament of the SNS Quadrangular 2022. St. Andrews College with the advantage 21 points to 5 against uh, St. Benedict's. Both the teams lost their opening game uh, to St. Peter's who have already qualified for the finals. The winner of this encounter will play with them once again in the all-important final game. St. Benedict's, can they mount a comeback here? Can they score another try? Advantage with them. I tackle says the referee. 
So here's Mendix with the chance to attack. They have managed to minimize those mistakes that they did earlier in the second half, but unfortunately, just like that, it's a turnover ball and St. Anthony is with the chance, the number 15, trying to find the space, it waits two tacklers. Should have passed, should have passed that uh, supporting player. That's a costly error from the Anthonians, but uh, still with ball and he will go all the way, the number 7 jersey at the end. Doesn't cost them much uh, for try for the Anthonians, takes them uh, to 25 points to 5, 26 points with a conversion to come. Conversion is not through. Here's a run once again, out running the Benz uh, player. As you, as you mentioned earlier, the T10 uh, encounter is coming up next between the two, uh, between the same two schools, St. Benedict's and uh, St. Anthony's. An important game because we still don't know who the finalists will be uh, to play along uh, with uh, St. Peter's in the uh, T10 tournament. All the other three teams still have an opportunity to run Jigger. So, uh, it will decide the fate of the second team. Yes, as I was saying, if St. Benedict's uh, win the game, that will secure the spot in the finals for the Benz but if uh, St. Anthony is win it that puts uh, the rest of the three teams St. Benedict, St. Anthony's rest of the two teams uh, three teams rather St. Joseph's College uh, all in one win so it will uh, I'm not quite sure whether they calculate the net run rate in this tournament they, if they do it will come down to uh, the team with the highest net run rate who will proceed to the final so I'm pretty sure St. Joseph's College are at an advantage and a disadvantage because they forfeited uh, the game against uh, St. Peter's College. Not quite sure how it affects uh, the net run rate. And as we speak, nice interception there from the number 16. He received uh, a yellow card in the first half. He <laughs> responds with a try. Big lad, the number 16. He wants to convert it by himself as well. does it easily so that takes uh, the scoreboard to 33 points to 5 here we go nicely read from the number 16 the big lad making those hard yards and jumping over the whitewash 5 tries so far for uh, St. Anthony's College in this encounter Here's the restart. We still have around uh, three minutes remaining on our clock. Another yellow card for the uh, for one of the Antonians. Second one of the game. So Benz once again with a numerical advantage. Trying to use the width of the pitch. But the player cuts back in. Looking for options. No way through the defense uh, so far for the Antonians. For the Benz rather. And he's bundled out of touch.
Penn still with the position. Oh, Cardinal error there. Not taking the tap correctly. The Benz player. That's uh, the inexperience uh, showing. St. Anthony's College in with another opportunity. Still has possession, the number four. They keep offloading, but they have not gained much uh, distance. Here's the number three passes it to the number seven. A long pass here. And a Benz player is down as well. Pass it to number 15. Looks like he will go all the way, but a really good tackle by the uh, Benz number 14. But unfortunately, the support play is there for St. Anthony's College as they go over for a six try uh, in this encounter as the uh, score moves to 38. Knocked to his head, uh, Ben's player looks to be in some sort of trouble. Take a look at this one more time. Yes, a try, nevertheless, the sixth one for for the Antonians. Conversion is through. That takes the game uh, to 40 points to 5. We do have time for one last play here. St. Anthony's may try to score a seventh try here. And uh, that's it. That's the end of the third encounter uh, in Rugby Sevens here at the uh, Saints Quadrangular 2022. St. Anthony's College have registered a comfortable win over St. Benedict's College, 40 points to 5, and they have booked their spot in the finals against the Peter Rides. Easy win at the end. Benedict's College will take this experience, this exposure, playing against a Division 1 club, Division 1 school rather. 40 points to 5, the full time confirmation. Dominant uh, performance from the Antonians to. See you the spot in the final later in the day. This is how the half started. Number seven going under the post, out running the Benz uh, defenders. And then this interception from the big number 16, who ran good 60 yards to jump uh, over the whitewash. Yes, the final try before the final whistle to seal uh, a comfortable win by 40 points to 5. St. Anthony's College booking the spot in uh, the finals of this uh, quadrangular tournament. Key stats 6 try against uh, 1 from the Benedictines. Final will be at 4 p.m. today. St. Peter's College will take on St. Anthony's College. It's going to be a crunch game. Both teams uh, 
have a skillful side. So it will be a crucial game and St. Peter's will be expected to uh, secure the title at the end. That's it for now. Uh, we'll go to a short commercial break. At the other side, we'll have a uh, T10 action with uh, St. Anthony's College taking on St. Brendan's College. लोकसुनाले <laughs> एक एम पास से मंगिता ने मैं सिलेक्टर्स ला डिसीजंस वगैरह करता ये दिन समारे वट मामा गाक्तूर टा मनाप वेला हिटिया मुकदे गुलंग कता कर ले काक किया ले काक करपु हंदा ये गुलंग हरिया टा मट कता कर ले कि वो ना मुकदे सिचुएशन ने का किया ला एक अमामा पिलिगानो इनामुत Manghitan ni selectors lah pasing ikhaya kerando ni me players lah tu hukap kelab apa tu upfront pula kian do ni hari itu mah hukap tu situation ni kila ikhaya mama hitan itu dia selector kene kute a itu dia tu keranang mangi amana pe hukap tu rata dui enamu tu mama हितागत तय वेलाबे मामा खावदाकुत में ड्रॉप कर पुहान्दा मामा खावदाकुत एगुलंगे ए टर्म्स वोल्ट मामा क्रिकेट नवत्तन ने मामा नवत्तन ने मगे टर्म्स वोल्ट तमाई खावदाहरी मंग पोहमारी करला आयत पारक मैच टिका गहला मगे टर्म्स वोल्ट तमाई मामा नवत्तन ने कियला मामा आदिश्चाने कर गत्ता इतनी मामे ये वेलावे ठीक दावसा ट्रेन करला एक पटांगन ना हाथरू कोटा अंतिम मुहूते एगोलंग ये वेलावे त ये वेलावे ड्रॉप करा इट पास से मामा आय तारंग वगे गहला अविल्ला मामा हितागत्ता लंका वे टेस्ट तारंग मालावा गहला तमाई मामा में नवत्ता निकेला एक अट इस अल्ला मगे होंदे वेला अबट मिस्टर माइकल तीसरा मटक खता करला दबसक कीवा मीटिंग में कटेंड किया ला इट बसे याव सिलेक्टर उनाम एक याने वार्न सिलेक्टर्स ला मारु वेला याव पॉइंट वेच्चे का मामा मटे एंड किया ला खता करला मटे कीवा में आप इट बोल 2003 बोल कप्पे कट Wah, 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 sihai. Ekatnya, me, apitnya, mukadamam ini bela betis kriket, 
ಉತ್ ಜಗಾಹಿತಿ ಅವಶ್ಯಾಯ ಏಕಹಂದ ಮೇ ಅಪಿಟ ಮೇ ಜಿಂಬಾಬೆ ವಲ್ ಟೂರ್ ಗತ್ತೇನು ಅಪಿ ಏಕಟ ಪಿಕ್ರನ್ನ ಬಲಾಪುರತ್ವೇನ ಮಂಗೆ ಏವೆಲ್ಲ ಕಿವ್ವ ಏವೆಲ್ಲ ಕೂಟ ಮಮ ಕಿಲೋ ದಹಾಯಕ್ ಪಿತರ ಹೆಂಗತ್ ದಾಲ ಇ ತಿಂಗ್ ಮಂಗ್ ಏವೆಲ್ಲ ಇತುಮಾಟ ಕಿವ್ವ ಮೇ ಜಿಂಬಾಬೆ ವಗೆ ರಟಕಟ ಮಂಗಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ತೇರುಮನ್ನೆ ಮೇ ಇನ್ನ ವಿದ್ಯಟ ಮಠ ಮಠ ಹರಿ ವಿದ್ಯಟ ಕ್ರೀಡಾವ ಕರಂಡ ಬೆರಿವೆ ಇದು ಏಕಹಂದ ಮಠ ಮಾಸ ಮಾಸ ಕಾಮಾರ ದೀಲ ಪಾಕಿಸ್ತಾನ ಯನಕೊಟ್ಟ ಇಲಂಗಟ ತಿಬ್ಬಿನ ಪಾಕಿಸ್ತಾನ ಟೂರಿಕ ಮಮ್ಮ ಏವೆಲ್ಲ ಬಿನಕೊಟ್ಟ ಅಮಾರು ಟೂರಿಕ ಮೇಕಟ ಯಾಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಕೆನೆ ಕ್ಯಾವಂಡ ಕೇಳ ಕಿವ್ವ ಇತ್ತು ಮಟ ಕೆಲಿಮ್ಮ ಕಿವ್ವ ಹರಿ ಏಕಟ ಅಪಿ ಏಕಂಗಾಯಿ ಕೇಳ ಇತ್ತೊಕಟ್ಟೆ ಏ ಮಾಸೆ ಅತುಲತ ಮಮ್ಮ ಮಗೆ ಟ್ರೈನಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಎಕ್ಕ ದೆ ತೆಗುಣ್ಯಾಕ್ ತುಂಗುಣ್ಯಾಕ್ ಸಮಾರ ದವಸ್ಟ ಕರಲ್ಲ ಕಿಲೋ ದಹ ತುನಾಕ್ಕೆ ಮಾಸ ಅತುಲತ ಅಡು ಕರಲ್ಲ ಏ ವಿಲಾವೇ ಮಮ್ಮ ಪಾಕಿಸ್ತಾನ ಟೂರಿಗ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಸ್ ವಿಲಾ ಪಿ ಪಾಕಿಸ್ತಾನ ಟೂರಿಗ ಮಮ್ಮ ಅರ್ ಪ ಅರ್ ಕಿವರೆಲ್ಲ ಇವಾಗ ನಮ್ಮ ಪಾಕಿಸ್ತಾನ ವಲ್ದಿ ಅಪಿ ಮಮ್ಮ ಗಿ ಆ ಪಾಕಿಸ್ತಾನ ವಲ್ಟ ಅರ್ಜುನ್ ಅತ್ತೆಕ್ಕ ಏ ಕಿ ತಾಮತ್ತ ಸಾತ್ಕ ಟೂರಿಗ ಹತ್ವಿಲ್ಲ ಏ ಪಲ್ವೇನಿ ತರಂಗೆ ಮಲ್ಲ ಅಕುನು ಸಿಹಿಯಾಕ್ ಲಬಾಗನ್ನ ಲಭುನ ಏಕ್ ತೆಕ್ಕಮ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಟಾಮತಕ ವೆನ್ನೆ ಅತ್ತ ಕಡಾಗನ ವಿನಿಂಗ್ ರನ್ನಿಗ ಗಹನಕಂ ಅಪಿ ದೆನ್ನ ಈ ಕಡೆ ಬ್ಯಾಟ್ ಕರ ಕರ ಹಿಟಿ ಎತ್ತಕೋಟ ಅಪಿ ಮೆದ ಹಿಂದೆ ಎತ್ತಿತ್ತ ಅಪಿ ದೆನ್ನ ಗೀ ಕೀ ಟಿ ಹೋಮಾರಿ ಮೇಕೆ ಸಿಲೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಲಟ್ಟಾಯಿ ಪರ್ನ ಸಿಲೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಲಟ್ಟಾಯಿ ಪಾಡ ಮಕ್ಕು ಅನ್ನ ಡೋಣಿ ಅಪಿ ದೆನ್ನ ಕೋಮಾರಿ ಇಂದಲ್ಲ ಮೇಕ ಮೇ ಮೆಚ್ಚಕ ದಿನ ಕಂ ಇನ್ನೋಣಿ ಕೇಳ ಇದು ಏಕ ಇವರ ಕರಲ್ಲ ಇಟ್ಟ ಪಾಸೆ ಆವಮ ಅಪಿಟ ಟೂರ್ ಎಕ್ಕ ಹತ್ತಿ ಬುನ ಲಂಕಾವೆ ಮಂಗ್ ಕಿವ್ವ ಎತ್ತ ಕೊಟ್ಟ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ನಾವು ಅತ್ತನ ಕಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತಿಮ ತರಂಗಿ ತಮಾಯಿ ಅಂತಿಮ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ತರಂಗಿ ತಮಾಯಿ ಲಕ್ನ ದೇಶ ಲಬಾಗನ ಮಮ್ಮ ಇಟ್ಟಾಯ ಉಣಿ ಇಟ ಪಾಸೆ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಕಪ್ ಎಕ್ಕ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸೌತ್ ಆಫ್ರಿಕಾ ಬಲ ಕಹಲ ಮಮ್ಮ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಏಕೆ ಪಾಸೆ ಮನ್ನ ಅತ್ತನ ಒಬ್ಬ ಲೋಕುಸ್ರಾಣ ಅವಸಾನ ಮಾತಾರಕ್ಕೆ ಇದು ಅರ್ಧ ಶತಕ ಕ್ಲಬಾಗಣ ಅರ್ಜುನ್ ಇತರ ಪವಸ್ರದ ತಮಯ್ ಮೇ ಲೋಕುಸ್ರಾಣ ಜಾಯಗ್ರಾಣಿ ಅನ್ಸಂಗ್ ಈರೋ ಒಬ್ಬ ಕೀರಲ್ಲ ಏ ಕೊತ್ತರ ತೃಪ್ತಿ ಆಗಿನ ದಿನದ ನಾಯಕ ಇವಾಗ ಅಕ್ಕಿನ ಕೂಡ ಕೂಡ ತೃಪ್ತಿ ಆಕ್ಕೇನ ಬೈ ಅಪ್ಪಿ ಮಗೆ ತಾನಿಕರ ತಿಬ್ಬೆ ಟೀಮ್ ಮೇಗ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾನ್ ಎಗರ ಅನ್ನ ಇತಿ ಏ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾನ್ ಎಗರ ಕೀಲ ದಿನಪು ಎಕ್ಕಡ ಲೋಕು ದೇ ಅಕ್ಕ ಏಕ ಏಕ ಅಪಿ ಮೆಜದಿ ಏಕ ಪಾರಕ ಎತ್ತರ ಮಮ ಅರವಿಂದ ಕಥಾಕರ ಮಗ ಅಪಿ ಜನಗತ್ತ ಆಸ್ಟ್ರೇಲಿಯಾ ಹರಿಮ ಹೊಂದ ಸೈಡ್ ಎಗಾ ರನ್ಸ್ ಅಡು ಕರಗನ ಅಡು ಕರಗನ ಅಂತಿಮ ಓವರ್ಲ್ ಟೈ ಅನೇಕ ಇತಿ ಅಪಿ ಏಕ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಲ್ಲ ತಿಬ್ಬ ಅಪಿ ಏಕ ಇದ್ದ ದೇ ನ್ಯಾಯ ಕೇಳ ಮಮ್ಮ ಔಟ್ ಎನ್ನ ಪೊಡ್ಡಗ ರೀಸಲ್ಲ ಅಪಿ ದೆನ್ನ ಕಥಾ ಕಲ್ಲ ಮಮ್ಮ ಅರವಿಂದರ್ ಎದ ಕಿವ್ವ ಮಮ್ಮ ರಿಸ್ಕ್ ಯಾಕರ ಗಹನ ಕೇಳದ ಮುಗದ ಅಪಿ ನಿಕಾಂಗ ಹರಿ ಹಿರವುನ ಆಸ್ಟ್ರೇಲಿಯಾ ಹರಿಮ ಹೊಂದ ಏಲ Welcome back to the St. Scott Triangular 2022 and we're back for the T10 action. St. Bendix taking on St. Anthony's. Indoor to begin from the pavilion end. And that's cleaned him up. Vidunet. has to take a long walk back to the pavilion went for an expensive shot but he's got to walk back to the pavilion that ball was quick and uh, in line with the stumps that's what you need to do pick up pickets pretty early antonian's uh, bowling against the side that scored the most number of runs yesterday T10 cricket. So they need to pick up wickets at uh, an early stage and uh, with uh, conviction to win here. And Indura has done the right thing.
ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನ ಹಾಲಂಬ ಪಾನ ಸಿಂಹ ಯಾಕೆ ಕೆಮ್ಮ started well left arm baseman the hard hitting Sharon had a brilliant game against St Joseph's scored a blistering half century to give his team defendable total against the very formidable Josephian batting lineup Sky Shenal Samarthunga is their most uh, prolific all-rounder brilliant fielder remember magnificent catch taken yesterday These two put on a solid partnership in that uh, huge total that uh, went past 60. Sharan Kannangara on screen, ready to take strike. Highest individual score of 63. Most number of sixes in an inning. Six sixes he hit. If he fires, Antonians will be hard pressed to uh, keep uh, Benz to a manageable total. Yes. He had a very good outing last time. So he's the man in form for the Benedictines. Antonians will be keen on getting this wicket. Pali Varnapura is uh, the match referee. Suranjit Dharmasena is the adjudicator for the awards, individual awards. Hasit Jayasinghe and uh, Janaka Bamunasinghe are the officiating umpires. And as we told, the man in form starts his run scoring with a beautiful six. This was outrageous, intimidating and beautifully executed. Pitched up to his pads, that's the mistake uh, Indura did. Solid power hitting there from Sharon. Pressure back on the Antonian bowler in the world. He pitched it up and Sharon just said thank you very much. He's gone straight. He's gone square. I thought uh, this was Shinal Samarthunga to the middle, but uh, it looks like uh, Shanmugnadan Sharujan is coming at uh, number three. So the correction need to be made. Well, if he does well, his father will have some good uh, photographs of him. Yes, of course. Nadan. Just couldn't connect that. But at end of the first over, St. Bendix College a 14 for the loss of one wicket. Thought I'll uh, talk about um, Pali Varnapura. Studied and uh, played for Ananda College. And um, went on to play for Liberty Cricket Club and the NCC. He also played for Nomads. Nomads is no more now, Rashwan. In the mercantile sector, he was uh, with Browns and played for them umpire 
match referee, brother of uh, late Bandula Varnapura and the father of uh, Malinda Varnapura. Good cricketing stock, Upali Varnapura. Plays his master's cricket for the Cavaliers. Still involved with the game. Same could be said of uh, the match adjudicator, Suranjit Dharmasena. Suranjit and uh, Kishan Dharmasena played for Thurston. He was employed at uh, Hat National Bank. He played for Nomads and also Tamil Union. He captained uh, Hat National Bank. Then went to the Middle East, Suranjit. Kavisha Piyumal, wily customer he is, surprises the batsman with his clever change of pace occasionally. I would say he's the pick of the bowlers for the Anthony Anthony's. He needs to bowl his two overs very well. And as we speak, he gets that big wicket off Sharon. That's the long part of the ground. He went for a big one. Thought a little bit greedy. Should have handled uh, that particular pressure a little bit better. Across the line, down on one knee. It's a long distance to clear. Very well judged, well taken. St. Bendix College, 14 for the loss of two wickets. Teja Singh Harambopana Singh Hayangi Gemma Gemma Thamai So well judged catch by Nura Galapitake. So he's at a hand in both dismissals now. St. Anthony is in the right direction in this game. Pranesh Pereira is a coach of uh, St. Benedict's. Bit of a fumble. Chanel Samarutunga gets off the mark. He's the one I was referring to. Good all rounder. Picks up pickets. Holds on to the catchers. Plays his shots in the last game. He made 23 not out. And he took a screamer. Wide delivery from Kavisha. It's not the run that matters, it's the ball that has to be re -bowled. Extra deliveries could make a huge difference. Dropping it to the leg side and running for a single. He's talking about uh, the uh, match adjudicator. Suranjit uh, Dharmasena went to the Middle East, played for the Lanka Lions, captained them. In fact, he went and played uh, cricket for the United Arab Emirates a long time ago. Good all-rounder, solid bat, heady bowler. Got the cap, in the air but got the cap, four. Bit of a streak, he shot Rashwan, but the placement was good. 
BC batsman Chanel cuts it away beautifully races away to the boundary Chanel is fighting for their first win in the tournament they're a good side That's the end of the second over. St. Benedict's College, 18 for the loss of two wickets. St. Bendix uh, 21 for 2 in 2 overs wonderful facility here one of the best uh, schools uh, multi sports facilities St. Peter's College grounds in uh, Bumblepitia very well maintained too this is Pravin Matthew who is uh, getting ready to bowl the third uh, over which is the last of the power play overs can play multiple sports in this venue Raga, football, cricket, hockey and on the sides the basketball courts are there yeah in front the tennis courts the pool right behind us across the road took some time in uh, completing but uh, the authorities have done a wonderful job the school's authorities as well as the old boys and uh, school's development committee Charujan may be looking for two good decision not to attempt the second yeah, the venue has been maintained very well Manager is uh, Shanath De Selva, the curator, Manoj Shamika, and his assistant Samant Rajapaksa with three others doing a good job with the track itself. A quick single there. Running between the wickets are very important in T tank cricket. You need that scoreboard moving. Sensible, sensible. Shyam Mugnathan, Sharujan, uh, skin to uh, give uh, the majority of the strike uh, to Shanel Samarthunga. But I'll tell you, they have not uh, really uh, made use of the power play 18 deliveries. You can't score a boundary, at least look for one. Don't concede a dot ball. That's good thinking. Boundaries will eventually come when the singles are flowing. And dot ball to finish the over. St. Bendix 26 for the loss of two wickets. Tisaraikanaika, also one of their better all rounders. Skipper Lairo Abe Singer, because of his injury, 
is not bowling. It's a big drawback. But he's not uh, scored uh, in the first two outings. That's of concern. A voracious striker of the ball. A very experienced player. Lairu Abesing and uh, Travin uh, Matthew are the two under-19 youth internationals uh, for the uh, Antonians. He got the gap again. Very well played this time. The second boundary in that fashion uh, for the all-rounder. Looks like he likes that region. Pierces that gap once again. Ikanaka dropped it short and gave room outside off stump. But still he had to play. Got on top of that one very well. Now oh, that's an umbrella field of uh, a short third man, a backward point and a cover point to stop that uh, powerful uh, cut shot from uh, Chanel Samaratunga. He's also a third man on the boundary. Fine leg is uh, on the 30-yard circle. There's no extra cover, no mid-off. And he gets it forward of point. Very well played. Once again, getting into that back foot and cutting it beautifully. And raises away to the boundary. He seems to be particularly fond of that uh, cut shot. And if they start feeding him just short of good length, he is going to make room for himself. Very well played. Perfectly balanced. Beautifully timed. Exceptionally placed. He's playing some uh, good cricket. He's on 16 very quickly. Good decision to bat after winning the toss. You get the full meter of the bat. Probably he was saved because of that. Yes, that running fielder would have got that into his hands. So far, the openers have been dismissed. Vidunath Wilson without scoring. Sharon Kannangara for 13. But in that brief period, he did uh, hit uh, consecutive sixes. Excellent running between wickets. Very sensible to pick up two. Ekanaka has gone for 11 runs in this over with two balls to go. It's been a good over for the Bendik Times. He wanted the strike uh, for the next over. So he was uh, keen to just tap it in front and uh, get going. Got together when the total was uh, 14. So they've added uh, 24 runs between themselves. Shan Mugunadan, Sharujan and uh, Chanel Samarathunga. Oh no, no ball. It's two runs to the total then. And at the free hit. Bowled wide, they bowled no ball. No excuse there for this Raikanaika. Free hit delivery. Try to do the reverse sweep. Bowler was smart enough. Very good bowling. Good comeback from uh, Tisara and 
at the end of four overs, St. Bendix College 40 for the loss of two wickets. Fast bowlers are back for the Antonians. Vidura, a good all rounder. He has already picked up a wicket uh, that of uh, Vidunet Wilson. He bowled the first over. Maximum of two overs per bowler in the T10 format. Will they look for two? Good decision. Good bit of fielding. Attack the ball. Should have been suicidal if they started on that second. Yes, the fielder was up to it. Didn't give them the chance to cross over for two. Batsman crossover for another single. St. Bendix have minimized, minimized the dot balls. They are looking to score in every delivery. Less the dot balls. Samaratunga is on strike. That's a big one. That's huge. That's over long on. That's maximum. He takes on the fielder there. Flies over him. Clean hit. Backpedaling, backpedaling, backpedaling. Well over the boundary. Wasn't all that uh, short. Took it on the up. Good shot. Straight to the field. The back out of point. Important catch taken from the Anthony's. So Lairu Abhisinga brought in uh, Indura Galapita Gay to pick this wicket up. And he has responded very well. Moment Akil, no mistake there. Hey, just in Harambapana, Singhayangi, Gemma. Anthony's have been picking up wickets in regular intervals here. But the runs have been coming for the Bendic Titans. 48 for 3 in 4.4 overs. They will look on to go for a good total here, the Bendic Titans. The Bendic Titans win this game. They will be playing the final against St. Peter's.
Well struck once again. Return for two. 50 on the board. Little chance for the bowler. That, that was hit too hard. 50 run mark has come in good time for the Benedictines. They need to capitalize on, uh, capitalize on this good start. Gojita Himsara is uh, the new batter. He's actually on strike now. Advanced on uh, this one. Got the elevation he wanted. Beautifully struck Himsara. Beautifully played there. To win that over, St. Bendix College a 56 for the loss of three wickets at the end of five overs. Bendix College 56 for 3 after 5 overs. Saujan on 14 and Kojita on 8. Kojita who struck a magnificent 6 uh, in the final delivery of the previous over. A win here will uh, get the bends towards the final against uh, St. Peter's College in this uh, quadrangular T10 tournament. Janit introduced him to the attack. Ben's maintaining that. A run rate of 11.2 at the moment. They'll fancy their chances of scoring over 100. Chip it towards the leg side. Sharjan moves to 9. Joining with me is uh, Sudarshana Piri. Sudarshana, a uh, great start by uh, the Benz. Yes, a very strong start by uh, the Benedict Times. 57 for 3 in the, the sixth over. Looking strong. We'll want to make sure that they try and capitalize on this start if they can uh, negotiate this over with uh, a decent run rate uh, to see they'll look to free their arms in the last four they scored 116 against uh, the Joes uh, yesterday which uh, became a match winning total just at the end let's go Jita takes the quick single it was Sharon Karnangara who provided the destruction uh, yesterday but uh, today after scoring two sixes he got out so the other batters they have stepped up uh, to the occasion here they know a win here is important St. So Anthony's College on the other hand they are praying for pride they don't have the opportunity to qualify for the finals even if they win this encounter Well, kudos to uh, all the teams for turning up and putting on this show. Saints Quadrangle, great rivalry amongst uh, all these institutions. Brings on uh, the river sweep, the switch hit rather. Not successful that time. Well, was in no place to play that stroke. Janik being crafty has uh, done well this over. Here's a chance. Takes it. So Janik's good work continue as he manages to pick up a wicket as well. Has dried out the runs just to give an away in uh, five deliveries. And trying to accelerate. And uh, trying a little too many unconventional strokes that time Kojita. 
Begabadna Sarjan. Sun Muganadin departs for nine runs. Benz 58 for four. Chaturya, the new batter. Bells must make sure that they capitalize on this start to get the uh, three figure mark. on it slightly quicker one to win the over what an over by John it took the wicket of uh, Sean Muganathan and gave away just three runs so Mellings College 59 for four after six overs Like you mentioned, Lux is here, but the Benedict Times will be quite uh, unsatisfied and will be quite unhappy if they can't get to that three figure mark with the start that they've had. Four hours to go, six wickets in hand, will want to try and capitalize as uh, much as they possibly can from here on. Interesting game going on in uh, the T20 World Cup currently as well. Bangladesh taking on. Uh, Zimbabwe, a crucial game in uh, that group, which has turned out to be a helter skelter affair. Yes, everything changed after that result where Zimbabwe defeated Pakistan. Zimbabwe for actually with an opportunity to qualify for the semi finals if they can uh, pull off a win here, but unfortunately, in a bit of trouble. What a what a story, isn't it? Uh, what an what an absolute uh, brilliant uh, underdog story. That's bold. Now the Antonians tightening the screws. Kavisha picking up the wicket. Benedictines are losing their way. They had a very good pedestal to launch out from, but uh, losing wickets, trying to accelerate, trying to be aggressive. Kojita with the man this time departs for nine runs. Benz 60 for five. Feelings on fire, hearts beating faster, hopes rising higher. Lights go fire. Hi, Sean, new better. Now the same thing happened yesterday uh, during the encounter against uh, Sir Joseph's for uh, the Benz. They were going really well. They were 100 uh, for 3, I think, uh, in just 8 overs. But during the last uh, 2 overs, they completely lost their way. It was 5 wickets. There were 3 runouts as well. So the same thing is happening here in this encounter. Kavisha. Two wickets for eight runs in this uh, game so far. The two spinners have done really well. They have uh, tightened the screws and they have uh, built a lot of pressure. Another thought delivery here. Choice delivery and unable to get it away. The dots are building. The pressure is rising uh, for St. Benedict's College. Once again, they have uh, failed to capitalize in the second half. And that's going to be another dot. No. 
tight call there by the umpire. Decides to stretch his arms. That's another dog delivery. Good bowling. Really good bowling um, in this spell so far. The two spinners, they have not given away any loose deliveries for the uh, Benz batters to work with. And here's the single to end the over. They're trying for two. Really good running here. Two runs to end the over. Benz 63 for 5 after 7. Chatu and Harshan both on two. Very interesting, isn't it, uh, Luxisi? Now that, uh, like you mentioned, the Antonians have nothing to lose in this game. So they are playing with freedom, they are playing with confidence, whereas uh, the Benedictines have fine, a spot in the final is up for grabs so that they have that pressure at the back of their head. They, ha they had a very good platform to launch out from. But in these uh, death overs, in these final couple of overs, haven't managed to really get that connection going. Yes, in over middle order, it has been an issue for them uh, throughout this uh, T10 tournament uh, solution. Uh, we saw that during the early two games as well, and it's happening once again. You know, they, they did brilliantly to beat the much fancied uh, St. Joseph's College yesterday, so they must make sure. There are no opportunities given to us in Anthony's here in this encounter. What they must do is that they have to completely forget the last two overs and they have to concentrate on the next three to make sure they get close to that 100 run mark. Exit takes the first one quickly, goes back for a second, makes it comfortably. Really good running between these two, Harshan and Shaturya. If, if the big heaves aren't coming, this is what they exactly need to do. Try and put pressure on the fielders and uh, attack those gaps. Make sure that they keep the scoreboard ticking. The moment it stops, that's when the pressure is transferred. Straight down the ground, but uh, a fielder is there for protection. This was actually yesterday's uh, Sri Lanka was news and encounter is a good example for these uh, youngsters because if the big hits are not coming, they can uh, they must run the uh, twos and the threes and they have to put the fielders under pressure. We saw that really well yesterday. That's from what New Zealand, yes, yeah. <laughs> from uh, Glenn yes. Phillips and uh, Daryl Mitchell, they did That's that really well. Especially given the fact that there there were massive spaces available as well. Um, and uh, we we have seen throughout this uh, World Cup uh, a lot to see when when the batters are trying to do a little too much, trying to muscle the ball away, is when the problems have started. But uh, we we did have this chat uh, off the mic. As you powerful shot. down the ground. Well fielded. It's good read really as well as we did. Uh, Chat off the mic as well, um, I'd like to see. At times, uh, when when you get on the groove, even one of some of your miss hits can uh, get you very good reward because you are timing it beautifully. And that happened to Glenn Phillips. There were times where he was in no position to play strokes, but he timed it pre reasonably well. Eight completed, bent 71 for five. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. 
get it sizzling hot off the turf. Here, the experts break it down, dig deep into the nitty gritty, be inspired by their greatness, relive all the scintillating action. Twenty-one for five after eight overs. Ashan and Shatur trying to rebuild uh, this uh, St. Benedict's uh, inning. Trevin Matthew, the Sri Lanka under-19 cap, returns to the attack. Gave away just five runs in his first over. The season campaigner Matthew will be looking to try and uh, put pressure. Balls really fast at time. Not the pace uh, that Harsh or no Chato we were uh, accustomed to from the Antonian spinners. This time uh, with the Froded and uh, the umpire will have nothing on that. <laughs> the keeper was slightly interested, but. Uh, the batsman that time, there was with on off on that uh, delivery. Batsman did not change his course. He was uh, continuing on the same course. Down the ground they go and uh, they will put, pick up two. Very, very good running. Putting uh, the fielders under pressure. Momentarily looking at uh, the runners instead of collecting the ball and uh, looking to return that we saw that um, again we saw that yesterday when Sri Lanka was in the field as well now look at that Sudarshan they have run uh, five twos uh, this pair that's been a specialty in this uh, little partnership that they have managed to put together the last 18 deliveries there have been uh, five twos really good running they realize that the boundaries are not coming and they have decided to uh, up their running game. Let's try it Matthew once again. Tries to whip it away the leg side. Comes back for another two. Brilliant running here by Chatur and Harshan. Extremely frustrating, isn't it, when you're a bowler? When uh, the batsmen aren't going, uh, uh, aren't taking those risks to uh, go for big, big stroke, but nevertheless, yeah. putting the field under pressure. Good comeback by uh, Treving to uh, finish his second. Nine completed, bends 78 for five. Six balls to go, five wickets in hand. The two batters have now built up a decent partnership. What's going to be your approach here? Lash out at everything that comes your way. Oh, trust your process to try and collect maybe 10 runs from this over. This Raikanaika back in the attack considered 14 runs in his first over. For someone who shined with the bat in hand uh, yesterday. The off spinner against the left hander. Will they go for another two? Yes, they will come back for the second run. And this time it's out. Well, that was Harshan's hesitation. He thought for a second and a half on the nine strikers and whether he was going to run that or not but Chaturia had already committed to that he ran the first one hard here's another look at what happened
little bit of uh, hesitation from Harshan and uh, he departs for 14. Benz now in the final over, so one in nine for six. Five deliveries to go. Tisser with the ball. He's managed to squeeze Benz. Wide out of, outside of that time. Missed out on uh, a good scoring opportunity that time. Runs on the board uh, for St. Benedict's College. They need a boundary here. We are at the Nike. Needs to find the boundary somehow. Oh, he's unable to pressure dot ball, and uh, Chatur has been dismissed as well. We had it. We had out. We had it. We are at Nike. Very unfortunate, isn't it? Uh, didn't face a single delivery. Comes as he goes. His day was uh, beef. Three deliveries to go. 80 runs on the bones. Four bends. Need maximum runs. They have to be satisfied with two runs here. Chance of another run out and uh, that's given. Three run outs in this over. Lux, you see. This is turning out to be a disastrous uh, final over for the Benedictines and uh, the Antonians will happily carry that momentum into their innings. It's Udashana. It's just been a really good uh, second half for uh, St. Anthony's College. The fielding has been really good. Their bowling bowlers have uh, managed to stick to their plans. They took the uh, needed wickets, and uh, this is what you get when you stick to your plan and utilize it. So here's uh, Mevan Disanayaka departs without uh, facing a single delivery. This is Naika, a brilliant comeback by him. Went for 14 in his first toe, and so far in four deliveries in this final over, he has given away just three runs. Goes down the ground, Chaturya, just short of the fielder, who is converging towards the ball. Will get the single. So it's going to be Johan, who will be on strike for the final delivery. Tisarekanayaga, can he finish this well? Just four runs so far. A torn which uh, seemed will pass the 100 run mark. It's still on 82 with one delivery remaining. And this is in the slot. Johan hammers it away for a six. What an end. A great finish by Johan. Smashes his first delivery for a six. Sudarshana. Well, finally, finally, we were looking for that big stroke and it comes in the final delivery. Three fours and uh, six sixes for the Benz in that innings. Finishing up with the maximum here at uh, Bumblepedia. So, somewhat of a momentum uh, towards uh, the Benedictines. 88 for 8. Probably 15 runs short from uh, the score that they really should have scored, uh, Sudarshana. But anyway, they'll be happy about this. Their bowlers will have a lot to do. So, let's see whether. St. Mendes College can qualify for the all important finals against uh, St. Peter's. These are the highlights of the uh, St. Mendes inning. Sharon Kannangara, the big lad, scored a brilliant half century yesterday. 
started from where he left off but unfortunately went for he tried to go for his third uh, maximum but unfortunately got caught and then uh, Chanel Samaratunga had a brief scene where he punished the Antonian bowlers that's when they were going really well they were going at a rate about 10 runs per over at one stage it was 56 for 1 in 5 it was uh, since that moment that everything started to uh, fall apart for the uh, Benz it was this moment this catch that changed the fortunes uh, for the Benz and uh, took the momentum towards uh, the Antonians very good comeback by uh, the Antonians in the latter part of uh, this innings the bowlers are sticking to the plans and uh, managing to dry up the runs which uh, brought forward some uh, real tension and uh, the non-strikers getting out without uh, facing a single delivery twice in that final over because of the hesitation that was caused by uh, the Antonians trying to sneak those runs in by Johan duly complied phase one delivery and deposited it outside the boundary ropes so the Antonians need 89 runs to win in 60 deliveries will want to make sure that they try and score that eight runs per over from the get-go we'll be back with the live action of the second innings uh, soon after this commercial break time be up to date with it all let us capture your milestones get it sizzling hot off the turf hear the experts break it down dig deep into the nitty-gritty be inspired by their greatness relive all the scintillating action ஒளிபரப்புடாங்க <laughs>
ஜசின் ஆரம்ப பானா சிங்கே கெம்ம college uh, is uh, deciding fixtures and bendix college taking on st anthony's college uh, in this uh, t10 game the target is 89 for the anthonians if st anthony's win the game that means st joseph's take it uh, book their spot in uh, the finals against uh, st peter's college taking a look at the points table st peter's college uh, two wins and a tie gets them 8 points uh, with a healthy net run rate of 3.71 St. Joseph's College sitting second place with one win, one loss and a one draw with four points and a healthy run rate of 0.89 St. Bendix at uh, third place with one win, one loss and uh, with four points while St. Anthony's are yet to get any points in the game St. Anthony's have uh, all to play for to uh, either make an upset here and spoil the party for St. Bendix College or St. Bendix College can make sure that they win this and go to the finals and meet St. Peter's College and join me at the com box once again is Haritha. Good morning to you Haritha. Um, good morning uh, Ranjika. Yes, uh, from what you said, a lot of things uh, for a Pete Wright uh, who is celebrating uh, 100 years at the college whether the Joes would come into the final or somebody else. Anyway, 88 is not a bad total to defend. But I think uh, they missed out uh, on at least another seven runs. Uh, because they were at one stage going very well at 48 for two. And then lost uh, a few wickets quickly. They lost three wickets for the addition of uh, 12 runs. Uh, losing their top order for 60 in the seventh over. Top scorer was Shinal Samarutunga. He made 26. 14 for Harshan Joseph. Here's the first ball. Some extra bounce. Uh, I'm told that uh, we are using uh, a new pitch. Uh, not the one we used yesterday. So, skipper Chamat Chanturya with the first over. Quick single taken and off the mark. Uh, it's going to be an extra run as well. That was smart. Running between wickets, very good. Here's a quick single, safely home. But the fumble from uh, skipper Chaturya loves uh, Johan. I beg your pardon. Uh, The wide and they steal the single too. Two wides to the rotor. Determined start uh, by the uh, Eagles. Akil Mohammed uh, is a good striker of the ball. He's opening with uh, Januka Ratnayaka. He kept wickets. He was brought in for this game. Left-handed bat uh, Januka Ratnayaka facing his first delivery. Goes for the cross parrot shot. Gets good bat to it, but straight uh, through. Long on, only a single. Ideally, at the end of uh, the power play session, if they got something in excess of 25, they would look uh, comfortable. At 30, they would have done very well. Definitely, they'll be eyeing uh, the 30 run mark for sure. Inside the three-over power play, it's a good to change up. Uh, mix up in the middle, the dive, uh, and uh, the field also missing the stumps. Would have been home. So the bench once again three runouts in the last over. 
talk of uh, three wicket uh, bowlers, a few of them, but uh, we will have to go with uh, Mudita Disanaka who claimed a hat trick. Yes, the, the Josephian claimed that hat trick uh, yesterday. Shenal uh, Sharon Kanagara is by far the most prolific uh, individual scorer. 63 with six sixes for the Benz opener. Once again, opting for that slog sweep doesn't connect this time. End of uh, the first over, it's six for none. Brilliant weather. Good tournament uh, at the start of the season. To some of these youngsters in particular. The rather unexpected win over the fancied uh, Josephians have put uh, St. Benedict's in a tremendous uh, position to play in the final. They'll play with uh, St. Peter's, uh, the home team and the favourites on paper. St. Benedict's College coming into this tournament uh, with uh, an unbeaten record in uh, the limited overs uh, tournament that is currently going on. It was uh, halted due to the adverse weather. But they've been in good form. They've beaten good sides in the tournament. And as we speak, brilliantly whipped... Uh, off the legs that's Mohammed Akil and his power first six first six of uh, the St. Anthony's innings and a much seeded one to break the shackles for the candy team here we go clears the front leg and wax it towards cow corner slightly over pitched by Viharatha Naika but uh, the captain trusts him uh, with his pace and uh, economy. He will be remembered for dropping uh, two catches as uh, Shevon Daniel made some runs in a previous game. Yeah. Kil Mohammed uh, got into double figures in the first game, too, against the Joes. Was expecting a wide, but umpire does not agree. So far, eight deliveries, twelve runs. Benrix have been uh, somewhat uh, on the right uh, track, despite that massive six in this over. Once again, clearing that front leg, trying to uh, use the long handle, does not connect this time. The pins ran uh, more than a few couples, that really propelled them to this uh, 80 and plus. The eight runs could make uh, a big difference. Indura Galapitagay 2 for 30 and Kavisha Pumal 2 for 12 were the opening bowlers. They both uh, picked up a couple of wickets each. Robin Matthew went wicketless. So did uh, Tessa Rekanak and he was expensive too. So the dot ball percentage probably could be a huge factor in this uh, final outcome. That's just with uh, for the left hander. Just couldn't connect. He was trying to drag it to the leg side rather than using that pit and going towards the offside. This is in his slot. 
but he does not time it. Only a single. It's a good comeback from Vihara after getting hammered down the ground. The remainder of the over just uh, giving away two runs. One more ball to come. He needs to finish strong. Sakil once again down to uh, deep mid wicket only a single end of the second over it's 15 for none it's on fire hearts beating faster hopes rising higher lights go firing wide Emma Tamai Last of the power play overs to be bowled. Nakil Mohammed, uh, if he can bat uh, the first five overs and uh, maintain his uh, momentum, it will make uh, a huge difference. The best option is Shenal Samarthuga. He's getting ready to bowl the last of the power play overs. Chanel that's lofted high lands safely only a single once again Mohammed Akil eyeing that cow corner looks like his favorite uh, spot to go He did the right thing, got uh, the free scoring bat out. Dancing down the track now. But straight to long on. They are coming back for the second. Tight single. Ooh. He took a chance. I thought Akil uh, moment wanted to keep the strike. No. Don't go too far away. That's the message. That sliced uh, misfielder. Uh, but even that single would have been tight if he gathered the ball. Pranish Pereira is the head coach for St. Benedict's, Sunit Gunatilaka for St. Anthony's. Must uh, pay tribute uh, to the backup staff. Kanangara is there. That's the wicket they wanted at this stage, Akil Mohammed. Mohamedakil has to walk back, try to go over the off stump, offside rather this time, only top edging it. Mohamedakil has to walk back for 13. It's 19 for 1. Tejasin Harambapana, Singhayangi Gemma. Gemma Tamai! Wicket means a dot ball. 
We were talking uh, 25 to 30 after the mandatory three overs. And the pressure to get there, which means that uh, the asking rate would go for more than 10 and over at the end of uh, the power play. Chanel to continue. Good over so far, the last over of the power play. It will be a single. So Kovindu Shehan is uh, the new batter. Kept wickets uh, in the first two games, but uh, Janu Karatnaika was uh, given the gloves uh, for this match. So two wicket keepers out in the middle for the Antonians. Good placement. Oh, well fielded. Well fielded. Save two for his team. Good commitment. So the power play completes. 22 for one. St. Anthony's in reply. Two for one after the batting power play. Would have loved to uh, get a few more with the fielding restrictions in play, but uh, wouldn't be too disappointed as well. The Antonians, they know what they need. 67 runs more from uh, the remaining seven overs. Gettable. They just need a person, uh, a player, a batter. Get some, get a quick 20 30. Could turn the game around. She swept uh, by Kavindu. Only a single to start off the over Johan into the attack. Last ball, six for him, it was a huge uh, teaser as far as uh, the opponent's concerned. This is good from uh, St. Anthony's College, making sure that there are no dot deliveries. They're keeping it rolling. Wait until that uh, loose delivery to pounce on. He's picked up a couple of wickets in a previous game, Johan Samuel. Attempting the reverse hit. Does not get enough bat to it to beat the two fielders uh, back for the point. Three singles of the first three deliveries. Now a boundary would be ideal for the Anthonians. That's sauced up, but once again, straight to long off. Good bowling. Bowling to his field, Johan. Keeping it uh, nice and uh, up to the batsman. Kavindu Shehan. Usually comes uh, the top of the order. He's now in at one drop. This is what I was really hinting at. Stroke player. Nice hit on all the way. Second maximum of the innings for the Antonians. They needed that this is over. He dances down the track. Disrupt the length of Johan. And he drags it down. Easy pickings, the short boundary, the shorter side, gets the boundary in the over.
who moves the 32 with the ball to come in the fourth over. Lot of chatter out in the middle as far as the Greens concerned. They are concerned about uh, that particular strike. Hmm. Vidunet may have had a chance. It's the end of uh, the fourth over. It's 32 for one. Kojita into the attack. Seam option for the Benz coming around the wicket to Janukar. Usually bowls with a uh, fair amount of uh, aggression, Koji Tahimsara. But at the other end, Kavinda Chehan loves the ball to come onto the bat. So this is a good opportunity for the left hand. The field is back outside of the power play. Bold. Good bit of fielding as well of his own bowling. That was quite fast forward. He was fast. Uh, the shot was played very quickly. He went down, got a hand to it. That's the sort of uh, caliber of play you expect in a T10. Once again, straight to the bowler. This is building up to be a good tussle out in the middle. Maybe 10 runs behind at this stage. Antonians. That's a wide. Just missing the trim line. Right intention from the bowler. He saw Kavidu walking towards the ball. Try to keep the ball away from his arc. It's just overcompensating. In that occasion. That was very well bowled in line with the stumps. Uh, he got the lift. And uh, Kavid Dishwan, who had already started moving, was in no position to make contact. Good pace from uh, Koji there to beat the bat. That's high. High in the air. And that's caught. Very well judged catch. Sort of match winning catches that make the game that much more colourful. Brilliant over from Koji there. He kept on adding pressure with the with those dot deliveries and finally pushing Kavindu into that stroke. The wild heave does not get enough bad to it. He goes for nine. It's 34 for two.
the Benedictine captain and Chaman Chaturya safe pair of hands in those areas. This Raikanaika is the new batter in. He can play shots. Yeah, good some got some runs in the previous game yesterday. Thirty odd runs. Uh, yeah, the uh, thirty-seven. He had three sixes against the Joes, mind you. He has the ability, and uh, the team needs him to uh, fire today, especially. Fifty-five needed of thirty-one balls. We got a match in our hands for sure. But this is a needs to play a huge part in this let's hit back right past the bowler the ball is running away what a start to the innings this is a brilliant shot to start out the proceedings after five overs St. Anthony score is 38 for two Five final five overs on the game. Antonians need 50 of uh, 30 deliveries here in order to get a consolation victory. But uh, for the Benz, a spot in the final. They need to win this one. But this era, as we saw, with intention, and uh, John Hooker has been there for 10 deliveries already. Bowling change, may one called into the attack. Aggressive intent uh, shown by John Hooker, despite not uh, managing to beat the man. Changes ends for a single and joining with me is Rashwan. How are you today, Rashwan? Very good. Uh, it's been a very interesting day of cricket and a rugby action here at St. Peter's College grounds. This game is a very important game for St. Benedict's. They win, they will be in that final. It's a crucial game for Benz, but uh, this is in a mood. Dispatches that to uh, the tennis courts. This has clearly shown intent uh, from the moment he stepped into the middle. First delivery was uh, down the bowler's head and this one gives himself room. And that's a massive one. He's the man for the Anthony's if they want to get over the line. Get their first win. Well, a little too eager. He got the runs in this uh, over, but wanted to go after the bowling. Caught and ball never easy when he comes back at you like that. Uh, but this is a departs. Antonians now in a spot of bother. This is a Short stay has come to an end. 10 from 3 balls. It's on fire, hearts beating faster, hopes rising higher, lights go fire. Seven deliveries remaining in uh, the innings. So the Antonians uh, need to put the foot to the pedal. 
But what they shouldn't try and do is to try and uh, give away careless wickets. Because if we can try and take this deep, as we discussed, uh, Rishwan and Tonians have nothing to lose. Uh, they are chasing their consolation victory. Whereas Benz will feel that heat as uh, we close into the final overs. Good start by Lahiru. Gets off the mark straight away. Putting Jonaka into bat. Rotation of the strike is going to be absolute key. Two deliveries remaining in the sixth over. And Tonians read 43 of 26. Lahiru, the captain of St. Anthony's, has a big task in his hand is yet to fire in this tournament knee on the ground heaved down the ground but uh, not getting that timing or the connection right so just a single of that uh, stroke for Zanuka good Lahir. comeback from Mevan after that being hit for a six Single to finish uh, the sixth. Thought about the second, but uh, sanity prevails. Uh, Antonians, 48 for three. Coming to you live from uh, the St. Peter's College grounds. Uh, this is the Saints Quadrangular competition. Cricket, rugby and basketball happening over two days. Earlier in the day, we had three rugby games uh, with uh, St. Anthony's College and uh, St. Peter's qualifying for the final, effectively, versus try series with uh, the Joseph is not fielding a team in the rugby. In the cricketing front though, the lads in green, Benedict Tynes still have a chance to try and book their place in the final. Lahiru and Jonuka standing in the middle, obstructing them. Lahiru will be a key wicket for the Benedict Tynes because he can accelerate, he can fire. Big made lad. Right off the offside, a wild heave, edge. Antonians at this point will take runs however may it may come. And good to start off the over with the boundary there. Wild swinging of the bat. Uh, the edge favours uh, the batsman. Because uh, the band was uh, quite far away that time. Oh, a freak, an absolute freak dismissal that time for Janaka. Lahiru muscles it and the ball uh, hit the stumps. The bowler though, take a look at this, here's what happened. Hits the stumps. Bowl, bowler had the good sense to collect the ball. Great awareness of the rules of the game and uh, knew exactly what to do. Yes, so kudos to uh, the bowler. Most of the time, what happens is uh, there is a brain fade there. But Kojita, knowing exactly what to do in a situation like that, John Ratnaika departs for 12. And Tonin's 52 for 4. Tejasin Harambapana Singhayangi Gemma. Gemma Tamai! Janit walks out to the middle. The non strikers in though, remember Benedict Tynes uh, had three runouts in the final over the innings. 
Now massive responsibility on the skipper. Swing and a miss. Kujita sticking to the plan of uh, bowling outside offs. Variating uh, the speeds of the deliveries. A little bit of an off cut at that time. But this time, uh, makes the connection. Massive maximum uh, by the Antonian skipper, Lahiru. 4-6 of the innings for the Antonians. Steps out, makes the connection, stand and deliver. Beautiful shot. That was needed. This over has produced a boundary and a six. And a run out. Quite an eventful over here from Kujita. Two balls to go. Two deliveries remaining. Lahiru will be looking to capitalize. It's called the wide. So get some extras as well. A four, a six, a run out, a wide. What do you reckon, Reshwan? Will we have any other interesting stuff happening this over? A lot of stuff has happened in this over. So two balls to go. The pressure is, is on the bowler. The fielding side, like, like we said, Benz have a lot to lose here. Look at the stance. Lahiru towing with the mind of the bowler as well. Satisfied with the single, good batting by Lahiru. He wants the strike in the next over. Now Johnny needs to negotiate this final delivery. Remember, they've gotten the runs that they needed in this over, so they need to be mindful because uh, when you lose a wicket, the new man coming in uh, takes a couple of deliveries, and Antonians can't afford that at this point in the game. 28 required to win. That's oh well. <laughs> that's huge from Janet to finish off that over. Just 23 needed in the last three overs. St. Anthony's 66 for four. Quite an eventful over. The last over was. Don't you think, Sudarshan? Oh, yes, a very good one for the Antonians. 17 runs coming off it uh, despite the run out being uh, affected as well. Chanel delivered a very good first over. One for seven, the figures. Will be expected to try and. Uh, Deliver a tight over here as well. Antonian Sneedy, 23 of 18 deliveries. Lahiru is going to be absolute key. Johnny has also shown that he can swing his bat as well. Wide delivery. But uh, the umpire says it's inside the legal line. So... Good decision from the umpire. Wild swing from Lahiru. That seems to be uh, the plan. Ball outside off to the batters because anything that's on to their body they try and capitalize Lahiru happy with the single now running for the misfield that's not ideal from the bench the keeper coughing that out cheaply 
put Lahiru back in uh, strike. Really poor from the fielding side. It would have been just one run. Well, here's Lahiru making them pay. Well, that uh, flew towards uh, the canal, like we call it, but uh, the stream, like Rantika calls that here at uh, St. Peter's. Lahiru straight away showing that uh, he's capable of depositing them. Uh, in the boundaries now problems for the Benedictines they are under pressure now six six of the innings Antonian 74 after 7.3 euros we felt that uh, in the Benedictine in it innings after the start that they got in the first five overs they may be left about 20 to 25 runs in the field they did not uh, capitalize in the final five now staring down the barrel most probably will lose out on a spot in the final 15 needed or 15 run a ball another single for Lairo good batting this uh, Deposited that uh, delivery, which was loose uh, to uh, the boundary, but uh, took the single. Now he's giving confidence to his non-striker as well. Don't have to panic. If Johnny can uh, get a boundary here, that'll be bonus for the Antonians. Oh well, a stump, stumping, brings on pressure. Done it. Wanted to do a little too much. Came out of the crease completely bamboozled by at the turn there. Ball turning away from the batsman. Done it departs uh, after a very brief cameo. Six runs off two balls. Antonian sounds 75 for five. Tejasin Harambapana Singhayangi Gemma Gemma Tamai St. Anthony just need 14 runs in 13 deliveries A win for St. Anthony means that St. Joseph's will be playing the final against the St. Peter's and we wonder why you were so joyful about that, this one. Yes, uh, it's pretty much like uh, how Sri Lankans would be watching the rest of the World Cup, isn't it? They need uh, a lot of the other teams to work in their favour. Yes, definitely. <laughs> it's Robin Matthew. Oh, what a delivery. Absolute peach of a delivery by Chanel there. And Rashwan's head is in his arms. <laughs> As the Antonians uh, make a real mockery of themselves here. Got ever so close. All they needed was a batsman to try and support the skip on the other side. But Matthew... Takes a look at the surface and says, uh, it, didn't, it didn't behave the same way when I was bowling. Trevin Matthew departs for a golden duck. Antonians now 75 for 6. Final two overs of this game. 14 runs needed. 
the lone warrior for the and St. Anthony is the captain. He has best he has saved his best for the last game. As you see, 14 runs needed in 12 balls. Despite the loss of uh, the wickets, uh, you'd still back the bat inside, isn't it? Uh, 14 needed from 12. Just need two uh, boundaries to put pressure and put real pressure on the bowling side. Benedictines chasing that final. Antonians looking for consolation. They need some wind to grow about until they pass Kaduganna on their long journey back to Kandy. It's a Sunday, so going up traffic wouldn't be too, too bad for the Antonians. And uh, wind here will make the journey a little more easier. Johan into the attack. Previous over has gone for 10. Need to be a little more economical than that. Here's Lairo going over the ball his head. Good work at the ropes. My, my, what happened to Johan there? That'll be for some very interesting replay. What happened to Johan? It did, lo did look like he was uh, rehearsing for a Halloween act late in the day. Take a look at this. Brilliant save. And suddenly, whoop, whoop. <laughs> well, the maximum. Lahiru is really taking this uh, game by its scruff. And uh, making it look so very easy. Gives himself room. Plays through the onside, offside rather. Antonians need six of ten deliveries. Well, another boundary. Lahiro really doing it in style. So, something to crow about uh, the Antonians. Beautifully pulled away from Lahiru. Taking them very close to that victory mark. He's raised to 34 in just 14 deliveries. A match winning knock here from the captain. A rare dot ball. be any more twist remaining in this game we will have to wait and see two two more deliveries remaining in this over Lahiru plays it down the ground and that's a, a victory for the Antonians and with that hopes of uh, the Benedictines making the final being dash Antonians being real spoilers but what a knock from uh, Lahiru the Antonian skipper we could stumble on the other side, but he stood tall, both literally and figuratively. And uh, Antonians uh, winning it with uh, seven deliveries to spare. And uh, like we discussed, uh, I think it was uh, the Benedictines who lost it in the first innings, and it the second half of the first innings, not collecting. Uh, that uh, 20 or 15 runs that they could have they did not uh, lose those wickets yes and that has cost them the game and a uh, very interesting game comes to an end St. Anthony's have won by four wickets The Antonian uh, batting card, Akil and Zanuk, 13 12, Kamidu with 9. Tisser had a very brief stay of uh, 3 deliveries, getting 10 runs. Lahiru 
versus the man standing tall, the skipper, 38 of 16. Incredible knock by him. Johnny Tantravinsa saves brief. Ravindu had to make up the numbers. Antonians 91 after 8.5 overs. At the end, made it look a little too easy than it actually was for them. Benz, on the other hand, will be quite disappointed with their bowling attempt. All of them going above five. Chaturya versus Economical and Vihara. But uh, Bjorn, Kojita, Mewan all going for those big runs in the latter part of the game. They've surrendered the opportunity for to play in the final. Highlights of the second innings of the Antonians. There was some early hitting uh, RS1. But a uh, good fight back from uh, the Benedictines who were up to the game. And uh, not getting those three figures would have been at the back of their mind. Yes, they were in the game, but they just threw it away. They are themselves to blame. St. Anthony's have capitalized on the mistakes St. Bendix did. It's the court and bowl. Mr. Tisser, after a brief cameo, and this is where the momentum shifted towards the Antonians. Lahiru getting that. Uh, this was a freak dismissal, but coach is having the good sense of the mind to collect the ball and make sure that he dislodges the stump. But Lahiru, when he was in mode, when he got going, looked unstoppable yes he was the man in red hot form for St. Anthony's in this game he hadn't performed that well in the earlier games and made up for it in the end this one was an absolute peach Trevin Matthew normally does that to the batsman but um, happening to Trevin Matthew was nice to see on it got a swing on the bat as well but uh, Lahiro really doing it in style winning the game for the Antonians and denying the Benedictines of a spot in the final of the Saints Quadrangular Tournament 2022 here's the match summary Pete Wright Benedictines actually winning the toss and uh, opting to bat first 88 for 8 uh, Left some runs. Antonians winning comfortably with seven deliveries to spare. Go for a quick commercial break and we'll come. And the points table of the St. Scott Triangular Tournament 2022. St. Peter's right on the top. Following St. Joseph's, St. Anthony's and St. Benedict's. So with that the top two teams will be playing the final of the Saints Scott Triangular Tournament. Yeah, Joe beat uh, final. St. Peter is taking on uh, the Josephians uh, in the final. So that will be a very interesting one. Joe's incidentally have come second best uh, every time they've met this uh, time. Next match, uh, Benedict Tynes taking on uh, the Antonians for the third place playoff. Basically, a rematch of uh, what just concluded we'll go for a quick commercial break and when we come back we will have the live action the excitement real time be up to date with it all 
Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. अब लोकसुरान आवश्यक मत आने के लिए आदेश तक एक लगा गया ना आरजू नहीं तो हम पावस रहते हैं तमाई में लोकसुरान जाए ग्राने अनसंग ईरो ओबकी रहा ये कोतराम त्रुप्तियाँ किन्हें देने दिया नहीं वह इधर ना है क्या ये वाके किन्हों का रोड त्रुप्तियाँ क्या ना है भाई अभी मागे उक्तानी कर रही बेटी म हरी में होंडा साइड देगा रांस आडू करेगा ना आडू करेगा ना अंतिम ओवर रेल्ट आने का इतने आप ही एक प्लान कर लेते हैं बाप ही एक इधर देन नया किया ला मामा आउट पे ना पोड़े का रिसल आप ही देन ना काता कर ला मामा आरविंदर ने दाखिल हुआ मामा रिस क्या करांग कहाँ ना किया ला मुझे आप ही निकांगर हीरो खारी बारी विलात भी उपांतु आरे पनाम बैठ कर आना ना मुत्त ओबे आवस्था इधर इसके अगान वाले हैं मामा लखनऊ प्रमाणिय वेगे वैरी करें तो ये किन्हा तीर ने कर किन्हा ए में देवी देवी आनी ओ ए वाला है मुझे मामा आरविंद है खाता करा मुझे मान देना का ता आरविंद पालो ही नहीं बोले मुझे क्रीड़ा कर पुदी मांग आप इधर ना खाता कल एडिशन ने गाते किन्हें क्रिस क्या गाना हो गया ये दावा सर तीन बुरादे प्रवर्तन व्यक्त डेवलप मोगी ना आपु तारंग के दिया आपी को हमारी लाखों विश्वक कपारी ना फीलिंग उन्हें कर लाई के ला जहाँ किसी प्रवर्तन व्यक्त तीन बुरादे के ना पड़ी पहली क्रीम कर पाना वह तरह में अभी टारगेट है देना रनआउट देगा तारंग मैच चेक तारंग एक दिन तो वो अलग कुन विश्वास की तरह ना हाफ चांसेस करना ये वो तो है वे चैलेंजेस देंगे अभी अभी कॉम्फर्टेबल सोलने के आरे के दिन कैचेस था माय ना हम तीते तहाय आने वाली ना हमारे ना मन सामान्य पीर करने को ना हमारी दहाय दहाय Eh, mati sese, mana beri pura challenge aja kan? Tuh, tama ing, tama anta, e challenge aja sukses kara kan pula ni. Eh, bagi anti masanchar e baterin dekoh dekoh dua patul lah. Tapi mana sanchar e ini, kan dah mana coba nak nak ni mana pandu palu tu kerai kira lah. नाय क्या पूर्ण करूँ सा उब तभी शाल वाशिन सस्पेंशन स्लेबिन वा तारंग की पे करना में दे उब के क्रीड़ा जीविते को तराम कालू पहले मात्र मैं तो नहीं कर एक तरह माटे क्रिकेट जीविते थी ये ना मो एक ऐसा रिग्रेट वैसे क्या तारंग क्या थी ना सस्पेंशन का राडा आप इट ये चार्जर्स या बिल्ला एक इंग वैसे क टीम मैनेजर है टीरे गोलांगे इबीएम है ना टीम मैनेजर एक अट एक गोलांग मुझे चार्ज कराने कैप्टन ना कोच भाई मैनेजर भाई ये का लोकु कालू पहल मार का क्या न मार्टर इतना नहीं है मैं क्या नाटम इतना हीट अप मांगी था ने ये थारा गेम पास से मामा ये ये दावस्तर खाला मना खाला मना आकर वितरा कई बार कांड थी बाम को जब मंदा नगर तय का एक हरी नया सीना का क्रिकेट टल्टा मुको जब टीम में का मापे अंत में सीना का क्रिकेट टेक टाइ डैमेज जगा है एक हरी दुकान है ये बेच देगा दें ये तारंगी ये तारंगा तीर का वाला है ये जब गल सीना तो बस तमत सामी पुमितुरा ना एक टक रीड़ा कर लेती है ना ओह किसी अवधान मत दूंगा क्या ने आप ही वो चार्ज करा पास से आप ही लोगों ने आखुदाव करा माहिता ने वेना मैच रेफरी के ने कितने नंग वो मैच का अवॉर्ड करना 
එතෙන්දීම අවෝඩ් කරන අපිට තව ගොඩාක් ප්‍රශ්න එනවා වෙස්ට් ඉන්ඩීස් ක්‍රිකට් කණ්ඩායමෙනුත් මම හිතන්නේ ශ්‍රීනාත් නිසා තමයි අපි ඔච්චර විදියකින් හරි බේරුනේ ශ්‍රීනාත් ගොඩක් තලාට අපිට ඇවිල්ලා කතා මට කතා කරලා කිව්වා එයා ඇඩ්වයිස් කරා දිගටම ඉතින් අන්තිමට අපි ටීම් ටීම් ඩිසිෂන්ස් අපි ගත්තේ හැම දෙයම මේ එයා ඇත්තටම ඉවර වුණාම් පස්සේ මේ ළඟ දී සවුත් ඇෆ්රිකන් සීරීස් එකට ආපිල ඒ මාත් එක වාඩලා ලොකු කතාවක් කරා එයාත් එක්ක ඉතින් ඒ යාළුකම තාම තියෙනවා එයාටත් ඇත්තටම දුකයි අපි ඇයි කියලා ඒ වැඩේට මේ ඕනේ අසන් දැන් අපි පන්දු පළුදු කිරීම පැත්තකට තිබ්බොත් එහෙම පිටියට නොයාම දැන් ඔබ ගොඩක් අද්දකින් බවුල පුද්ගලයෙක් ඔබට තේරුණ නැද්ද මේ කරන දේ වැරදි කියලා කිසියම් අවස්ථාවක යන්න ඕනේ කියලා ආහාය නැවත පිටියට මට මුල ඉඳන් මේක අත්‍ය මම කවදාකක් ජීවිතේක අපි ක්‍රිකට් ෆීල්ඩ් එකකින් මම යන්න කැමති නැහැ දැන් අර්ජුන පළවෙනි තරගයේ අර මේ කියන්නේ නේ මුර්ලිදරන් ඉස්සල්ලාම කෝල් කරේ වෙලේ අපි ඒ වෙලාවෙත් මේව කරේ අර්ජුනට තනියම ඇතුළට යන්න ටීම් එකේ ක්‍රීඩා කර අරවින්ද ඇක්ටින් කැප්ටන් කරලා අපි ක්‍රීඩා කර තරගය ඉතින් අපිට පාසලේ තු ගන්නලා තිබ්බේ අන්තිමට අම්පයර්ස්ලයි කියන දේ හරි ඒකට යන්න ඉතින් මුල ඉඳන්ම මට කිසිම මේකත් තිබ්බේ නැහැ මැච් එක ගහන්න ඕනේ නැහැ කියලා මගේ අඩ්වයිස් එක තිබ්බේ ප්ලේයර්ස්ලයි කෝචිං ස්ටාෆ්ටයි මැච් එක ගහන්න ඕනේ කියන එක මගේ විතර නෙවෙයි කොළඹිනුත් ආව අඩ්වයිස් එක ඒක ඉදවස් වල අපේ ස්පෝට්ස් මිනිස්ට්‍රි ෆයිස මුස්තෆා මහත්මයා ඒ මහත්මයාත් මට කතා කරා ඒ මහත්මයාත් කිව්වේ ඒකයි ටීම් එකට කියන්න යන්න මෙතන ඉන්නේ අපි ඒක ප්‍රශ්න වෙ අපි පස්සේ විසඳමු එතකොට හිටපු බෝඩ් එකේ ප්‍රසිද්ධ තිලංග සුමුතිපාල මහත්මයා මට කතා කරා කතා කරලා කොහේ ටීම් එකට යන්න කියන්න මේ තව ප්‍රශ්නේයි කියලා ඒ එක්කම මේ කවුද රොෂාන් මහනාම් මගේ හොඳම මිත්‍රයා පාරණ මැච් රෙෆරි මට කතා කරා කතා කරලා කොහේ ටීම් එකට යන්න කියන්න ඉතින් ඔක්කොම ඇඩ්වයිස් ඇත්තටම ආවේ ෆීල්ඩ් එකට යන්න කියන එක ඒක තමයි අපි වැරදියට කරේ ඔබ ටෙස්ට් වරම් ලැබීමෙන් වසරකට අනතුරුව ඔබගේ මංගල ටෙස්ට් ශතකය වාර්තා කරනවා පාකිස්තානු කණ්ඩායමත් එක්කම ඔබ අයි අර්ජුන එක විශාල සම්බන්ධතාවයක් තියෙනවා අතරණි කඩුවට ලක්ුණු දේශීය අතරියක වගේ ඔව් ඒ තරගේ අපිට දකින්න ලැබෙනවා ඉම්රාන් ඛාන් සහ වසිම් අක්‍රම් දෙපළම ක්‍රීඩා කරන අය තරගේ ඔබ ක්‍රීඩකයෙක් හැටියට මුණ දුන්න ඉතාමත් අසීරුම වේගපන්ද යවන්න කවුද ඇත්තටම අසීරුම එක්කෙනා වසිම් අක්‍රම් ඕනම තනන ඉල්ල එක හොඳට දාන ෆාස්ට් බෝල් කෙනෙක් ඒ කියන්නේ දැන් ෂාජ වල ඒ දවස්වල ෂාජ විකට්ස් වල කිසිම දෙයක් තිබ්බේ නැහැ බෝල කෙනෙකුට හැබැයි ඒ විකට් වලත් ඇවිල්ලා හයියනුත් දානවා ස්වින් කරනවා තන කොළ තියලා තනන ඉල්ලක් දුන්නොත් ඒකෙත් දානවා එයාගේ ඇක්ෂන් එක සමහක් කාට අඩි දහයෙන් විතර හැරිලා එනවා ඒවා සමහක් කාට ඊට වඩා හයියෙන් දානවා අඩි දහයෙන් හැරිලා එන ඒවා ඉතින් ඒ ඔක්කොම බැලුවාම එයා තමයි අමාරුම ෆාස්ට් බෝල මන් ජීවිතේම ගහලා තියෙන්නේ. එහෙම තරගාවලිය තමයි ඔබ මුලින්ම අංක 3 ස්ථානයට පිටිකල් විකට්ට පැමිණෙන්නේ. මේ අංක 3 ස්ථාවරත්වය ඔබ ලබා දුන් කණ්ඩායමට දී කාලයක් ඒ රද පවත්වා ගන්නට පුළුවන් වුණා ජාති කණ්ඩායමට. ඒ අංක 3 ක්‍රීඩා කරනකොට මොන වගේ දේවල්ද පිටිකල් විකට්ට ඔබ කරන්න වෙන්නේ? මානසිකව මොන වගේද ඔබට ඇඩ ගැහෙන්න සිද්ධ වෙන්නේ? මේ කියන පොඩ්ඩක් කතා කරමු. ඔය අතරම මට අංක 3ට ක්‍රීඩාකරන හම්බ වුණේ පාකිස්තානය ලංකාවට ඇවිල්ලා ක්‍රීඩා කරද්දී ප්‍රැක්ටිස් වල රොයිඩයිස් ඉන්ජ වුණා ඉන්ජ වුණා මට ඩුලිප් මෙන්ඩිස්වී ඒ දාසල හිටියේ මිස්ටර් අබූ ෆාඩ් වී කතා කළා කිව්වා නම්බර් 3 බැට් කරන්න කියලා මම කොහ ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැහැ කියලා ඒත් ඒකෙන් තමයි හම්බ වුණේ ඊට පස්සේ මම මුල තරංගවල මම හිතන්නේ මම වැඩිය චේන්ජ් කරා කියලා ගහන විදිය හැබැයි මට තේරුණා මට පුළුවන් තරම් ඉක්මනටම මාරු කරන්න එනවා කියලා මොකද මම ඉස්සර බැට් කරේ නොම්බර් 5 6 අතර ඉතින් මම ගොඩක් අග්‍රසිව් ක්‍රීඩා කරා ඉතින් මට ඒකෙන් පොඩ්ඩක් එලියට එන්න වුණා මොකද දැන් තියෙන විදිහට නෙවෙයි ස්ට්‍රැටජීස් ගොඩක් වෙනස් ඒ දවස්වල ඒ දවස්වල අපිට අපේ ප්ලෑන් එකේ තිබ්බේ මම නොම්බර් 3 ක්‍රීඩා කරොත් ඒ කියන්නේ ටෙස්ට් තරඟ යන්න දවසම බැට් කරන්න යන්න ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැහැ ගහන ගහන ලකුණු ගහන එක් දින තරඟයක් වුණත් ඕර් 50 බැට් කරන්න එහා පැත්තෙන් අනිත් බැට්ස්මන්ලා බලා ගන්නේ කියලා ඉතින් මම හිතන්නේ මම පටන් ගන්න කාලේ ලකුණු 160ක් 70ක් ගහුවොත් මැච් එක දිනන්න පුළුවන්. ඒ කාලේ තිබ්බ විදියට ප්ලෑන්ස් එක. දැන් 160ක් කියන්නේ ඕර් 15ක් විතර ඉවර කරන්න පුළුවන් මැච් එක. මම චේන්ජ් කරේ ගොඩක් මම ගොඩක් කෙලින් ගහන්න පටන් ගත්තා. 
මං V එක කියන මේකේ තමයි මං ගොඩක් ක්‍රීඩා කරන්න ගත්තේ ඒකයි මං හිතන්නේ මගේ patience උත් ගොඩක් ආවේ එතනින් මං මට වැඩියම මං බය වුණෙත් නැහැ අනිත් එක මම වැඩි අප්සෙට් වුණෙත් නැහැ රන්ස් ආවේ නැහැ කියලා මොකද මම දැනගත්තා මට බැට් කරොත් ගොඩක් කියලා මට ලකුණු ගන්න පුළුවන් කියලා ियाल <laughs> සීරීස් එකක් ගැහුවනේ ලංකාවේ ඒ කාලේ මේ සවුත් අප්‍රිකාවට යන්න ඉස්සෙල්ලා ඒ කියන්නේ අවිෂ්කත් රන්ස් කෝ කළා ලසිත් ඇමුල් දෙන්නේ ඒකේ මම බලන් මම බැලුවා ඒ මැච් එක සොක්කොම ඒ ආය ඉතාමත්ම හොඳට බෝල් කරා ඉතින් අපිට ඇත්තටම ලෙෆ්ට් ආම් ස්පින්නර් කෙනෙක් අවශ්‍යතාවයක් තිබ්බා ඉතින් අපි හිතුවා එයා එයාව යවන එක සවුත් අප්‍රිකාවට අපි හිතුවා ඒක හොඳයි කියලා මොකද ඒ වෙලාවේ අපිට ඒ වගේ ස්පින්නර් කෙනෙක් හිටියේ නැහැනේ රංගනයේරත් රිටයර් වුණාට පස්සේ අපිට ලෙෆ්ට් ආම් ස්පින්නර් කෙනෙක් ඒ ඒ අපිට උමනා තත්ත්වෙට හිටියේ නැහැ. ඉතින් අපි හිතුවා ඒ වෙලාවේ හිටියේ ඩිල් රුවන් තමයි හුඟක් වෙලාවට බෝල් කර කර හිටියේ. ඉතින් එයාටත් කකුලේ ආබාධයක් තිබ්බා. මේ ඒකේ සෙල්ලම් කරන්න බැරි වුණා. ඉතින් අපි අනිත් එක ඕසද ගත්තම අපි බැලුවා ඕසද අපි මැචස් වල බැලුවා එයා ලෝකල් මැචස් වල හුඟක් රන්ස් ගැහුවා. එයාගේ ඇත්තටම බැටින් ටෙක් බැටින් ටෙක්නික් එක බැලුවම අපි හිතුවා එයා ඒ බවුන්සි පිචර්ස් වලට හොඳයි කියලා. මොකද එයා ඇත්තටම එයා මේ වේග පන්දුවට පහර දෙන විලාසයේ බැලුවම ඇත්තටම සිලෙක්ට් කෙනෙක්ගේ තියෙන්නේ. ඇතින් ඒක බලනකොට තේරෙනවනේ සමහරක් විතර අපිට පිටිකරුවේ බැට් කරනකොට අපිට පේනවා එයාට තියෙන යම් කිසි ඉරියව් වලින් අපිට තේරෙනවා මෙයාට යම් කිසි හැකියාවක් තියෙනවා කියලා. අපි හිතුවා ඒ බවුන්සි පිචර්ස් වල එයාට ඒ හැකියාව තියෙයි කියලා. ඉතින් එයා ඒක ඇත්තටම පෙන්වනවා. එයා හොඳට පේස් එකට ගහනවා කියන එක. අනිත් ස්පින් එකටත් සෑහෙන හොඳට ගහනවා. ඉතින් අපි හිතුවා ඒ වෙලාවේ අපිට ටිකක් බැටින් වල ටික අඩුවක් තිබ්බනේ. ඉතින් ඒ හින්දා අපි හිතුවා මෙයාව ගස්සලා බලමු කියලා. ඉතින් ඇත්තටම එයා නම්බර් 3 ගැහුවේ. ඉතින් මම හිතන්නේ එයා හොඳ ඉනින් එකක් ගහලා අපිට මේ මැච් එකක් දෙන්න දුන්න දෙවෙනි ටෙස්ට් එක. සූ ගානක් නොට් අවුට් ගහලා. මම හිතන්නේ දැන් එයා එතනින් එහාට දැන් ටෙස්ට් ක්‍රිකට් විතර නේ වන් ඩේ ක්‍රිකට් T20 අපි එක මැච් එකක් දුන්න ඒකේ තැත්ත ගානක් ගැහුව. එයා පෙන්නුවා එයාට හැකියාව තියෙනවා කියලා. ඉතින් අපි සතුටු වෙයි. ඉතින් ඒ වගේ ප්ලේයර්ස් ලා දෙන්න අවිෂ්ක. එයා දැන් අපි ආව වර්ල්ඩ් කප් එකට ගැනලා අපි ගැස් එව්වා. එයාත් ඒ එකට ඇවිල්ලා තියෙනවා. ඉතින් මම හිතන්නේ මේ වගේ විශ්ව ෆර්නෑන්ඩෝ ඒ වගේම. හා. එතකොට කසුන් රාජිත එයා එයාත් දැන් අප් ඇන්ඩ් කමින්. ඉතින් මම හිතන්නේ හොඳයි. මට මතකයි අකිල දනංජේ වුණත් දෙදාස් දොළහේ මම චෑමන් වෙන ඉන්නකොට මහේල ඇවිල්ලා කිව්වා මෙයා නෙට් බෝල කෙනෙක්. මෙයාව ගම්මු අපි වර්ල්ඩ් කප් ස්කොඩ් එකේ මෙයා මැච් ගහලා තිබ්බේ නැහැ ස්කොඩ් එකේවත් තිබ්බේ නැහැ. මට කිව්වා මේ ඇවිල්ලා මහේලා කිව්වා මම මහේලට හුඟක් රෙස්පෙක්ට් කරනවා මොකද මහේලාගේ මහේලට හොඳ අයිය එකක් තියෙනවා ප්ලේයර්ස් ලා. මං අනිත් එක ඒ වෙලාවේ හිටියේ ෆෝඩ්. එයාට හොඳ අයිය එකක් තිබ්බා. ඔය කුසල් කුසල් ජනිත්ව අයි කරේ මේ මේ මහේලයි ෆෝඩ් වෙයි තමයි. ඒ දෙන්න තමයි මට කිව්වේ සවුත් අප්‍රිකාවට යවන්න කියලා. අන ඒ ටීම් එකේ. එයාව අපි යවුවම මම හිතන්නේ පත්තරේ අපිට පළු හැලෙන්න බෙන්න බෙන්න. ඊට පස්සේ මිනිහා අන්ෆෝජුනේලි ඩෙංගු හැදුණා. ගහන්නත් බැරි වුණා. හරිද? මොකද මට මතකයි ඒ දෙන්න කතා කරලා කියනවා මේ මෙයාව පොඩක් බලන්න මෙයා මෙයාට අමුතු ටැලන්ට් එකක් තියෙන්නේ කියලා. හරිද? වා රෙකෝඩ්ස් ආරම් බලන්න එයාව ෆස්ට් ටයිම් යවුවේ සවුත් අප්‍රිකා ඒ ටුවර් එකේ. හැබැයි ඩෙංගු හැදුණා එයාට. ඒ වෙලාවේ අපිට මේ කොහෙන්ද ගත්තේ කින්දද මන්ද කියලා උඟා බැන්න. ඉතින් අපිට සන්තෝෂ අඩුම ගාන අවුරුදු ගානකට පස්සේ මේ මේ උඟක් ලංකාවේ දැන් වැදගත්ම ප්ලේ කෙනෙක් කියලා තියෙනවා. ඒ වගේ තා අකිල දලංචි. මහේල ඇවිල්ලා කිව්වා මේ මෙයා නෙට්ස් වල බෝල් කරනවා අපිට ප්ලේ කරගන්න රීඩ් කරගන්න බෑ කියලා. ඉතින් ඇත්තටම අපි සිලෙක්ෂන් කමිටි අනිත් මෙම්බර්ස් ලා කතා කරලා කෙලින්ම වර්ල්ඩ් කප් ස්කොඩ් එකට දැම්මා. මැච් එකක්වත් ගහලා තිබ්බේ නැහැ. අපි ඒ වෙලාවේ සෑහෙන දොස් කිව්වා. ඊට පස්සේ මට මතකයි ෆස්ට් මැච් එකේ නුවර මිනිහාට බෝල් වැදුණා මූණට නවසිලන්තේ ඔව් නවසිලන්තේ හැබැයි ෆයිනල් එකේ ගහලා මට මතකයි මිනිහා සෑමුවල්ස් ගේ විකට් එකත් ගත්තා හරි ඊට පස්සේ 
Mangidane, Yamkizi, Mandan, Mona Hetu, or the Urdu Gana, Minya, Bellivet, now Rutunaki. Drop Kalama them. Eat a passi Mangidane, did us Palve, did us, Edi Bavitama, Apo, Yagin. The Mandane, the Mang Api, Eterama, Evela, Api, Dagala, the Bene, me, 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 if you have a surprise bowl, you can't get a surprise bowl. If you have a surprise bowl, you can't get a surprise bowl. If you have a surprise bowl, you can't get a ඒ players ලා එහෙම හැදිලා ආවා. ඉතින් ඒක ඉතින් අපි selectors ලා ඇඩියට අපි ඒ වෙලාවේ ගත්ත තීරණ ගැන පස්සේ බලනකොට අඩුම ගානේ අපිට සතුරු වෙන්න පුළුවන්. ඉතින් මිනිස්සු ඒ වෙලාවේ බණිනවා. මොනවට ඉතින් ටෙක් ස්කිල් වගේ අතීතයේ බලනකොට ගත්ත තීරණ හුඟක් හුඟක් තීරණ ඒවා හරි ගිහිල්ලා තියෙනවා. Australia, uh, Sri Lanka, Kulabaga, Palamu, Shataka, Labagan, Uber, Uber, Gaba Piti, the Ekasia, Tata, Labagan, Lakunik, the Sumsia, Sunami, the Tama, YouTube, Berianangim, uh, video clips, Balagan, Pulang, Ubagana, Hook Parwal, Kat Parwal, Click Parwal, Itama Bakum Kalvi. Uh, Obege, uh, teammates of Godakina, a target calling the Obey Godak, uh, Tarhain Killer, Mogoda, uh, Itama uh, Avatak Seru, Lakarla Tibuna, Obey Kanda. Uh, what is the name of the name of the name of the name of දවස් පහක් තරගයක් ගහන්න ඒගොල්ලන්ට හැකියාවක් නැහැ අපිට ටෙස්ට් තරගයක් දවස් පහක් කරන්න නැතු ඊට වඩා අඩු කරන්න තිබුණා කියලා. ඉතින් ඒ වගේ දේවල් කියනකොට සමහර වෙලාවට මම පෙන්වන්නේ නැති වුණාට මම වැඩිය කතා කරන්න කැමති නැහැ සද්ද කරන්න කැමති නැහැ. නමුත් හැබැයි හිත ඇතුලින් මම හුඟක් කතා කරනවා මට ඒක තමයි මගේ තියෙන ගතිගුණේ මං කිව්වා මටම මේගොල්ලන්ට හොඳ පාඩමක් උගන්වන්න ඕනි කියලා මේ ටෙස්ට් මැච් එකේ. ඉතින් ඒකේ තමයි මම අධිෂ්ඨාන කරගත්තේ අපි ඒ දවස්වල අපි බැලුවේ පුළුවන් තරම් දවසක් හරි දෙකක් හරි පුළුවන් නම් බැට් කරන්න. ඉතින් ඒක තමයි මගේ පරමාර්ථය තිබුණේ. කොහොම හරි මම ඇඟින් හරි ගගහ Mama we got to give and Kumari and the no Pulwantaran Kila. Uh, it Kumari eka Ida a very stone. Mila met Tarangi, Troy Kakuna, Mangitani Villawe, me happy Labagat Luku Jagrania cake. I was able to get a test 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 I think that the people who are in the world are in the world. The people who are in the world are in the world. The people who are in the world are in the world. The people who are in the world are in the world. The people who are in the world are in the world. 
ඉතින් මට මතකයි මට ඒ වෙලාවේ පොඩි රන් අප් එකේ පොඩි ප්‍රශ්නයක් තිබ්බ මගේ නෝ බෝල්ස් එක. මට මතකයි එයා මට ඇවිල්ලා උදව් කරා මේ ප්‍රැක්ටිස් කරනකොට පොඩ්ඩක් ඇවිල්ලා. ඊට පස්සේ ලංකාවට එනකොට 85 ය ලංකාවට ආවා. ඊට පස්සේ මාත් එක්ක හුඟක් ඒ කියන්නේ යාළු වුණා. දැත්තටම මේ පාර මේ ශ්‍රී ලංකා පාකිස්තාන් වලට ගිය වෙලාවේ මේ ජහිර් ඛාන් තමයි මාත් එක්ක සෙල්ලම් කරේ ඒ කාලේ. මම ඒක ඉම්රාන් උත් හිටියා. මම ජහිර් ඛාන් ට කිව්වා මට ඉම්රාන් නම් හම්බෙන්න මම කැමතියි. මොකද මම සෑයන කාලයකට දැකලා නැහැ කියලා. දැන් ඔව් අගමැති. ඔව් දැන් ඔව් අගමැති නේ පාකිස්තාන් වලට. ඒ වෙලාවේ එයා ඒ වෙලාවේම කෝල් එකක් දුන්නා ඉම්රාන් ට. ඉම්රාන් කිව්වා දැන් එන්න කියලා. ඉතින් අපිව ඇත්තටම එයා එව්වා. එයාගේ සිකියුරිටි ඔක්කොම එවලා. අපිව ඇත්තටම මමයි රොමේෂයි. අපිව ගෙනිච්චා එයාගේ ප්‍රයිම් මිනිස්ටර්ගේ ගෙදට. ගිනිලා බිස්නස් කට්ටිය ඔක්කොම ඉන්නේ මට මතකයි ලෝන්ස් දෙන්න එහෙම ඇවිල්ලා හිටියා වර්ල්ඩ් බැංක් එකෙන් ඒ කට්ටිය ඒ කට්ටියට ඉස්සෙල්ලා අපි දෙන්නව ගත්තා. අරගෙන අපි ගැන අපි අහලා කොහොමද කියලා අපි ආදිකාල ක්‍රිකට් ගැන කතා ගැල්ලා ඒවා හුඟක් වෙලාවක් කතා කර කර හිටියා අන්තිමට ඒගොල්ලන්ට ඇවිල්ලා කියන්න උනා මේ දැන් අර හුඟක් ඇවිල්ලා කට්ටිය ඇවිල්ලා ඉන්නවා හම්බෙන්න ඉතින් මේක ඉවර කරමු කියලා. මොකද එයා එච්චරට ඒ කියන්නේ අපිව දැකලා එච්චර මේ කියන්නේ අර ඒ අපිත් එක්ක යාළුකම තාම තියෙනවා. මේ කියන්නේ දැක්ක වෙලාවක් වුණත් ඉතින් ඒක මම හිතන්නේ ලොකු දෙයක්. මොකද ක්‍රිකට් වල ක්‍රිකට් නැවැත්තුවට පස්සේ තියෙන්නේ තියෙන මේ ෆ්‍රෙන්ඩ්ෂිප්ස් තමයි තියෙන්නේ. ඉතින් ඒක මම හිතන්නේ ඉස්සර කාලේ හුඟක් තිබ්බා. දැන් මම හිතන්නේ ටිකක් අඩුයි ඒ මොකද ඒගොල්ලෝ සෝෂලයිස් කරන්නේ නැහැ වැඩිය. ඉස්සර අපි හුඟක් අපේ ඔපෝනන්ට්ස් ලත් එක්ක ඩිනර්ස් වලට යනවා. ඒගොල්ලොත් එක්ක ඒ කියන්නේ හෝටලේ සමහරකට හම්බෙනවා හැන්දෑවට. කතා කරනවා ඒ වගේ ඉතින් අපිත් එක්ක සෙල්ලම් කරපු හුඟ කට්ටියක් අපි තාම යාළුවා. නවසීලන්තෙදි එක දෙයක් වුණේ මේ තරගෙට ඉස්සල්ලා මට මතකයි මම මේ අපිට එක් දෙන තරඟ දෙකක් තිබුණා ඕක්ලන්ඩ් වල ඊට පස්සේ මගේ අක්කත් හිටිය ඕක්ලන්ඩ් වල තමයි ඒ දවස්වල ඉතින් මේ අක්කගේ ගෙදර මැච් එකට ඉස්සල දවසේ ගියාම අක්ක කිව්වා මේ කාල වේලස්සනින් ගිහිල්ලා නිදා ගන්න මේ තරගේ හෙට හෙට ඉම්පෝටන්ට් තරගයක් තියෙනවා කියලා ඉතින් ඊට පස්සේ මාව වේලස්සනින්ම කාලා හෝටලේට ඇරියා ඉතින් මම ගිහිල්ලා මං හිතන්නේ නමේ අටහමාර වෙනකොට වගේ මම නිදා ගන්නත් ගිහිල්ලා උදේ නැගිටලා මේ මැච් එකට ගිහිල්ලා අපි බැට් කරනකොට පළවෙනි බෝල තුන අතරේ මම ගහලා ස්ලිප් එකේ කැච් එක ගිහිල්ලා අවුට් වුණා බිංදුවකට ඊට පස්සේ ටෙස්ට් එකක් තිබිලා ප්‍රැක්ටිස් කරලා ඊළඟට ආයිත් කියා මැච් එකක් තිබිලා මේ ඊළඟ දවසේ මැච් එකට ඉස්සල්ලා ගියාම මේ එදා වුත් අක්ක කිව්වා දැන් ගිය මැච් එකේ පරක් වෙලා යන්න ඇත්තේ යන්න අද අටට කියලා යවලා එදා ගිහිල්ලා ඊට පස්සේ ඒ තරගෙත් බූල ගානක් ගහලා මම ආයිත් අවුට් වුණා කෝට් බිහයින් ඒ දා මැච් එකෙත් බිංදුවයි ඊට පස්සේ තමයි අපි වෙලින්ටන් වලට ගියේ ටෙස්ට් මැච් එකට ඉතින් මම හිත හුඟක් කැඩිලා ගියේ ඒ වෙලාවේ ගිහිල්ලා මේ අපි වෙලින්ටන් ටෙස්ට් මැච් එක පටන් ගත්තා ප්‍රැක්ටිස් තිබුණ දවස් ගානක් ඊට පස්සේ ටෙස්ට් මැච් එක පටන් ගත්තා මේ ඊට පස්සේ ටොස් එක දාලා ඒගොල්ලන් බැට් කරන්න මේ අපි ටොස් එක දිනලා ඒගොල්ලන් බැට් කරන්න දැම්මා ඒගොල්ල එකසිය අනු වටක් ගහලා ඕල අවුට් වුණා අපි එදා එදා රෑ මං හිතන්නේ විසි තුනකට දෙකක් හරි මම බැට් කර කර හිටියේ මම තුනයි නොට් අවුට් මට තාම මතකයි ඊට පස්සේ එදා රෑ අපිට ෆන්ක්ෂන් එකක් තිබුණා ශ්‍රී ලංකන් කට්ටියගේ ඒක මේ ශ්‍රී ලංකන් ඇසෝසියේෂන් එකේ ෆන්ක්ෂන් එකේ වෙලා ආවයින් පස්සේ මම හිතුවා අද නම් මම වේලස් නිදා ගන්න යන්නේ නැහැ කියලා මම ගිහිල්ලා එළියට ගිහිල්ලා යාළුව කට්ටියක් ගිහිල්ලා මං හුඟාක් රෑ වෙලාවේ මේ දවස්වල කරා නම් ඔක්කොම 
फेसबुक मैं सोशल मीडिया की थी मम मंगित पैक्वत् मम निधन की थिंक यदा मंगी इट पास अभी उदय के लिए ब्रेक्फास्ट का मेच गई ये पलवे निवत मई मम एक दवास लखन उदेसी अगहबुदस इधमे यदवस तम तक मुखद मे यदा मम हितागत संहार विलावट क्रिकेट क्रीडा वर्णकुट मानसिक तत्व तम Good afternoon to all of you. This is the uh, Saints Quadrangular Tournament, the third place playoff between uh, Saint Anthony's College Candy and Saint Benedict's College Cotehena. We are bringing you uh, these uh, live pictures uh, from uh, Saint Peter's College grounds in uh, Bambalapitiya. Rematch of uh, the previous game, which uh, was held a little while ago, and uh, the news from uh, the toss was that Saint Benedict's won the toss, and they've uh, elected to. Field first. So um, in the previous game, they had to bat first. Harita, um, what do you reckon about this decision? I think uh, the main reason is now they would uh, fancy to chase uh, all this time. Uh, they were happy to uh, bat first and uh, restrict the opposition. But uh, with uh, the form of uh, Lahiru Abasing, uh, they now find it uh, a different proposition altogether. It's good to see the intent of uh, these two schools. Uh, this may be a third place playoff, but uh, to play with that sort of intent, uh, Damit is is uh, justice to the organisers and uh, for the uh, game too. So good to see that uh, there is some uh, um, improvement as far as that is concerned. The intent uh, on it. Uh, Chamat Chaturia did not bowl the last over. Uh, Of his uh, in the last game, he wanted to bowl the last over, but uh, Lairu Abasinga uh, simply carried uh, in that big hitting uh, format to make sure that his side won. Two of the biggest hitters uh, in this game, um, Sharan uh, Kanangara for Saint Benedict's and Lairu Abasinga uh, for Saint Anthony. So this should be a good toss up for the final between uh, Saint Joseph's and uh, Saint Peter's. Kamidu Shehan and uh, Mohammad Akil from uh, Saint Anthony's College will uh, open the batting. We are all set for the third place playoff game. We had a very uh, interesting battle between these two teams early on, but now it's good um, exposure for all these players. Uh, Harita playing so uh, in these conditions, T10 cricket. Here's uh, Chaturia. Short and just a mistimed pull towards the deep mid wicket region for a single. This is a s this is not the same uh, surface which was used yesterday. So uh, there's uh, plenty of uh, runs on offer for good cricketing shots. Mohammad Akil made 13 in the previous game. Looked good. It had to depart. Uh, super Britain catch. Fielding could play a vital role, especially in the outfield. Where the second run is always uh, a dangerous proposition. The wicket has been very well uh, prepared. The outfield very well maintained. Ninety runs, you reckon? Yeah, anything above uh, 90 would be a bonus for Saint Anthony's College. They need to keep wickets in hand, Harita. That's what uh, they did in the previous game. They need a good start. 
Beautiful batting. Kavidu Shehan playing the field very well, very intelligently. That's the first boundary in this uh, third place playoff. Usually, Chamat Chaturya is uh, economical in his first over. Because of the intent uh, of uh, the two teams, uh, we may see a different proposition altogether. Wicket keep opening bat, uh, which number three in the previous game. The run in the first one, fast, but uh, could be the fielding from the uh, Benedict's uh, field at uh, deep mid wicket. Another ball remaining. Good over so far from uh, St. Anthony's College. Just uh, eight runs conceded by Chaturya. Massive ball coming up. That's four. Mohamed Akil stayed on his back foot and uh, made sure he get the ball in the correct uh, gap. 12 from the first over, St. Anthony's off to a brilliant start. Vihara Aktanayaka will uh, share the new ball for St. Benedict's College. St. Benedict's College uh, coached by uh, former Josephian captain Ranesh Pereira. While uh, the Pete Wrights are coached by uh, Janudika Shriyapala. St. Joseph's coached by Dilan Ramanaka and St. Anthony's. Sunet Gunatilaka. Yes, Aktanayaka. Worked away on the leg side for a single only. Kavidu Shehan playing the field really well. If they get to the uh, power play without losing wickets and still get 25 runs, it will be a superb proposition for the rest of the batting. They've got uh, Tisar Ekanayaka, they've got uh, Lahiru Abasing. If all click together, that should be the total for St. Benedict's to chase. You mentioned Damit anything over 90, yes. If it's a possibility, it could be a good match uh, for the Papare.com to stream too. Done a good job giving these youngsters in particular in this multi sport event. Mama Dakil. Yeah, just a couple of runs, three runs rather. It's a no ball as well. We are at the Nayaka. Here's the run chase. <laughs> Umpires uh, wouldn't have noticed, but um, there was uh, that feature available of uh, television umpire that would have been four. But um, yes, uh, these boys, they know that. They know there's. Uh, no uh, TV umpire facility. Okay, free hit. Before that, this was is what happened. Yeah. He was chasing her. And uh, look at that. His foot was uh, <laughs> over the boundary line. But three runs added for St. Anthony's. And this will be a free hit. Kamidu Shehan just managed only a single of that free hit. This is uh, the T10 tournament between uh, four premier Catholic schools in Sri Lanka. St. Peter's College, St. Joseph's College, St. Anthony's College, Candy, and St. Benedict's College, Cotahena. And this is the third place playoff between uh, St. Benedict's and St. Anthony's. If you are just joining in on this live coverage, Saints Quadrangular Tournament, this is day two. Mamadakil middled it, but straight to the middle of field. Uh, Kamid Dushayan was off for a single, but um, Akhil was, was not interested in it. What was your um, recollections? 
during your school days were you also involved with the cricket you played in this or was it uh, an old boys affair then yes i thought this is uh, usually an old boys affair that will be played end of Four. november that's running down the boundary that's the second boundary for mama dakil should have been the third but uh, nevertheless St. Anthony is off to a brilliant start in this uh, third place playoff. Viharatta Nayaka. Sometimes uh, luck favours the brave. Mamadakil, he was aiming for that extra cover region. They'll take anything which comes their way. Yes, Arita, again, um, this tournament usually happens between the old boys of all these four schools but uh, because this is the centenary uh, for St. Benedict, uh, St. Peter's College rather just a single only for Mohamed Akil the uh, old Peter Wright Sports Club uh, have uh, taken great strides in organizing this for the present boys as well the old boys uh, tournament will happen end of November that will be a uh, an interesting battle as well where some of the uh, national players, domestic stars of all these four schools will take part. So generally, each of these schools take the battle and the mantle of uh, organizing this. And Mohamed Shea, Kavidu Shea, rather, that's the first six of the ma match. He timed it to perfection. I said three overs thirty. They have got there in two overs. That's the intent. Interest of the match. Good stuff. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. Probably the best over to be bowled now. Shenal uh, Samarutuka picked up three wickets uh, in the previous game. He has picked up a couple before that. Good with the bat too. Remember the brilliant catch he took yesterday. Very talented player, multi uh, skilled all rounder. Didn't time it, Mohamed Akil. But nevertheless, another couple of runs. 31 for Nolos in Anthony's College. They'll be ruining the fact that they couldn't uh, play this uh, brand of T10 cricket yesterday in the first two games against St. Peter's and St. Joseph's, which they lost. Yeah, one of the key factors was uh, Lahiru Abesinger's inability to get uh, going. At least another couple. They don't get uh, to two. They would be disappointed. They won't get to two. Kavindu Shehan, if he bats for another couple of overs, you could uh, rest be assured that uh, the mid-wicket square leg area will be very much in focus. Both the openers are on uh, 14. Beautiful. Good cricket all around. But uh, looks like uh, he signaled the to the umpire that um, he went over the boundary line. That's very good sportsmanship. That's uh, Sharujan Shanmuganathan, the fielder. Don't we know his father? Yes. Uh, Son of uh, Nathan, Shanmuga Nathan, a very ardent um, supporter of Sri Lanka cricket and a very uh, talented photographer as we speak. Uh, both these players have crossover for another couple of runs. Kavidu is now on 20. 
I like I like the way they are progressing, uh, Damit. Uh, this is exactly what I wanted, but uh, they have gone even better than what we have expected. We are looking at 100 runs now. Good over so far for St. Anthony's College. All these four schools, uh, Haritha, they've uh, produced plenty of uh, very talented cricketers to the national setup as well as the domestic setup. That's uh, what uh, these four Catholic schools have done over the past. And Kavidu Shehan gets another boundary. They are racing. St. Anthony's College, what a start. Three overs completed, 44 for no loss. It's on fire, heart speeding faster, hopes rising higher, lights go far and wide. St. Benedict's themselves, when they got to 116 for 6 uh, in that uh, game against uh, St. Joseph's, and uh, which they won, uh, the power play session, they scored 41 without loss. And against them, St. Anthony's have put 44 on the board without any loss. You were talking about uh, the uh, contribution to Sri Lanka cricket. Uh, the plethora of captains uh, from St. Joseph's, um, Tisara Pereira, Dimut Karnaratna, Angelo Matthews. Did I miss anybody? Three of them. And there were some uh, really express bowlers as far as the Petra is concerned. Sarudan Sanmaganadan, predominantly a wicket keeper in uh, two-day cricket uh, or 50-over cricket. But now in this uh, T10 third place playoff game, he is uh, rolling his arm over. They scored 44 runs in the power play, which is a, a very good uh, feat by these two players. S we were talking about something, something around uh, over 90, Haritha, but I think uh, they now can um, get to somewhere around 105, 110 if they continue this momentum. Another poor ball from uh, Sharujan, just a single. You've got to be very smart uh, on the boundary line. If you do a good pickup and return, it's only a single. But if you just do a little bit of a miss, that'll cost you an extra run. Okay, don't take a false start. coming onto the bat very well you could uh, trust the bounce it's a good track the batsman the batter is actually they're looking at the, the first uh, opening stand of 50 runs we've seen uh, half century partnerships all right plenty happening on the two days multi-sport event the same squad wrangler Oh, yes. That's a massive six. Probably hit the um, ice cream uh, lorry there. <laughs> so let's take a look at that shot. And he knew the line which he will bowl. Yeah, that's a massive six. He's not a regular bowler, you mentioned. This is... Uh the result what will happen but at least he's uh, just gone for nine with that uh, six 
he doesn't concede another one they would consider him okay outside edge just another couple of runs runs are flowing here for St. Anthony's College Candy four was completed 56 for no loss Teja Singh Harambo Pana Singh Harambe Gemma Gemma Tamai The officiating umpires for day two of uh, the Saints quadrangular since 1963, mind you. Uh, Hasid Jaya Singh, uh, Chamin De Pereira and uh, Janaka Bamunu Singh. The um, two scorers, uh, Nilan Tahirat and Dilanka Sandarwan. Match referee is Upali Varnapura. The match adjudicator is uh, Suranjit Dharmasena. Huge task. Hare Nolagama. He'll uh, be bowling the fifth over for St. Benedict's College. Coming to Shehan, cutting it uh, to the deep uh, cover field. Uh, just a single. Well, Lakuma didn't play in the previous matches. So, giving the youngster a chance. Can he be a star? They pick up uh, a wicket and break this opening partnership. It's threatening the bends big time. He didn't uh, judge it properly, but uh, Mohamed Akil gets his uh, second six. This is an excellent start, Tarita, for St. Anthony's College, Candy. So this should be the eye-opener for the Joes and the Peets for the final. To be positive from the start, this is absolutely mayhem over the first five overs. Unforced errors too. I'm glad for the Katukas to the boys. It's a long way to uh, come down to Colombo and uh, get back probably today. Let them enjoy at least the last two games. They've played to their full potential. We've spoken uh, a lot on the limited overs and what uh, this uh, tournament will help them to, uh, towards that limited overs tournament. Uh, Harita, with the weather now uh, uh, getting better in Colombo and the outskirts, I think uh, the school's association will uh, make a run arrangements to uh, have the quarterfinals and all these four teams are in the quarterfinals in the tier A and tier B uh, segments. That's cheeky. Just a single. Yeah, the only problem was that uh, there was a, another um, weather forecast that mentioned that there may be a low depression building up uh, outside of the country that may probably um, affect uh, the interior areas over the next uh, few days. Hopefully that will pass away. The domestic uh, inter-club uh, season is also 
Slowly drawing to a close. Oh, big one. Big one. That's a far area. He clears that. Akhil. Hare Nolagama has conceded yet another six. Brilliant cricket this. And it's a huge hitting. May have overstepped. No ball. He heard the call early. This ball is a wide. The highest partnership of the tournament thus far. Brilliant cricket all round. That's the end of uh, five overs. And Anthony is 76 for five. St. Anthony's College Candy, 76 for, five of, 76 for 9 after 5 overs. One of the best starts uh, of the tournament. The highest total after 5 overs in this tournament so far. Norma Dakil and Kavindu both have batted extremely well. And the uh, St. Benedict's bowlers they have had no answer to this onslaught. Akil on 33 and Kavindu on 30. Joining with me is Ranjika Pea. Ranjika, one of the best starts of the T10 tournament. Brilliant start indeed. This, uh, this looks to be a massive total on the cards for St. Anthony's. That's tickled away. Ball is running down to the fine leg boundary. Another boundary for St. Anthony's College. Leg buys, but it won't matter. That takes the score to 80. Drifting down uh, the leg side, Kojita. Hitting that, uh, the hitting the pad of the batter and rolling away through the fence. Uh, you know what this will do is uh, for the Pete Wrights who will be batting first in the final. This match will play in their heads and they will look to score in a higher pace than the usual way. So. They should be mindful. It's this is a separate game, and that's a new game. They should be mindful about uh, how they approach, despite whatever that Saint Anthony's will score at the end of the ten overs. Yes, indeed, uh, Ranjika, and especially the uh, Benz bowlers. They bowled second in the earlier game as well, and now once again they are bowling. So probably a bit drained out as well. The Antonian uh, batters, on the other hand, they have uh, pounds on it really well. And they have run between the wickets really well here. Five fours and three sixes so far. A lot of extras were given as well uh, by the Benz bowlers. They did a brilliant job uh, during that uh, final encounter of uh, round one. Nearly uh, defended that uh, total of 88 from... Uh, being in a position of uh, going for the final out, get that Ranjika, absolutely brilliant, improvised that uh, stroke brilliantly well, Kavindu, did it go all the way? The umpire is asking from the field, uh, some support, look at this movement, before the ball was delivered, he moved uh, towards uh, the offside and just guided the ball towards that bacon fine leg region. Brilliant betting from Kavindu. Nine runs from this over so far. She went down the ground. Kavindu. There was a slight moment that they were thinking about a second run, but they decided against it just at the end. 
we had just uh, 150 in this uh, tournament so far from uh, Sharon Kannangara when uh, played a huge role in that uh, win for St. Benedict's College against uh, the Josephians. This is Akil able to find the timing or the gap. Only a single is possible. St. Benedict's College at one moment they had a really good opportunity to qualify for the finals as well, uh, Ranjika. But uh, now they are playing in the third place encounter. We will talk about that after this break. St. Benedict's College 87 for 9. St. Anthony's College, 87 for none in uh, 6 overs. This is the third place encounter of the uh, Saints Tri Quadrangular Tournament 2022. We have only one game of cricket uh, remaining after this run, Jigger. The big final between uh, St. Peter's College and uh, St. Joseph's College. Going to be a thrill, isn't it? Definitely. It's going to be a thriller between those two sides. Hard rivals going against each other. Always a treat to watch. They run into the attack for the Benz. Kavidu is in a mood to go after every delivery 17 balls for his 35 surely behind that uh, half century in this over and the spin is in favor of him he river sweeps finds the gap ha oh, what a knock from uh, kavidu he has played all around uh, the wicket using the pace at moments and just powering through the shots this time using the pace and uh, piercing that offside field perfectly to find the fence. So what I'm wondering is, uh, Ron Shigar, where was this intent during the earlier games? Because it's not that the uh, fence bowlers are bowling badly, they're bowling well, but it's just brilliant batting uh, from these two youngsters, Akil and Kavindu. A partnership of 92 in a T10 game with 3.4 overs to go as well. Swept away, unable to find the gap. <coughs> Kavindu, a busy cricketer. Even if he can't get it to a boundary, always tries to look for runs, the singles and the twos. He's always ready for a second run, isn't he? Kavindu. Striking at a rate of over 200 at the moment. Here's Akil. Tries to hammer it away towards the leg side. Can't find the gap, only a single. Seven runs from the over so far. A run rate of over 14. Fairly good over, given the context of the game. Only going for seven runs in the first four deliveries. Need to finish strong. May one. Another reverse sweep this time. Does not middle it. Only a bottom edge straight to uh, the third man fielder. Just seven runs from this over. Mewan needs to finish well here. Nicely whipped away towards the leg side. Coming back for the second, will complete it easily. Nine runs off uh, the seventh over. So then there is 96 for none.
is the third place uh, encounter in the uh, T10 tournament of the uh, Saints Scott Rangular 2022. So now College for batting first, 96 for Nolos at the moment. Akil on 37 of 23 deliveries and Kavindu on 42 after facing 21. Maintaining a run rate of just below 14 here. Chaturya, skipper into the attack, went for 12 in this first over. That's ball him. First wicket for the Benz. Mohamed Akil's uh, with Crick Ginning comes to an end. 38, 37 of uh, 24 deliveries. It went on with the arm, cleaned up uh, the leg stump. But a brilliant knock, brilliant supporting role for Kavidu. And uh, he has to walk back to the pavilion. Mohamed Akil gone for 37, St. Anthony's College 96 for 1. Through here for uh, St. Bendix College, and uh, it's his keeper Chama Chaturya who manages to get that first wicket to break the partnership. With the wicket, <coughs> out comes the uh, skipper for the Antonians, Lahiru. It was Lahiru who took the game away from uh, the Benz during that uh, final encounter of the group stage. Hammered a few lusty blows to take the match completely away and that also ended the uh, hopes for a final berth for St. Bendix College. A little fumble gives uh, Lahiru his first run of the first ball he faced promoting himself up the order here's another well timed stroke from Kamidu but the fielder has enough time to cover the ground Going to complete the double, takes him to 44 of 22. Staggering strike rate of 200 runs per 100 balls. Pretty and knock this uh, from the left hand. Only a single. Brings up the 100. 100 for 1 in 7.4 overs. They have 2.2 uh, overs remaining. That means 14 deliveries. St. Bendix College registered the highest total of the tournament so far. And ran 16, which they scored against St. Joseph's yesterday. On the bounce, uh, too long on. So good over from Chaturya. Only going for five runs in his five deliveries. Needs to finish strong. I have. Think uh, Kavidu will look for the maximum in this ball. Tossed up. That's high in the air, but uh, lands safely. They are coming for the second chance at the strikers in, but the throw was just a bit astray for the keeper. Nevertheless, good two overs from the bench to. Uh, Cut back uh, the run scoring after the 8 over, it's 103 for 1. It's on fire, hearts beating faster, hopes rising higher, lights go firing one. Uh, 
there's been a really good uh, comeback by uh, St. Benedict's College during uh, the latter half. In the first five overs, they gave away 73 runs. And in the next three, only 30 runs have been scored by uh, St. Anthony's College. So they'll be hoping to make sure that they continue on this and uh, minimize the target as much as possible. Chanel Samaratunga, the all-rounder, to deliver his final low, went for 15 in his first. That's the top edge, the ball is running away towards the third man boundary. Kannangara will cut it down, keep it down for just two runs. Sharon Kannangara, of course, have, will have a huge job on his hands when he comes out to open the innings for St. Bendix College. He'll have to play a similar type of inning which he scored, uh, played against uh, St. Joseph's yesterday. He absolutely dismantled the uh, Joe's bowlers. Only, only a single in that occasion once again. Good start to the over from Chanel. Went for plenty in his first over. 15 runs to be exact. So far, good over to start off. Uh, Little games being played, <laughs> pulling out at the last moment. After seeing that initial move from Kavidu, yes, Chanel. That's uh, not timed perfectly. So another single. This is good from Benz. Uh, they are keep, they're dragging it back. In this last uh, couple of overs and this one as well. What they have done is on sugar that they have uh, managed to dry up the boundaries because uh, during the first five they scored boundaries at will and uh, scored the ones and the twos quite easily but it has been a really good effort by them but this is the skipper Lairu just as we were saying that they have dried up the boundaries Lairu the skipper for St. Anthony's has scored a six a huge one continues from where he left off during that earlier game Using the long levers, uh, Lairu. Having enough legs to clear the long on boundary. First maximum for him. First boundary after a long time. In the last couple of overs, there weren't any boundaries. This was uh, pure power from uh, the left hand. Lairu. Mason Chanel tries to repeat the uh, same stroke but unable to get the uh, connection manages to steal two runs after an inside edge Lairu, someone with a lot of experience an experienced campaigner for St. Anthony's College he has played uh, first class cricket as well uh, Ranjiga He's not bowling unfortunately because of an ankle injury. End of the ninth, uh, it's 116 for one. Final over of the uh, first innings of the third place playoff in the uh, T10 cricket tournament of the uh, Saints Scott Rangula 2022 is Vihar the left arm pacer. St. Anthony's College will be looking at somewhere around 130. Now at one stage, it looked like they will score in excess of 140, but uh, the Benz bowlers, especially the spinners, they have uh, managed to pull it back a bit. Esvihara. Hairu. 
It will go for a boundary. A really good start to this final lower. Probably didn't go where he intended it to, but the final result is anyway a boundary. So Lairu will take it. It's almost 120 with five deliveries remaining. Good cameo here from the captain. 18 of eight deliveries. Kind of still standard on 48 but the non-strikers in he's an underage and that too will run to the fence fortunate in that occasion Lairu second boundary of this last over pure luck uh, in that occasion though Bowlers have been punished in this inning. Sometimes 24, the highest uh, score in this T10 league so far. We have four deliveries to go as well. Can uh, the skipper find some more boundaries? Doesn't get the connection he requires. Will he get back to two? No. Only one run is possible. So Kavindu is on 48. Well, he get the opportunity to score a 50 here. You had only one so far. Yes, Kavindu facing we have three balls to go. And he's unable to uh, find the connection needed. Only a single run jigger, so he'll be on 49. Just two deliveries remaining. Lairo will be going for the big one for sure in this ball. That's a high ball. Chaturya with the catch. And uh, that's the second wicket in this Antonian innings. Lairo. Walks back uh, for 23. Well played innings. Much needed impetus uh, for the Anthonians. And a good running catch from skipper Chaturya. There's a brilliant take by uh, Chaturya to dismiss his opposite number. So St. Anthony's College 126 for 2 as uh, Lairo Abbasing and the skipper departs for 23 with just one delivery to go. Speeding faster, hopes rising higher, lights go firing wide, then Matamai! Last ball coming up. New batsman on strike, which means Kamidu will be standard in 49, but a wonderful knock from the opening batter. Ran well, hit the ball hard, and gave the perfect start for the Antonians. Can they finish strong? That's lifted towards the Long on fielder who gets in the, the throw, but uh, it misses the stump because they complete the couple at the end, which means they reach 128 for two in the 10 overs. Brilliant, brilliant innings from uh, Kavidu. Deserved a half century, but uh, wasn't meant to be 49 for him. I really didn't get much strike during the last three overs, Kavindu. He was unable to find the timing which he did really well uh, during the first five overs. Here's the scorecard for St. College. A brilliant opening stand of 96 between uh, Mohamed Akil and Kavindu Akil. Departed for 37. And uh, Kavindu unbeat not 49 now after facing 26 deliveries. Skipper Lai Robert Singer with an important cameo, 23 of 11. And Nathisara faced just one delivery at the end. I scored a two. So, 128 for two. Uh, St. Anthony's College after their 10 overs, the highest total of the tournament. In the bowling department for St. Benedict's College, Chatur took one for 19, and uh, Vihar Atanayaka took uh, one for 19. Rest of the bowlers going for plenty. As you can see, a lot of uh, comrades going there to the uh, double digit mark. Only two wickets fell, a partnership of 96 for the first one and the partnership of 30 for the second wicket. 
and a total of 17 extras one wide four leg buys and 11 no balls and one by so at the end of 10 no overs and Anthony's college 128 for two and St. Benedict's College they need 129 in that 10 overs to win this third place playoff highlights of the innings uh, the master class innings from Kamidu started off well and he had good support from Mohammed Akib the left and right hand combination working in favor of uh, the candy side they had a slice of luck in certain occasions but more often than not it was just brute power and timing from the left-handed Kavindu who uh, scored all around the park he was innovative he used the pace in uh, some some occasions and maneuvered the field really well by Mohammed Akib of course favored that cow corner region scored scored couple of uh, maximums towards that region but uh, there you go Kamidu using the pace in that occasion and here the reverse sweep made to good use this was the first wicket to fall Mohammed Akib skipper Chaturya getting that wicket and then uh, Lahiru skipper Lahiru came in got a couple of blows away added that uh, final bit of impetus uh, needed in the innings to uh, propel them over the 120 mark he too was dismissed uh, in the last over but he did his part this was a wicket good catch uh, from uh, skipper Chaturya unfortunate for Kavindu to uh, be stranded on 49 but he did his job and uh, the team will be really happy with what they have achieved and Benedict Seed 129 runs to win of 16 balls we'll have the response uh, in a short time and to remind you that uh, the all important final of the T10 uh, tournament uh, will be between St. Joseph's College and St. Peter's College that will be after this game so stay tuned to the powerplay.com and we'll go to a short commercial break at the other side we'll have the reply from uh, the St. Mendes College ஒளிபரப்புடாங்க <laughs>
तेजसी नारंग पाना सिंह के गेम the excitement real time be up to date with it all let us capture your milestones get it sizzling hot off the turf hear the experts break it down dig deep into the nitty gritty be inspired by their greatness relive all the scintillating action रेडी ओली बरापु याल पाने तेले मातर कोटे भी लगाम पिया सटा भी लगी सिद्धदास एट मोरटू अफ ये कमा माहिंद राज पर स्टेट डांगे पिलक कुमार हाल सुगदास इंडो स्टेडियम इज द फॉक्स इल सुपर क्रॉस रूना एगल सिटी एटुगल पुरवरे बाबरी डॉट कॉम अपिया देवली नी नोरेलिय प्रदेश फाइनल शोडाउन कैंडी स्पोर्ट्स टॉप पर नरु live back at the St Peter's College grounds for the third place match in this T10 competition St Benedict's College versus St Ant St Anthony's College we saw a blistering performance from the Benedictine batsmen they posted 128 runs in their 10 overs it was fearless and very positive batting from the Antonians St Bendix need 129 in 60 balls it's an uphill task but it's not impossible all the hopes of the Bendix Titans lie on Sharon the hard hitting opener he can clear these boundaries and if he clicks he can go here are the patriots getting ready for that all important final against st joseph's college jo should thank uh, the antonians uh, for getting them into the final yes all the merits should go to the antonians and there you see on the pictures the josephians getting ready 
Here we are. And the Bendik Titans uh, start their reply with a boundary. Indura dropped it short and Vidunet says thank you very much. A start like this is needed. They're chasing a very uphill battle here. 129 in 10 overs. It's going to be very interesting. Indura bowling from the pavilion end. Boundary follows up it with a single. It's the highest partnership, uh, the highest team total. All that uh, coming up. Missed out on the second uh, individual 50, Kavindu Shehan. Was stranded on 49, not out at the end of that innings. Really unfortunate for the young man. He battled throughout the innings. He served a half century, but nevertheless, he has got his team to a very formidable total. The Kavindu Shohan uh, remained 49, not out. He's not on the field. He was quick all right, but uh, lost his direction. Ratnasiri is keeping wickets, usually bowls. Saran Kannagara is the only batter to uh, get to a half century in this tournament. If you just uh, consider the bowling, a uh, lot of them have uh, picked up three wickets. But uh, I would like to stay with the hat trick of uh, Mudit uh, Disanayaka. Mudit Disanayaka. Even Shenal Samaratunga picked up three wickets. It's a near impossible chase, to tell you honestly. See if they could get to 100. It's not going to be easy. The Antonian Knights will have to be very disciplined with their bowling. Just three balls in this over and uh, they're giving away nine runs. That's a big wicket. Benedicts lose one of their top run scorers. Sharon has to walk back to the pavilion. Was going for that big shot, but just couldn't time it. An easy catch for the St. Anthony's captain. Mind you, it was in the air for a long time, uh, so. He had to get uh, right underneath it. Sharon Kannangara just departs for one. Teja Singh Harambapana Singh Yanke Gemma Gemma Tamai Losing early wickets in a chase like this is not the best thing.
And the BC batsman Chanel has walked out to the middle. Yeah, in the same match against uh, Benedict's uh, Siobhan Daniel and uh, Chanel Samarutunga picked up three wicket holes. Chanel has a responsibility in his hands. And in the previous game against the same opposition, he picked up a second three wicket haul. They can't uh, simply be uh, in a position to settle down at any stage of this innings in his run chase. So it's a lottery actually. That's the end of the first over. St. Bendix 11 for 1. like it's this wreck to bowl the second over he has been pretty impressive don't you think how the with his bowling yeah he's a wicket taking option but uh, he can go for some runs too but with uh, Kanangara out of the uh, equation and uh, Samarthunga carrying an extra burden this may benefit by picking up wickets. Drops it short but pulled away nicely from Vidunet for the for a boundary that ball was meant to be hit race his way to the boundary and follows it up with a single Scoreboard is ticking, but it needs to tick away. They need runs and they need runs quickly if they want to win this game. He was out without scoring in the previous match uh, with Unit uh, Wilson, but uh, 22 and 19 at the top of the order and the middle of the innings. He's uh, shown a tendency to uh, get on with the game with the right uh, attitude yes he looks a very busy batsman runs between the wickets very fast he threw the ball from the canal end took a chance with that one Basing a tall chap just evades him. Samaratonga wanted that clearance, just clears uh, mid off. Still the batting power play in force.
slight appeal from the wicket keeper and the bowler. He slotted in uh, two dot balls. <coughs> dot balls are gold for the bowling side here. Each dot ball, the run rate creeps. That's the end of the second over. St. Bendix College uh, 21 for the loss of one wicket. So Lahir Wabe Singh, the captain, uh, opts to bowl uh, into a gallop at a gay back to back. He's looking for that wicket of Chanel, who is the more dangerous batsman in that batting lineup. And as we told, he has responded to his captain with the wicket in his very first ball of his second over. Chanel has to depart. A bouncer which hurried and a comfortable catch for the wicket keeper. And that's the end of Chanel. He goes for six. Two of their best batters and uh, the best hitters uh, back in the pavilion. Uh, Indura doing the right thing, Galapitagi. Picking up uh, the top two wickets. Vidunet uh, Wilson, uh, who opened batting, he was their wicket keeper. He joined by Shanmugnadan Sharujan. And that's the end of Sharujan. He comes and he goes. Very first delivery he faces. Sharujan has to depart. And he goes for a golden duck. St. Bendix in a spot of bother here. 
Indoor on the other hand, he's on a hat trick. We have seen a hat trick earlier from Mudita Disanaika. Coach at Himsara joins uh, Vidunet Wilson. He's seen the procession of wickets fall now. The hat trick delivery is a dot ball. So he started this over really well. Not given any runs away. And taken two wickets. Two big wickets of that Benedictine batting lineup. Swing and a miss. Well, he was quick on that occasion. It's a confidence showing now. All of a sudden, they become uh, very effective bowlers. Pulls it away for a single. Coach it uh, opens his account. Senur Kalpana, who is the substitute in place of. Uh, Regular wicketkeeper Kavindu Chehan, who is uh, not on the field. Bowls that one just wide away. He has to finish his spell here. And a wonderful spell of uh, two overs for Indura ends from three for 13. And St. Bendix College at the end of three overs, they are 24 for the loss of three wickets. They will struggle. The bowling power play. Anyway, good thing for St. Anthony's. They've come a long way. They played two good matches. Maybe against the same opposition, but two good wins. The other hand. Uh, Benedicts, uh, they have something to uh, cherish themselves, having beaten St. Joseph's. Two good bowling performances by Chanel Samaratunga, a solid batting performance by Sharon Kanangara. All these teams have played good cricket during these two days. T10 is something new for these boys. And it has been a brilliant experience for them 
as players. Goes on with the arm there. Beautiful delivery. That should have been a catch. Did he just uh, spike it over for six? Just ran over. And a caught and ball for Charuga, nevertheless. Almost collided with his keeper. But holds on to that catch. Look at that, both coming. But that's all right. The catch is being taken and Kojit has to walk back after a brief stay of seven runs. Wickets have been uh, going down in regular intervals for the Bendik Tines, which is not helping them at all. And Vidunet has been the lone warrior in the middle. I wonder whether he would bat through the innings. So the captain is uh, in with his team in dire straits. And Chamat gets on rather Vihara. And that's the end of the fourth over. St. Bendix, 31 for the loss of four wickets. Thirty-two for four in four overs. Then Bendix haven't helped themselves to get that total at all. They just haven't turned out. Akil to bowl from the pavilion end starts with the dot. The mere formality of uh, just bowling out to the overs.
current run rate at 7.92. Don't look at uh, the required run rate. For a Benedictine fan, that looks daunting. Brilliant. Couple of runs taken there. I think right now for the Bendix and it should be just batting out these 33 balls remaining. And getting as much of the runs you can get. And that's another one. Another one bites the dust. And it's 35 for 5. It's plum in front. This time it's Viharatanaika. First five overs, first five wickets. And the Benedictine captain walks out to the middle. Chamath Chaturia. Brilliant over from Mohamed Akil. Final delivery. The batsman crossover for a single. That's the end of five overs. St. Bendix 37 for five. College 37 for 5 after 5 overs in a really really bad posture on here chasing a huge total didn't get the uh, start that they were looking for especially with uh, Sharon Kanangara heading back to the pavilion early in the innings there's never when easy does they need 92 more runs With Ned Wilson, he's on uh, 16 of 9 deliveries. He opened the inning actually, but five wickets have uh, fallen on the other end. Yes, with Ned, cuts it away for a single. Joining with me in commentary is Ranjuga uh, Pera Ranjuga, not what uh, St. Sebastian's College, uh, St. Benny's College uh, wanted. I mean, they were doing really well yesterday, but uh, today. It has been a real disappointing effort. Lost the first game, and here they are staring at a situation where they will probably end up in the fourth position out of the uh, teams. Yes, unfortunate indeed. Uh, it was a too big a target to get uh, chasing in a 10 over league. Concealed too many runs. They were sloppy in the field. Overall, they just uh, lacked the intent compared to what uh, St. Anthony's had when they were batting. 
So paying the price at the moment. Simply going through the motions now, uh, St. Benedict's College. 88 needed of 26 deliveries. 25 deliveries, uh, rather. That's a good shot, uh, but uh, safely covered by the long off fielder. Saruga delivered that over really quickly. End of the sixth, St. Benedict's College. 43 for 5, they need 86 more runs. It's on fire, hearts beating faster, hopes rising higher, lines go firing wide. Emma Tamai! Required rate of 21.50. Momo Dakil. We didn't see him bowling yesterday and uh, during the first game as well, but the Antonian skipper has decided to uh, test the other bowlers. His uh, secondary bowlers in the uh, lineup, the opening batter, but uh, beautifully with the net. He moves to 20 as the uh, score, moves to 44 for St. Bendix. With more than 20 runs per over, so if they are to get anywhere closer to the startle, they need to just uh, keep hitting, keep finding those boundaries. It's another solid hit, but uh, there is cover in that region. On the bends up, uh, no, it looks looked like that they were depending too much on uh, one or two batters that was the That's uh, a big hit with them. and that will uh, go all the way for a six helped over rather from the square leg fielder he couldn't time his jump in that occasion here's a replay of it short delivery with the net hang hung back and uh, hit it well enough to uh, beat the field on the fence. And that's a dropped opportunity. Vidunet Wilson gets another life here. And that was a dolly. Can't afford to miss those opportunities. Vidunet Wilson, he was all ready to walk back to the pavilion. But here. It's a good shot down the ground. The batsman Ara cut running back for the second, and that's gone. This time, no chance whatsoever. Brilliant bit of fielding from uh, the deep fielder. The suicidal run he was expecting. He didn't expect such an accurate throw from the deep, but he was right next to the stumps. Here we go. Take you like this once more. He was slow to start off with. We do not. And you can see he's already struggling and the throw was just next to the stumps. The bowler had a simple job to do. Vidunet has to walk back for 27 since it's in Mendix College 53 for 6. Teja Singh Halimba Pana Singh Yangi Gemma Gemma Tamai Vidunet Wilson it's safe to say that his uh, luck ran out really quickly. He waited that uh, first opportunity which he gave away. Thanks to that uh, dropped opportunity. But then the next delivery straight away. He got run out. It's uh, Mevan Disa Naika, the new batter for St. Bendix College. Ms. Mohamed Akil, 1 for 15 so far. They get a single to end the uh, seventh over. Benz 54 for 6 after 7 overs.
Just three more overs to go. Anthony, St. Anthony's College. Just need to ball out the next three overs uh, safely in a tight manner to finish uh, taking the third place in the uh, T10 tournament of the Saints Quadrangular 2022. And uh, coming up next, we have the uh, big one the final of the T10 tournament between the Ash Rivals, St. Peter's College, and uh, St. Joseph's College. So much Chatur battles it away for a single. Skipper Chatur. We've been disappointed uh, of his uh, team's performance in uh, today's games. They did well yesterday to beat uh, St. Joseph's College. They were just a win away from making it to the final round. But Lairwa Basinger came in, hammered them to all around the park to win that earlier game. deliveries to go. Magic Dance, six wickets down. After the six wickets down, 56. Skipper Chamat Chaturre tries to go back for the second. He will get there safely. He moves to 10 with uh, those two rounds. delivery once again runs have dried up completely it's almost beyond reach uh, of the Benedict Tynes at the moment 71 needed of 13 balls they need 6 uh, every ball if they are to win this game it's highly unlikely another suicidal run but this time the throw was not uh, quick enough and the batsman safely through for double after 8 overs is 60 for 6 College 60 for 6 after 8 overs, chasing a mammoth target of 129 set by St. Anthony's College in this uh, third place playoff of the T10 tournament in the uh, St. Scott Rangula 2022. Kavisha to bowl the ninth. Here's the left arm spinner, Kavisha. Dancing down the track, uh, but only a single. No, they're coming back for the second. Direct hit would have been gone. But it wasn't meant to be. Chato there. Desperate drive, dive uh, at the non strikers in. It's a replay once more. Loud appeal as well, but uh, the batsman will way down the track. There was no chance that uh, could have been given out. Close call once again. A direct hit would have been the dismissal of uh, this keeper of uh, many times. Shatura 
There's nine deliveries remaining now. After this, uh, we will have the finals of the T10 tournament, and also we have the Rugby Sevens uh, finals coming up after that between St. Peter's College and uh, St. Anthony's College. Just going through the motions, both teams. Just. Uh, Way out of reach uh, for sure from the Bendik teams. It was the game was well over after the wicket off uh, Vidunit. That's bowled him. Skipper departs. Sanchaturi walks back uh, for 13. There's been a dominant display from the Anthonians in this uh, third place playoff. They've dominated both with bat and ball. The pass for 13, St. Mendes College, 65 for 7. It's on fire, hearts beating faster, hopes rising higher, lights go fire on them. We have one more delivery remaining in this uh, penultimate over. Kavisha has pulled fairly tight lines here, has not given away any room for the batters to free their arms. Five runs on a wicket. Johan Samuel, the next batter, batting at number nine. And that's a doll delivery to end the ninth over. St. Mendix College, 65 for seven. Yes, Trevin Matthew to deliver the final lower. Single to start off. And Anthony is will be disappointed that uh, they couldn't bring up this uh, this similar performances in uh, the first two games uh, against St. Joseph's College and St. Peter's College. Otherwise, uh, they would have fancied their chances reaching the finals. And even maybe uh, winning the quadrangle, the quadrangular trophy. Let's bowl him. Another wicket uh, for Trevin Matthew. Played around it all. The Bendik time. And he has to walk back. Boundary against the run of play. First ball, Johan faced. He whips it uh, towards the leg side. 
Boundary after a long time uh, for the Benedictines. This drag from way outside the off stump. Good timing on that shot. Misses this one though. Once again trying to drag it from the offside. There's two more deliveries to go. St. Anthony's College, they have uh, clinched the third place of this uh, T10 tournament. St. Mendes College on the other hand, unfortunately, have to uh, finish taking the fourth place and that's the end. Comfortable 58 run win uh, for the boys from Candy. A dominating display by them to beat uh, Sam Bandis College twice. Two matches. A really good performance. And that uh, opening partnership actually uh, laid the foundation and then the bowlers did the rest by striking at crucial moments and not letting the uh, dangerous players of uh, Sam Bandis College like. Sharon Tannangar and Sharon uh, Samaltunga to fire up the order. Just needed uh, beginnings from Kannangar, especially at the top, but he was dismissed for one. Vidunet uh, tried his be best uh, for his 27, and like I mentioned, Shanil and Sarujan also getting dismissed uh, cheaply, costed. Finn Benedict's. Uh, College uh, in their run chase, ultimate reaching just 70 runs for the loss of eight wickets. Idur, the pick of the bowlers for uh, St. Anthony's College, taking three wickets for 14. He was uh, he actually had the opportunity to play a hat trick at one moment as well. This is a ball is two overs, uh, none for 16. Charuka one for 14. Moma Dagu, the surprise bowler who uh, finishes two overs, one for 16. Uh, the regular spinners, Kavish and Praveen, was just one no each and took one wicket for five runs, uh, both of them. There were not much uh, notable partnerships uh, for uh, St. Mendes College. The best partnership in this uh, innings is 17 runs for the uh, sixth wicket. So there were four extras, four wides, uh, and at the end of the 10 overs, St. Anthony's College on, were only able to score 70 runs after losing eight wickets, chasing a target of 129. Started off with the boundary with the net, but uh, this was a big breakthrough. They needed Kanangara to fire. But he was dismissed in the very first over for a, for just one run. And then uh, Vizunet once again tried to keep going. But uh, he didn't have the enough support from the other end. This is Vigor of Chanel. The very next ball, Sharjan Samuganathan was also dismissed. So it all fell apart uh, from there on uh, for St. Bendix College. There was no coming back. Few uh, drop catchers in the field, but overall their catching was good. Apart from uh, a drop catch from skipper Laheru Abe Singh. Yes, uh, Vidunet's uh, run out. Unfortunate for him. He was dropped in the earlier ball. And this time he was uh, judged short of the crease. Train Matthew got a wicket uh, in the last over. Johan uh, got that boundary away against the run of play. But that's all that they could muster in this run chase. Uh, as an Anthony's dominated proceedings from the word go. And uh, won the game comprehensively at the end to secure second place, uh, third place rather, in this uh, Saints quadrangle. St. Anthony's College winning by 58 runs, the third place playoff.
Coming up next, the uh, big finals of the uh, T10 tournament of the uh, Scott Rangula 2022 between the arch rivals St. Joseph's College and uh, St. Peter's College. We didn't see the uh, complete action of the uh, two teams during the uh, first round game. And also, uh, the basketball tournament finals will take place between uh, St. Peter's College and uh, St. Bendix College. So, So uh, we will give you the live updates uh, from uh, that basketball tournament finale as well. The basketball final in the uh, St. Scott Wrangler tournament 2022. St. Peter's College who won both their games uh, in round one will face uh, St. Bendix College who defeated St. Anthony's College in the other game of the first round to qualify for the finals. real time be up to date with it all let us capture your milestones get it sizzling hot off the turf hear the experts break it down dig deep into the nitty-gritty be inspired by their greatness relive all the scintillating action ஒளிபரப்புடாங்க <laughs>
ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನ ಆರಂಭ ಪಾನ ಸಿಂಹ ಯಾಕೆ ಕೆಮ್ಮ real time be up to date with it all let us capture your milestones get it sizzling hot off the turf hear the experts break it down dig deep into the nitty gritty be inspired by their greatness relive all the scintillating action ಅಡಿ ಒಲಿಬರಪು ಯಾಳ್ ಪಾಣತಿಲ್ಲ ಮಾತ್ರ ಕೊಟವಿಲ್ಲ ಗಂಪಿ ಹೆಸರ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅದಿ ಸಿದ್ಧದಾಸ ಅಟ್ ಮೋರಟುವ ಯಗಮ ಮಹಿಂದ ರಾಜಪಕ್ಷ ಕ್ರೀಡಾಂಗಣ ಕಿಳಕ್ಕು ಮಹಾಣ ಸುಗದದಾಸ ಇಂಡೋ ಸ್ಟೇಡಿಯಂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಾಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸೂಪರ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಕುರುನಾಗಲ ಸಿಟಿ ಅತುಗಾಲ್ ಪುರವರ ಪಪರೆ ಡಾಟ್ ಕಾಮ್ ಅಪಿಯಾ ದೇವಿಲಿ ನಿ ನೋರೆಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರದೇಶ ಫೈನಲ್ ಶೋ ಡೌನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಡಿ ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲಬ್ ಪರ್ನರುವ ಚಾತಿಕ್ ಸಂಕೀರ್ಣ ಸಿಟ final of the SAN Quadrangular Tournament, the T10 competition. St. Joseph's College taking on the host, St. Peter's College. We are bringing you these live pictures from uh, St. Peter's College grounds. So we are all set uh, for the final to begin. St. Peter's College won the toss and uh, they decided to bat first. They are unbeaten in this competition. They beat uh, St. Benedict's College. They, they beat St. Anthony's College and uh, The game between uh, St. Joseph's and St. Peter's in the round robin stage was ended without a result because uh, of bad light yesterday evening. And uh, the Detroit basketball team, they are unbeaten too. They are preparing uh, for their final with uh, St. Benedict's College. Good to see these, uh, all these uh, players. Uh, from uh, different uh, sports are they getting an opportunity yes yeah, this multi sports event is uh, a good uh, opportunity for um, even the papare to to cover and uh, haven't the uh, petrides uh, qualified for the sevens final too in rugby yeah so uh, all three finals and peters are playing with three uh, the other three schools st anthony's in the sevens final st benedicts in the basketball final and st josephs uh, in the cricket final so um, we will have uh, the sevens final after the uh, rugby uh, sevens final after the cricket final is over rather because um, you can't have cricket and rugby at the same time at st peter's college but still this is an excellent facility for sports yeah it uh, it has improved uh, over the years and uh, i was speaking to uh, peter decker he mentioned uh, something like 170 million that's a lot of money but it's well worth it on a good day for sports it looks magnificent and uh, when people like you come and uh, give this live coverage and the live streaming it looks brilliant 
Owen Salgado will uh, take strike for St. Peter's College. Gagan Jamod, the uh, seamer for the Josephians. Starts off with a wide Gagan. St. Joseph's College um, for the last couple of seasons had uh, Mithira Tenur and Deshan Seneviratna opening the bowling harita. So uh, Gagan Chamod very in inexperienced, I would say. And uh, But he's been there in the setup, yes, hasn't he? He was uh, always in the setup, but then these crunch games, the finals, good for them, good experience. These two teams uh, will uh, probably take on later uh, in the season uh, when they uh, play the big match. So it's uh, always good to have them uh, play each other before the big match. Doesn't happen very often. I don't know how the draw is, but uh, I'm really looking forward to the semi-finals of uh, the uh, limited over schools. I don't know how the quarterfinal lineup is. Sadly, these two won't be uh, playing that because St. Peter's is in Tier B and St. Joseph's is in Tier A. They still haven't. Oh, is uh, it? Oh. They still haven't um, finalized the dates. More than uh, the dates, I, th I think uh, St. Peter's definitely should be in Tier A, but then uh, because of what happened ah, ah, for ah. COVID, they couldn't uh, still have that relegation promotion uh, for tier A, tier B at least. As the first runs of uh, the final, it didn't time it well, Salgado, just a single. If, uh, if the Peter Wrights are looking at the total um, close to 90, I think uh, Vishen Halamage needs to bat sensibly. He got a 20 in a previous encounter, but he needs to bat with a little bit more responsibility. Such a good talent, shots all round. Do you think uh, 90 would be a good total to chase for the Joes? Yeah, definitely. Since it's a final, uh, Harita, we would, might not see 120s, 130s being scored in this T10. Another wide by uh, Gagan. Needs to be careful. Long overs like this could hurt them. <coughs> Down leg side, big time. Officiating umpires for today's play. Hasit Jayasinghe, Chaminda Pereira and Janaka Bamunu Singha. Match referee is Upali Varnapura. The match adjudicator is... Uh, Suranjit Dharmasena, a scorer is Nilanta Herat and Dilanka Sandar one through the day. That's a massive six by Vishen Halmage. He's a powerful striker, this boy. He can take apart uh, any bowling attacks in this uh, school circuit, uh, Haritha. Just as you said, he needs to bat sensibly. Look at that. Beautiful. Not many can uh, play that well on their back foot. He needs to bat with uh, some sense and some responsibility, as we always mention. Play your shots, but uh, shot selection, play safe for a while, not be reckless. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Straight to Amara Sekara, another single. See, when uh, Lahiru Abe Singha was performing for St. Anthony's, they looked a totally different outfit. Imagine 128 runs in 10 overs at any level. Well, it was not Abe Singha who was the top scorer, though. Akil Mohamed and uh, Kavindu Shehan, a near 100 partnership, 96 runs, the biggest in the tournament.
single to end the first over in this final. No, it's a no ball as well. Gagan Chamod. This is a very uh, lengthy first over. Nine balls now, as at now. Two wides and this no ball. Pali Varnapura, son uh, Malinda Varnapura, captain uh, St. Peter's. So that the reason uh, for the no ball was he um, disturbed the stumps. Of that uh, his uh, front foot was uh, beyond the line. If not for the proper cameras, we wouldn't have uh, never noticed that. That's why it's so important and uh, that's why we appreciate uh, what you do with uh, this sort of uh, sports. Favorable end uh, for Gagan in what would be uh, an expensive first over. 12 for Noel or St. Peter's. Yenula Devutusa will uh, share the new ball for St. Joseph's College. If you are just joining in uh, on this live coverage, this is the Saints quadrangular tournament T10 uh, competition. This is the final. We have the basketball final yet to begin. St. Peter's College taking on St. Joseph's College in the T10 cricket competition final. And then in the basketball competition, St. Peter's College taking on St. Benedict's College. And later on, after the T10 final is over, we will have the Sevens Rugby final, St. Peter's College uh, taking on St. Anthony's College. St. Peter's College, the host of this tournament organized by the old Pete Wright Sports Club in uh, celebration of uh, 100 years for St. Peter's College. They are the host this season, uh, this year rather, for this competition. This is the present boys taking part. Later on in November, we will have the pa old boys also uh, taking part in these three sports. Yenula Devutusa, the main left arm spinner for St. Joseph's College this season. Yeah, we were talking about the match referee Upali Varnapura, his son, Captain uh, St. Peter's, Malinda Varnapura. Pali himself uh, played for Anand. He started his club cricket with Liberty, played for Nomads and uh, also for NCC. The mercantile uh, tournaments, he was a member of the Browns group team, an umpire, and uh, present day is a match referee, much sought out. A rare dot delivery. In T10 cricket, uh, if you can sneak in a couple of overs without conceding uh, boundaries, or bowl uh, dot balls that's very good from uh, the bowling side We're going for the second sent back by uh, Halamage just a single so far three deliveries just two runs by uh, Devutusa you're talking about uh, the containment this is what it's all about well bowled so far this is the power play in progress first three overs only two fielders are allowed outside the 30 yard circle they're going for the first run hard good bit of fielding from uh, Rishma Amarasinghe out there in the deep Halamage naturally an aggressive batter He'll be eyeing for that uh, deep into that uh, long on uh, boundary. Needs to be uh, smart now, Devutusa. He's bowling wicket to wicket, that's very good. See, after that uh, very long and expensive first over by uh, Gagan, Yenula's uh, approach has been good, sensible. Controlled 
Peace. End of the second over, St. Peter's 16, just four runs off Devutusa's first over. 16 for Nola of St. Peter's College after winning the toss and electing to bat first. Lahiru Amara Sekara will uh, bowl from the new pavilion end. This will be the over Halamba game. Will target Haritha for sure because uh, last over in the power play, an off spinner helped turn the ball into him. You have to be careful because this is a wily bowler, Amara Sekara himself. The last. Uh, Innings when he made 22, he really got uh, hold of Amar Sekara. It may not be the story this time around. He's not giving any uh, to that uh, cricket ball, Haritha. He's going to fire it in. Slight change in the field. Gets that uh, short fine leg fielder to the backward point region. Giving some more protection for his... Uh, arm deliveries which he's gonna concentrate on that line and length Vishen Halamage he punishes it much needed boundary for St. Peters well played too just dropped short all right but he was very quick to get into position take a look at this perfectly balanced as he made contact That's the chief guest. We know that John represented Sri Lanka. I've uh, worked at uh, Sri Lanka cricket in uh, multiple roles, selector, manager. I'll tell you, Damit, uh, when he was bowling here with uh, Ramesh Ratnayaka, it was uh, breathing fire from both ends. But I also remember another Wonderful bat call, Mohan Ratnakuma from St. Anthony's. Katugastha to score a double hundred here at this venue. Against that attack. Yeah. These four schools playing in the Saints quadrangle, Haritha, have uh, given a lot to sports in Sri Lanka. Couple of runs to Salgadu. Yes, uh, the uh, president of the uh, Old Peter Wright Sports Club, Ashley Fonseca, along with the uh, Old Boys Union president, Ravika Fernando, accompanying uh, the chief guest, Vinodhan John. St. Peter's College eyeing all three trophies here, which is on uh, uh, over here. Part of the overall championship, all three separate trophies. Straight, hit straight to uh, Siobhan Daniel. Two dot deliveries to end the third over. St. Peter's 23 for no loss. I'd like to uh, add a word about uh, Suranjit Dharmasena, who is the uh, match Ajit Kesa. Played for Thurston, played for Nomads and Tamil Union. And uh, he also was a member of uh, the Hatton National Bank team during their golden days. Represented Lanka Lions, uh, played for the United Arab Emirates. He was based in Dubai after his uh, domestic career. Plays a lot of uh, 
Masters cricket. He has represented uh, the country in uh, the World Masters uh, tournament in South Africa. Heady all round. Uh, captain uh, had National Bank and uh, Thurston as well as uh, Lanka Lions. Good choice. Maybe Peter Decker, who plays uh, Masters cricket, invited him to do the job for this. Interesting choice uh, by uh, captain Sadish Jayawardena. Gagan Chamod, uh, he'll be bowling his second and last over. He went for 12 in the first over. Now with the field uh, being allowed to spread around the field. Father, what do you reckon about this decision? Uh, these two players will love uh, to uh, take on the seamers. Good first ball from Gagan. It was an attempted Yorker. Yes, there is a plus and minus. The plus is uh, for the rest of the season to give the boy the confidence. Um, Dylan Ramanayaka, we know what he can do. He was at BRC when I was in charge of the cricket. Um, he loves to take uh, challenges. But uh, it can go the other way, Damit. You know how uh, it could work. But uh, to give the boy the confidence with his extra pace, well, that's another thing. Two runs for Salgadu. Assisting uh, Dylan Ramanayaka is uh, another Josephian, former Josephian captain. Dinal Dambarge. Poor piece of fielding from Alahiru Amarasekana. Allowed the two batters to uh, go through for the second one. I knew his father, Chris Dambarge, in the media. Good soccer player. The Josephian bowlers have been able to keep them under 8 runs per over so far, Harita, which is good from the Josephian point of view. They still have 10 wickets in hand. And when you, when you mention that run rate, you must also mention that uh, the first uh, power play 3 overs was also during that time. Sadish Jayawardena's uh, decision to bring back Gagan Chamo to bowl that fourth over has worked for the Josephians. Vishen Halamage is castled. Good Yorker. He wanted that uh, wicket, Halamage. He's gone for 15. That's the first wicket down for St. Peter's for 27 for 1. Rusan the Gamage, the new batter for St. Peter's College, another talented young lad. Now two left-handers in the middle. What's the bet, Harita? Soon after Gagan's over, is over. They'll bring the off-spinners. They have plenty of off-spinning options in Joseph's College. But Gagan Chamot, what a comeback from him. You must appreciate uh, Sadish Javardana's uh, confidence and the bowler's um, confidence to keep uh, that uh, in the right perspective. Yeah, he was bowling everywhere in the previous uh, matches. But this is a final. That's a different story. Just as we were praising Gagan, he bowls the first wide of this over. Yeah. Can be an asset for St. Joseph's College as the season progresses. Also, Harita, for the last uh, 
half a decade i think uh, the school's cricket association haven't uh, played the t20 tournament the all island schools t20 tournament that won't uh, happen I, i don't think i don't see it happening in the near future but personally my opinion is that uh, these youngsters should be uh, thrown into the deep end some might argue that it's too much cricket that's gone dear oh dear st peter's college sadish javardana failed to collect it in the first attempt ovin salgadu saw that and uh, he called in for a run here's the replay look at that ovin went for it sadish javardana bullseye captain that's the second wicket that's a bonus wicket for st joseph's college salgadu departs for eight runs phase 12 deliveries st peter's now 28 for 2 tejasin halambo pana singhayangi gemma gemma tamai nimitha gunawadana is the captain and uh, he comes out the right hander has struck well he has bowled batted and fielded very well for his team but now joes uh, on a high yeah this is the time they could uh, sneak in some um, quiet overs sorry the two new batters in the middle brilliant over from uh, gagan two wickets with a run out just five runs of uh, his second over st peter's four overs completed 28 for Sadish Jayawardena has uh, called on his uh, former captain Shevon Daniel who captained uh, in the 2021 22 season Sadish is the captain for the 2022 and 2023 season Shevon Daniel Sri Lanka under 19 cap is predominantly known for his batting but now he has a job to bowl a few quiet overs and pick back this uh, peter right innings 3 for 11 his best bowling in the same match scored 33 but ended up on the losing side that uh, means i think we must take this opportunity to thank uh, sir anthony and sir benedicts for an excellent uh, display in the t10 tournament they produced some outstanding uh, performances the two top scorers 63 for Sharon Kannangara 49 not out for uh, the wicket keeper unfortunately he couldn't complete his uh, half century Kabindu Shehan Shevan was it Yes the Antonian wicket keeper batter Kabindu Shehan another misfield that's uh, Rishma Amarasinghe uh, allowing uh, Nimuthu and Rusandha to get that second run we s- we saw what uh, fielding can do to teams yesterday the perfect example haritha so especially in these uh, short format games fielding plays a pivotal role another miss field but nevertheless no harm done yeah shenol samarutunga two three wicket holes in three matches the brilliant catch and also two good knocks of over 20 this is turning out to be an uphill task for the beat rights shivan daniel even though he is known for his batting uh, 
especially in uh, 50 over cricket uh, and uh, even if it's 20 over cricket uh, he can bowl in a uh, couple of uh, overs he's a very talented part time bowler yeah, the bowler and uh, the wicket keeper Sri Lanka youth internationals so Nantan is also fielded two youth internationals Travin Matthew and uh, skipper Lahiru Abesinga Single to end the fifth over, St. Peter's College after opting to bat first, 33 for two. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. Some uh, spectators have turned up uh, to watch the games. Uh. Parents, I believe, of uh, the Patriot camp. Yanula Devatosa back into the attack. Bowled a very good first over. Just went for four runs. Here's Usanda going for the slog sweep. Trouble, trouble. But uh, Jawadana doesn't have a shy at the stumps. No brilliant bowling effort from the Josephians. They're really up to the game today. Got beaten yesterday by the Benz. But today, they're really up to the task. But as we speak, brilliant stop from uh, the field. Mudita Disanayaka, brilliant stop, stopped a definite boundary there. Let's take a look at that one more time. Swept firmly, brilliantly done there, Mudita Lakshan. Disappointed that he couldn't hold on, but he did a good job. And that's <laughs> another wicket. Rusan Degamage has to walk back. He timed it perfectly, but straight into the hands of uh, the Josephian fielder. Iran Jayasundra with a brilliant catch to dismiss Rusan Degamage. One handed screamer from Iran Jayasundra. Trouble, the home team, the host uh, school is struggling at the moment in the finals. Coming into the game as unbeaten side. There are three wickets down in the fifth over, the sixth over rather. Sanse Gunatilaka joining uh, his skipper Nimutu Gunavardhana in the middle.
Starts off with a single, Sanche. The Six catch was taken by uh, Sahan Dabare. Beautiful catch. Yenula Devadusa has been very good in his spell here. Not giving anything away. Speed rides crossover for another single. The flow of runs have been not easy for the beat rides. They can't afford to hang back despite losing because they need to keep pushing on. These dot balls and singles won't do for them. Six overs gone, it's 37 for three. Teja Singh Halimba Pana Singh Hayangi Gemma Gemma Tamai Yenlo Devathusa ends his two over spell with excellent figures of one for eight. Lairu Amrasegar to bowl from the pavilion end. Crucial lower for the Peter Wright skipper who dances down the track. Once again, another stumping opportunity missed by Jayavardhana. He has been clumsy behind the stumps, the Josephian captain. Pressure on the Petrides. They need runs. They need quick runs. They need a big over from somewhere. That shot. Cut away. Brilliant bit of fielding, is it? No. The ball wins the race. It's a welcome boundary from the bat of uh, Sanjay Gunatilaka. A valiant effort from the fielder down there. Big stroke. Straight to the hands of Joseph uh, Enfield, uh, Mudit Lakshan. And the wickets keep tumbling, looking for the maximum, but does not uh, find enough power to clear. And Sanjay has to walk back. It's 42 for 4, St. Peter's College. Sanjay out for 5. And a left-hander, Shannon Rodrigo, comes to the middle. Here comes Shannon, starts off with a big shot, no timing whatsoever, just a single once again, this brilliant bowling from the Josephian attack, they are giving nothing away for the Petrites.
That's high. Is it long enough? It's long enough from Nimutu Gunavardhana. He breaks the shackles uh, finally. First boundary for him in this innings. And a much needed one for the Peterites. Walks towards the delivery and launches it out of the park. And follows it up with a single. And at the end of seven overs, St. Peter's are 49 for four. Mudita Disanaka into the attack. First over. This all important final. He has taken a hat trick in this tournament against the Saint against Saint Anthony's. Going to the Pete Wright skipper. Once again, brilliant bit of fielding there of his own bowling. That was hit hard. But uh, he reacted faster, Mudida. And got a hand to it and stopped uh, what could have been at least a double. This is sliced. And a misfield from uh, Shevon Daniel. Gets a boundary for Onimutu. The Pete Wright captain taking the attack to the Josephians. Shevon Daniel would have done better there. Once again, down the ground. Coming back for the second. This is danger, danger, danger. But the throw was a tad too high for Jayavardhana. He had to jump up and bring the ball down and that gave enough time for Nimutu Gunavardhana to get home. Good running from uh, Shannon as well, identifying that he must give uh, the opportunity for Nimutu Gunavardhana. That is sliced. This time, it's a direct hit and it's given out. Interesting replay, it should be, but it won't matter. Big wicket for St. Joseph's College. Uh, St. Peter's captain has to walk back. Let's take a look at that one more time. Sliced it. He wanted the second, he was uh, turned back. Let's take a look at uh, the replay. Can't see from that. It's blocked by uh, Shannon Rodrigo. But uh, the umpire had the best view and he deemed out. So Nimutu Gunavadana has to walk back. Gone for 18, it's 56 for 5. So 
we have basketball action coming from uh, the courts. Uh, St. Peter's College taking on St. Benedict's College in the final first quarter. In play. St. Peter's uh, favorite to take it. But uh, misses that basket in the early occasion. Benz uh, winning a foul will be uh, to the free throw line. Two shots for him. Back to cricket. Uh, St. Peter's College uh, in desperate need of runs. They at least need 75 to pose any sort of threat to the Josephian batting lineup. The fielding effort from the Josephian outfit have been really good. They've taken their catchers. They haven't given easy Yes, uh, Benz uh, in the offense. Back to cricket once again. Good bowling. That's the end of the eighth over. St. Peter's a 57 for the loss of five wickets. Shavon Daniel back into the attack from the pavilion end. Bowled a very good first over. Just gave away five runs. What would you think the ideal target, uh, Ranchika? Ideal target should be uh, at least 100 runs. But it's not uh, achievable at the moment for the beat rights. But at least they'll be targeting 20, 25 runs in the last two overs. Minimum. Run rate just around six runs per over. That tells you how well the Josephians have bowled this game. Only a single for Shannon. Two balls uh, gone, ten balls remain in the speed right innings. That's a full shot, full, full shot, full toss uh, from <laughs> Siobhan Daniel, but uh, just couldn't uh, time it last week. Another close call here. Got the bet just right on time. Josephine fielding unit has been on point here. And another run out. He had the presence of mind to go to the wickets without throwing it. And another one bites the dust for the beat rides. Brilliant. Smart play from uh, Shivon using all the experience he has internationally. Here's action once again from the basketball courts. St. Peter's College uh, in the lead, seven points to six. That's a nice cutout pass. Uh, to the number two jersey, gets the basket to extend the lead for the Pete Wrights. And cheeky from Siobhan Daniel there. Telling the batsman to stay inside the crease. 
That's hit hard. One bounce uh, to the long on fielder. Uh, no timing whatsoever from the pit right. Another big hit, but uh, there is cover at cow corner. So a brilliant over comes to an end. Only nine runs given away in his two overs. Shevon Daniel after nine overs is 61 for six. Once again, moving into the basketball action. St. Peter's College. Uh, with a narrow lead of three points, Benz giving a good fight uh, to the favourites uh, at the moment. Here's Benz with the ball. The switch of play, trying to drive through, gets the, gets the pass, uh, but does not get the basket. Now, going for the three-pointer. Does not get it. Good rebound from the Benz. Now they drive through, they have the support. Gets the two point. No, he doesn't. But the rebound is good from the Benz. Back to the cricket. Last over in progress. Mundi the Disana. Five balls remain. How much can St. Peter's take? However much. It's not uh, at least 15 runs. It's not going to be a game against the strong betting lineup of St. Joseph's College. Mudita running in. False start there from Mudita. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's a close call. The batsman thoroughly disappointed because. Uh, that call didn't go in his favor. Shannon trying to scoop it, but no chance with this line uh, that Mudithi is bowling. He must understand that the field is set uh, to bowl outside the off stump. So be if he wants to scoop it, he will have to move uh, further towards the off stump. So far, there's been a brilliant bowling effort from the Josephians. They're coming for the second. Another run out opportunity and that's gone. Easy as you like it. Brilliant, brilliant all round effort from the Josephians. They mean business and looks like the final belongs to them so far. Bang into the ground. It was slow to get out to get out of the blocks, and rightfully the throw to the striker's end. The runner not making the ground. Shannon Rodrigo has to walk back for five. Is 65 for seven. Depends on ultimate delivery, Muthu Disanayaka. Just one run, run Jiga. 66 runs on the board. They need a boundary here to get that. Uh, boundary won't do, uh, Luxacy. It's not going to be enough. It's a good pitch. We saw how Susan Anthony Sands and Bendix uh, scored in this pitch. 65 or even 70 is not going to be enough uh, against uh, 
one of the strongest batting lineups in the, the season. As we will need, they will need an extra special effort from their bowlers if they are to defend this. They're coming back for the second round. Looks like this is going to be another run out. Yes, it is. Another dismissal to end their innings. St. Peter's College, 67 for 8. After 10 overs, they have given a target of 68 runs. For St. Joseph's College, probably 25 to 30 runs short. A brilliant effort by all the bowlers of uh, St. Joseph's College to keep this St. Peter's batting lineup to a total like this. It's a batting card, uh, nothing much to speak of. Vishen Halambage, 15 runs for him. And then skipper Nimutu Gunwardana, 18 runs, 67 runs for 8 wickets in his 10 overs. Uh, way below par for sure for all the Patriots. When it comes to bowling, uh, for St. Joseph's College, Gagan took the early wicket, 1 for 17, Yanula 1 for 8, Lahiru 1 for 20, Shevon Daniel once again. Very economical, no wickets for just 9 runs, he has given away just 9 runs in his 2 overs. And uh, Muttadisa Naika, 1 for 12, a good effort once again by uh, Muttadisa Naika. That opening partnership was uh, 27, but after that there were no partnerships as they lost wickets in regular intervals. There were 7 extras, 4 wides, 2 no balls. So, they end on 67 for loss of 8 wickets in their 10 overs. St. Peter's College, St. Joseph's, they will probably back themselves to chase this down easily. 68 in 60 balls. These are the highlights. Vishen Halmbage started well. Then unfortunately for St. Peter's, he couldn't continue the same way. Scored a really good uh, 6 and then a 4. But after this moment, they really couldn't get any momentum. They really couldn't build any momentum. Well, this was poor running. It's around uh, four to five uh, runouts during this uh, whole St. Peter's innings. This was a really good take. Except for the odd boundary, now and then they really couldn't get going in that middle phase. Especially, there were no, there were really no uh, loose deliveries by uh, the St. Joseph's bowlers, isn't it, uh, Ranjiga? They bowled with discipline. They knew what to do and they executed their plan really well. The fielding was brilliant apart from this miss from uh, Daniel. Took the run out, charged the ball. They are accurate throws. Look at this. Directed from deep uh, long on. So they were up to the game and uh, they did not let uh, St. Peter's run away with it. Deservingly so. They have got themselves a chance to lift uh, the quadrangular cup here's another run out couple of run outs in that last over as well so St. Joseph's College they need 68 runs to win this T10 cricket finale of uh, St. Scott Rangula Tournament 2022. A required rate of 6.80. With the batters they have, they will definitely back themselves to chase this down quickly. Unless uh, the likes of uh, Shannon Rodrigo and the rest comes up with a brilliant bowling performance. They'll need, uh, they'll need a miracle to be honest, Ranjiga, to defend this. Definitely. We'll go to a short commercial break. At the other side, we'll have action from the basketball courts.
goes down. Welcome back uh, as we uh, begin the second quarter in the basketball finals between St. Peter's College and St. Benedict's College. Joining me at the com box is Tarushi. Welcome back to you. Welcome, um, Ranjika. So they played uh, the first quarter, St. Benedict's College and uh, St. Peter's College. St. Peter's uh, are in the lead 15 12. That's a foul. If we go to the uh, just foul on the beat right uh, defender. So St. Peter's come away with it. St. Peter's College is the position to number seven. Goes in, finds option number six and makes a three pointer. That with that three point, uh, St. Peter's goes up to 18. Good start to the second quarter from the Pete Wrights. It's a good drive from the Benz player but could not make the basket. Now St. Peter's with the ball. Once again, good drive from the number 10 jersey. And it's a foul as well. St. Peter's College. Oh damn, the foul. It's a rebound, St. Benedict's College. St. Peter's looking for options. Number seven dribbles away from one, but uh, the time is up, I believe. Shot clock uh, was over. So Benz with the ball now. Here's the number seven with a jump shot. Doesn't make the basket. Good rebound from uh, the Pete Wrights. Now the number 10 drives through, gets a basket. Brilliantly done there. Good strength shown by the number 10 jersey. Benedict Hines, number six. Hand to hand action there. Not good with the ball handling. St. Peter's, did they make it? No, that a miss, an unfortunate miss for St. Peter's College. St. Benedict's College, back with the ball. And he makes it. Costly miss there from the number 10. Pete Wright, number 10. It's an easy basket for him. Could not make it. But Pete Wright's once again now. That's his second miss, actually. Good block from the bench, uh, number one. Here he comes. Tries to go by himself, doesn't make it. Lucky break for the Pete Wrights. And they make the basket at the other end. They send in their lead uh, to uh, seven points, 21-14. An easy lead to cover. Sympathetic number seven draws a foul. Will he get two shots? Yes. This is his second shot. Will he make it? That's an unfortunate miss. Sam Benedict's College. Peters back with the push, back with the ball. Reply to get 68 to win. Josh should fancy this much. Starts off with a very quick single. They have so far been uh, very good. Ball striking uh, the player. The throw came in very quickly, Lakshisi. Yes, indeed, Harita. Doesn't look uh, good in the first delivery straight away. It's always not great to see a scene like this. Skipper Sadish 
Seems to be struggling. Oh, that was a hard hit. Really unfortunate. Full flush on his uh, face, looks like. Hmm. It's uh, threatening to rain later on. Hope uh, it wouldn't uh, make a big impact on uh, the rugby final. Bit of basketball action once again. It's in Benedict's College. Scores are 22-14. St. Peter's in the lead. Solid pass there from St. Benedict's College. Couldn't make it. Here comes Pete Wright, uh, the number six. Doesn't find a way through. Going for the three-pointer. Gets it. Nicely done. 25-14. Pete Wright on the attack. Here's the Benz. Gives away position cheaply uh, in that occasion. We are back to the cricket action from the final line. It's a no ball by uh, Shannon Rodrigo. They don't want this uh, Harita defending a really low total. It's a pressure situation with uh, Sadish uh, at the wickets. Uh, he would know when to apply the pressure and to apply the pressure straight from the start. That's what it's all about. Here's the free hit. Well bowled by Yashan and Rodrigo. Only a single, so can say that uh, not much damage done uh, during that free hit. You shouldn't be reckless in your chase. Especially when you're chasing a below par total high because they don't want to get them under pressure early on by uh, losing wickets by trying to go for too many in the beginning. The gap is just six runs uh, between runs and balls. So See, all you need is two good overs, tight overs. General you know, Devduta went for eight runs off his two overs. Shevon Daniel. Um, for nine runs off his two overs, that's what you need. Two good overs. And throughout the tournament, Haritha, Shavon Daniel was really economical. Looks like they will get back for a second. Yes, they do. Poor throw. Really poor. So the beat rights faltering in all departments now. It's a pressure situation. You've got to attack the ball. Oh. End of the first over, St. Joseph's College, 9 for Nolos, chasing a target of 68. Nine more runs needed of uh, 54 deliveries. This is the uh, finals of the uh, cricket tournament of the T10 cricket tournament of the uh, CN Scott Wrangler tournament 2022. Here's Sean Roberts. All a couple of uh, good spells during the first round games. Yeah, he was able to pick up wickets uh, from the top. But this is a different. Uh, Proposition altogether because the batters are in with a clear advantage, distinct advantage. It's getting dark very quickly.
Usually yeah. they stick. Ball was very nearly an opportunity, but no harm done for St. Joseph's College at the end. They get back for two. Good effort by the uh, Pete Wright fielder. San Dabare, who had a wonderful outing on the field, he took a blinder to send back to San Dabare. That was going down the leg side. And also the uh, height. Sean Roberts. A precious dog ball here. They need to pick up some early wickets, Haritha. Healthy pace. The batter was uh, beat for pace too. See what I mean? You need one good over. Put the pressure right back. Oh. Drop the catch and concede the boundary. Shannon Rodrigo, I think, uh, who dropped that opportunity. It was up in the air for a long, long time, Haritha. He missed the opportunity and to make it worse, it went for four. Yeah, he had uh, time to turn around. He didn't. Easier said than uh, done, actually. Sandabare lives to play another delivery or two. He's batting well out of his crease and uh, walking up uh, to the pitch of the ball. Trying to keep the ball in line with the stumps, uh, Sean Robert. Uh, nothing wrong with that. It's just that the batters are having such a big advantage. Javadana had a good hand on the field. So many runouts that he was involved with. End of the second over, St. Joseph's College, 18 for none. Here's uh, the basketball final. Good to get uh, the Pete Wrights uh, with a clear lead. Uh, they'll want to keep the momentum. St. Benedict uh, will have to play hard and uh, take chances with uh, their play on the basket. Joe's defending well. The Pete Wrights rather. Ooh. Unforced error. Get it going. Uh, good team play. Looks for support, gets one. They're not looking for the two pointers. They're just trying to toy with uh, the possession. Through. Yes, it was early 1914, Haritha, but they have scored 15 points on the trot uh, St. Peter's College. So they have managed to uh, get that lead up to 22 points now. We are in the second quarter of the uh, basketball finals. Yeah, with uh, this sort of uh, lead, uh, you really can't uh, make too many mistakes uh, as you go along. It's good. Um, they're looking for a clean sweep of uh, all uh, championships, but they are under pressure on uh, the cricket field. As uh, Nimutu Gunwadhan, the captain, brings himself on for the last of the power play overs. He's on to his opposite captain, Jawadana. Off his pads. Neat. No need to hurry. No need to take risks. They're well on course. Yes, sir. they have understood the situation really well, the uh, Joseph openers, because they have only scored one boundary and the rest of the runs, they have managed to get the singles and the twos really well. This Good hit. Clears the infield with comfort. Just short of the boundary at long off or wide of long off. Sahan Dabare receiving well outside off stump. Good shot. Got right underneath it. So he's playing the aggressor in this partnership. 
a single after the boundary. Brilliant stuff from the opener of uh, St. Joseph's College, Sahan Dabre. Complementing each other really well here. 24 runs into 15 deliveries. The partnership. Another misfield by the beat right. They're trying to get back for two. And they will get home successfully. Again angled across the batter. Pitching outside of stump. That's an invitation to go big. Halamage eventually sent the throw in too late. Can round the wicket. This is good cricket. This is sensible cricket on the part of the Joe's openers. They're not trying to go aerial all the time. The more runs you get, the lesser the required target. It gives you confidence, Laksisi. Yes, sir. The required rate is now under six, so they know they don't have to take risks out there. They'll score a single to end the third over. St. Joseph's openers going really well. It's 28 for none. They need just 40 more runs in seven overs. They have all the 10 wickets in hand. A really good power play for St. Joseph's College, chasing a target of 68. They have managed to score 28 runs in the first three overs. They scored just two boundaries uh, during those power play overs. Yeah, only uh, two batters uh, got to double figures. Vishen Halamage 15 and uh, Skipper Nimutu Gunawardana 18. But uh, the latter was one of uh, five runouts in the innings. He lost partners and him, he himself ran himself out. Vishen Halmbagay, the leg spinner. He'll be quick between wickets. Vishen Halmbagay strikes straight away here. Saham Dabare tries to go for the river sweep and misses it completely as he's adjusted LBW. There was really no need to play that stroke when they have all the momentum. The conventional strokes got them the runs, but here Sahandabare walks back to the pavilion after making the mistake of trying to opt for a river sweep. St. Joseph's College, 28 for 1. Going back. Going back to the uh, basketball action, St. Peter's College at halftime, leading 36 points to 14 over St. Benny's College, a 22-point buffer, Haritha. Yeah, the home team has uh, the height advantage, the weight advantage, so they've got the uh, speed advantage too against uh, the Bens. But a um, few uh, unforced errors that uh, really put uh, the Greens uh, uh, so far back uh, in the first uh, half of that game. Now coming back to the cricket, Chevron Daniel is the new batter, the danger man. Possibility that these two will uh, bat to the end of this game. He wasn't ready. Oh, look at that, he was nowhere near ready, Chevron Daniel. Yes, you shouldn't have against Shavon Daniel. Defended. They need just 40 rounds from 40 deliveries. Huge prospect.
confident way to get off the mark the left hander and as you said the huge prospect is in here class left handed batter has the power hitting game with him can bowl some economical off spinners as well as we show in halmagi good call could have been dangerous if he made the safe collection yeah a lot of people say that uh, he is one player worth going a long way to see on his day he could be a treat to watch no doubt about that halamage proving to be more than just a handful i was mentioning two good overs could this be one one run and wicket so far now he must make sure that he gets a good ending to this over short delivery all the way by uh, sadish jawardana only two runs so it's a really good over for st peter's college three runs and a wicket but still they need a lot more overs like that to defend this uh, total st joseph's college 31 for 1 after four overs change of fortunes uh, for the home team st peter has uh, walked into this uh, game uh, with a lot of confidence as the unbeaten side and um, st joseph's uh, into this final because um, st anthony's uh, had a big win against uh, st benedicts in the round robin stage and say joseph's college uh, harita they have made a really good comeback shavon daniel will they go back for two no they settled for only one no coming back to that points st joseph's college they got hammered to all parts of the ground by uh, sm bendis college yesterday cares of uh, sheron kannangara who made an impressive uh, 63 yesterday but since then they have bounced back they defeated uh, st anthony's college in their first game Yeah, the Cheron uh, Kannangara, highest individual scorer, the only half centurion of this tournament. Mudita Lakshan with his hat trick, probably the best of the bowlers. But uh, there were two three wicket holes for Shenal Samarathunga of uh, Saint Benedict's. He was the partnership breaker for Saint Benedict's College. Yes. Whenever there was a partnership building. the captain brought him into the attack yes kavika goes for the reverse sweep uh, shavon daniel and cheeky and successful lakshesh this is what makes him so different from a lot of others and whenever he opted to go for the reverse sweep uh, harita he has managed to make really good connection of it He once scored a six off a switch hit yesterday. That's the hallmark of uh, a great player. He'll push for two. Good understanding between the two. Jawadana playing uh, a good support role. these two will be quite a draw in uh, the school cricket season could have been winded a little bit uh, daniel he goes down the ground shivon daniel and it's out of the ground lost ball yesterday because it went uh, in that fashion into the canal and today too at 5 over st joseph's college 45 for 
They need just 23 more runs in the remaining five overs. ಮಾತ್ರೀಡಾಂಗಣ <laughs> Four piece of uh, fielding and uh, another four runs to St. Joseph's College. These two experienced players uh, should be able to finish it off for St. Joseph's College. Just as expected, cakewalk for the Josephians. We'll probably take another hour or two to finish things off. The two most experienced batters in the middle for the Josephians. No need for those uh, dangerous uh, twos uh, at the moment. They can take their own sweet time to finish things off. This is that massive six by uh, Chevron Daniel. Another one to the canal. I'm sure the organizers uh, will have to bring in more balls for the old boys game as well. Another couple of runs to Shevon Daniel. Oh, another misfield by uh, Nathan David. Allows the Josephians to go for another single. Rajiv, this is uh, pretty much uh, something like what we saw a couple of weeks ago at... Uh, Angamana grounds where <laughs> <laughs> the uh, <laughs> unbeaten team is uh, going to have a defeat in the final. That's a full toss uh, from Vishen. Does not connect properly. Jayavadana. If you are just wondering, it was the Papari Cricket League a uh, couple of weeks ago at the Angampitiya grounds. The unbeaten team suffered a defeat in the <laughs> final. It looks like uh, that's going to happen here as well. Shevon Daniel lofts it and looks like uh, he's out. No. The uh, umpire deemed it. Uh, he wasn't ready. Yeah, but he played the stroke, Ranjika. If he wasn't ready, he shouldn't uh, play a stroke. Second time that happened. Yeah, these two arch rivals. Yeah, the umpire is um, giving it the necessary time. Yeah, these two arch rivals, they have a lot of uh, in common. If, uh, remember. Spectators are not happy with the decision of the umpire. And Shevon Daniel wants the spectators to be shut. That's what he's complaining about. Uh, 
Aji Baji had a job it. It's not a new thing. But nevertheless, uh, umpire, he should be the one in control. Vishen Halamagi, he's uh, one of a character as uh, well as uh, Shevon Daniel. Also, uh, St. Joseph's nearing uh, a win over St. Peter's College. Uh, this year, it has been tough <laughs> for them to beat St. Peter's College in all <laughs> avenues of sports. So they are tasting, they are just uh, on the verge of tasting victory. They don't want to miss this one, for sure. The, the shouts continue from the stands, but the players are ready to get a move on. Looks like the coaching staff also doesn't want uh, the Pete Wright captain to uh, continue play. The decision to uh, deem it a dead ball. We don't have an idea about what exactly or why exactly it was uh, called a dead ball. Let's take a look at that one more time if we can. Here's the incident. Shivan Daniel. Before he played the ball, umpire called it a dead ball, Ranjika. But he still played it. From the umpire's point of view, I think he'll uh, stay with his decision. Let's hope sanity prevails and we can continue with the game. That's uh, Chaminda Pereira, uh, chief uh, organizer in this uh, Saints quadrangular tournament. So we'll uh, head into the basketball action. St. Peter's College. Uh, In the lead in this third quarter, St. Peter's 42 points to 22nd of uh, St. Benedict's. Pierce with the rebound uh, does not get the basket. The ball rolls away. It will be a Ben's ball, but uh, the deficit is uh, could be a bit too much to ask for from the Ben's. 42 points, 22. Here comes the Benz uh, with the ball. Looking for options. Uh, does the switch uh, to his support player. Goes for the layup. Misses the basket. Rebound is for the Pete Wrights. Good interception there from the Benz. Here comes Benz once again. The number one jersey this time. Fumble. Gives away position to the Pete Wrights. Trying uh, for that long cutout pass. Doesn't happen. It's Benz with the interception once again. Here's a young number seven. Good interception. Helter Skelter here at uh, the basketball courts. Benz uh, still looking for that basket. Driving through the middle. Gets a shot away. 
but doesn't get the basket. Rebound for the Peter Wrights. Looking for the three pointer. It's short. Benz with the rebound. They are coming away. And that's a uh, line out uh, for the Benz. Forty two points to twenty two. Benz with the shot and Peter Wright's uh, rebound. So twelve forty two twenty two it stands with four four minutes remaining in the third quarter. Yeah, I think uh, the umpires have explained themselves to uh, the Pete Wright camp. And uh, we are now back uh, with the cricket action. Even if it's a big match or the limited overs, if it's a rugby, football, whatever it is. If it's a Josephy and Pete Wright game, there's plenty of uh, tension, plenty of pressure. Last uh, over, last ball of uh, Halamagay's spell. Good spell from him, despite the circumstances. One for just nine runs, tossed up. Hit down the ground for a single. That tends to sixth over. It's uh, 56 for one. Captain Nimutu Gunawardana will bowl the seventh over for St. Peter's College. This is Alamage. Personally, I think uh, he'll be a good asset for St. Peter's College this season and the next season as well. Good clean striker and uh, with his uh, ability to bowl some uh, leg spin, good uh, handy player. They need wickets here, St. Peter's College, if they are to uh, turn the tables around. They're pushing for the second and uh, Daniel sends his captain back. <laughs> These two players have also have a bad history with runouts this season and the last season. Even yesterday there was a runout. Daniel was uh, caught short of the crease. 11 runs, single, two hits away. Shevon Daniel will fancy his chances against him with the Gunwardana. Not a big spinner of the ball. We'll probably opt for that uh, reverse hit. No, he doesn't. Yeah, poor, poor piece of fielding from the fielder there. He was in two minds whether to go for the catch or whether to uh, save the boundary. But in the end, he couldn't do either. Completely dominant performance from the Josephians. Seven runs needed. That's a biggie. He didn't time it well and he's gone. Last week Pereira, the uh, catcher that time. Daniel departs, he made 22 of uh, 12. As you were saying, Ranjiga, he wanted to finish it off with a bang, but I think it uh, hit the bottom of the bat. It's on fire, heart's beating faster, hope's rising. 
rising higher, lights go far and wide. Em up the way. New batsman Hirun Kapoor Bandar. We've seen plenty of uh, funny things happen in uh, cricket Ranjiga. St. Joseph's College, yes, they just need seven runs to win. But uh, they shouldn't do anything uh, unnecessary at this moment. I can assure you it won't happen today, Damit. It's St. Joseph's day to shine. And that's, exa that, that's exactly what they are doing. Dominant performance from uh, the Josephians in the final. Sadish leading from the front. 21 composed innings. He didn't uh, go for rash shots. He's just playing sensibly. And uh, he will be determined to guide his team over the line. See this one through. Six needed off 20 balls. Yeah, it was a very good... Uh Bowling effort from the Josephians. Uh, the bowling and the fielding. That's what's uh, going to help them out to win this uh, final. End of uh, the seventh over. 63 for two. St. Joseph's College chasing 68 runs. Mini huddle between the pit rights to uh, see who's gonna bowl this eighth over. Could be the last one. Yes, they're gonna bring in their premier seamer, Lakindu. Lucky to Sachin Samarajiva. Yes, uh, here's the beat right team, the rugby team, warming up uh, for the final, which will start uh, after the cricket is over. I cannot recall any other sporting ground in Colombo. This is the Anthonian uh, lineup uh, under the watchful eyes of their coach, Sumed Malavana. St. Peter's uh, Rugby, coached by uh, Sanath Martis. Ranjiga, I cannot recall a venue which has this facility of uh, playing uh, cricket as well as uh, rugby. Yes, both sports cannot uh, function at the same time, but the facility available here, massive. There's tennis and basketball to accompany it as well. Sadish Javadana doesn't get faced by pace that much. He's a good player of the back foot. Four runs needed now of 17 deliveries. Hirun Kapur Bandara. Banged in short. Good shot delivery from uh, Lakindu. I think he's uh, probably the fastest we've seen uh, from all four schools in display in this sales quadrangular tournament. Definitely hurried uh, Kapuru Bandar in that occasion. Dances down the track, gets a single away, gives the strike back to uh, his captain. Now the deficit down to three.
Straight to the field this time though. No direct hit from the field. Uh, unfortunately, there has been that kind of a day from the Patriots. They have been outplayed from all three facets of the game. And St. Joseph's College, deservingly so, are nearing a good win for them. In this quadrangular sector, they only participated in the cricket segment, unfortunately. But uh, they'll go home uh, with a trophy on their hands. And given good short delivery, aiming at the ribs of uh, Hirun Kapuru Bandar. Uh, not easy playing uh, good seam bowling, especially when it's uh, targeted at your ribs. The natural instinct is to put the bat to uh, avoid any uh, injury to the body and uh, it got the uh, inside edge. Kapuru Bandar departs for two. St. Joseph 66 for three. Teja Singh Harambapana Singh Harangi Gemma Gemma Tamai Here's the basketball action St. Peter's College clearly dominating 54-56 now, the St. Peter's uh, score, 56-24. Another short delivery to uh, Mudita Disanayaka, the new batsman. Eight overs completed, 66 for three. Action from the courts once again. St. Peter's College with a healthy lead of 30 points. And uh, in the third quarter, they're dominating proceedings against St. Bendix College. 54 points, 24. Here comes the Patriots once again. Looking for options number five. Going for the three pointer. Doesn't get the basket. But they're good with the rebound. Here's another taken chance. Doesn't find it once again. But the rebound is good from the Patriots. They come again. Comes number six to number four. Gets a jump shot. Misses it. Rebound is good once again. Using the height advantage. The Patriots with the rebounds. Finally managing to get the basket. Uh, 59 points 24 now in the lead. Here's Rodrigo. Yeah, scores are level now. 67 for St. Joseph's. Yeah, more than the betting, uh, Ranjik, I think the bowling and the fielding won them this game. St. Peter's uh, definitely were aiming for something around 90 to 100. And uh, Mudita Disanayaka scores the winning run. The Josephians, they are elated. This cricket team. This year in 2022, this is the first time they are beating St. Peter's. They lost the 50 over, drew the two day encounter because St. Peter's played brilliantly. They were the brilliant team in the two day encounter and the limited overs encounter. Yesterday's game couldn't complete because of bad light. And uh, in this final, St. Joseph's College, they've uh, beaten St. Peter's College, the home team, by seven wickets. Outplayed uh, by the Josephians, uh, but Patriots will be happy with their campaign, having uh, won two games comprehensively. And uh, with that, yesterday's uh, game ending with a no result and today in the finals uh, falling short of a champion side indeed with a lot of stars in the tank the Josephians leading 
right in front that man Shivon Daniel and Sadish Jawadana leading the way in this final especially yeah the bowlers did the job and the batters completed it but uh, there's always uh, excitement tension but uh, nevertheless uh, all these players th they'll uh, share a great uh, bond and friendship amongst them out of uh, the field Here's the Josephian batting card. Sadish, the captain, batted till the end and uh, scored 25 unbeaten runs. Shevon 22. Saham Dabri made 17. One wicket each for Nimutu, Vishen Halabage, and uh, Lucky to Sachin. Nothing much to speak of uh, from the bowling attack. Tried their best. But they were well short with the runs. <laughs> Looking at the highlights, uh, the fielding was disappointing for the Pete Rice. They needed uh, to uh, catch the chances, they needed to stop the boundaries, they needed to stop those twos. But that wasn't the case. It was St. Joseph's College dominated proceedings. Uh, Vishen Halabage, of course, chipped in with the ball, bowled uh, two economical overs, but uh, it was always going to going not going to be enough. Here's another big six from Shevon Denner into the canal, and uh, Vishen Halabage had some close chances. The fielding was disappointing, to say the least. Here's another instance like that, undecisive, and at the end, uh, Shevon Daniel was dismissed uh, after the whole drama with the dead ball lucky to Sachin bowled brilliant over but it didn't matter at the end here's the winning run celebrations elated Josephians finally getting the better of the beat rights this year and winning the game by seven wickets We go to a short commercial break. At the other side, we'll have action from the basketball courts and the rugby field. Some live action from the basketball courts of St. Peter's College. This is the fourth quarter of the final, the grand finale of St. Scott Wrangle. Vince, I've been stuck in uh, on 24 for a long time while St. Peter's run away with the game. Good drive there, but the shot is not good, unfortunately, for the Benz player. Here he comes again. Once again, missing the shot, but the rebound is good for them. Good block there from the number five, Peter Wright player. Benedict once again, jumper, not good. St. Peter's College gets a rebound. It advances. Here comes Peter Wright's number 12, driving through, earning that uh, foul. We'll go to the free throw line, two shots for him he says the first one
Gets a second. 72-24 now in the fourth quarter. It's Benedict's College. Interesting to see their outfit. Um, same outfit. Most of most of them are wearing the same outfit. I mean the design. Uh, it's just the colors which has changed. Good steal from the number 12, but he just couldn't uh, make the basket. Oh, he wins the foul. So he'll have a chance to uh, add two points. This is the first one once again. Missing uh, these, these points won't affect much for St. Peter's College because they are in the, they're having a good lead at the moment. Rebound was good and the basket uh, finally arrives for the Pete Wrights, 72-24. Just one minute to go, one minute and 20 seconds to go. It's Bedix College. Bit of pressure from St. Peter's College. S good steal by St. Peter's. And not good with the jump shot and makes another not good with that either. Benedict's College back with the rebound. Costly errors there. Two free shots for him. Twice missing the target. He has been taking their time. Number six. Going for the unthinkable shot. Not finding the target. Here comes Pete Wrights once again. Twist and turn, gets the shot on, but uh, doesn't find the basket. That's the end of the fourth quarter, ladies and gentlemen. St. Peter's wins the grand finale of St. Scott Drangle tournament. 74-24, St. Peter's College emerged the victory. Convincing win at the end for the beat rights. 74 points to 24. They win uh, the sales quadrangular basketball segment with East beating uh, St. Benedict's College with a healthy lead, 50 point lead at the end. So, easy win for the Pete Wrights. Full time confirmation it's 74 points to 24 in favor of the Pete Wrights. So only one game remains uh, in the Saints Quadrangular 2022. St. Peter's College taking on St. Anthony's College in the rugby final. It's the seventh uh, rugby final, which will kick off uh, in a short time. Yeah, we are all set uh, for the Rugby Sevens final. Sankirti Siri will uh, kick off uh, the game. Referee Aruna Shant will uh, have the whistle. That's the start. St. Anthony's College, can they go back to Candy with uh, some silverware? Good hanging kick. Good collection. No, says uh, referee Aruna Shant. Knock on. Luxe is here. St. Peter's College. 
they'll uh, be the favorites considering that they played well in the morning session as well against the same opposition yes indeed uh, damit they scored uh, 20 plus points against both the teams st anthony's college and uh, st mensings bendix college had really two two really easy wins uh, during the morning session to uh, register their place in the finals yes st anthony's college from the scrum can they be the team to score that first try in this all important final turnover ball st peter's college can they make use of this opportunity decide <laughs> decide to kick it so and this player he will win the foot race recovers the ball in time the ball is still available for st anthony's college a long pass can he outrun this impetus defender almost does it almost goes through two defenders yeah you can't go off your feet good call by the referee quick tap taken st peters they have the ball they have the numbers they have the position running in uh, they have uh, the penalty advantage st peters college now almost through just uh, no releasing by the antonian player well, yes the penalty quick tap taken and he goes over that's the first try for st peter's college the first break through of the uh, first half here yes, st peter's college went through the three defenders to score that first try the all important first try it's always important to uh, get that uh, first scoring opportunity in a final like this won't be an easy conversion this yeah if you're joining in on this uh, live coverage this is the saints uh, quadrangular tournament this is the final the sevens uh, rugby sevens final st peter's college taking on st anthony's college the conversion of the first try is not successful st peter's leading 5-0 So far, we've seen the completion of T10 uh, cricket tournament, which was won by St. Joseph's College. The basketball tournament was won by the home team, St. Peter's College. And uh, can they win this rugby sevens? They have uh, drawn the first blood. Good hanging kick. Not a good collection by the Anthony's, but they have uh, somehow recovered. They have to use the width of uh, the speed right field here's the antonian winger could tackle on him but uh, offload not successful sm peters college can they find the gap here the ball is still available for them no it's a turnover so now this college they have managed to turn it over and here it is they have the numbers they found that gap and it's the number 7 from st anthony's college who goes over for their first try jeffrey saki he is the try scorer for st anthony's college what a try that was malik shaperera with the offload and uh, jeffrey saki what a run usually a flanker in uh, 15s rugby but in sevens rugby he does the job can kirthi siri convert this and take the lead yes he does kirthi siri the uh, highest point scorer in the dialog schools rugby league which concluded a couple of months ago he's a good place kicker kirthi siri so st anthony's they take the lead can they go back to candy with a some sort of uh, consolation this trophy jeffrey uh, asking uh, for that side st peters let it bounce yes st peters college 
with three tacklers still with the ball in hand a good offload here and a good second offload the number 13 he goes inside finds the gap he's going to be a foot race can the number 13 from St. Peter's no he overcooks that kick he did everything right until that moment the number 13 from St. Peter's but they have the advantage here here it is did everything right until that moment so it's going to be a five meter scrum here in favor of uh, St. Peter's College yeah that was uh, Yumit Shihara number 13 for St. Peter's College St. Peter's College they need this try to get back into the lead Yes, captain, win the demel. Not legal. And uh, St. Anthony's get a penalty. They take a quick tap. Yes, Kirti Siri with a good uh, put in. It's a foot race now. Good run by uh, Roshan Kumara. And they get the penalty. He wants to take it from the mark. St. Anthony's have a penalty. That's Malik Shapereda. Gives it to Ravindu Vela Gedera. And St. Anthony score the second try. Dear, oh dear. St. Peter's. They are behind. Tyrone Maria Das, the winger, he scores the second try for St. Anthony's College Candy. All important conversion coming up. Could be the last play of the first half. Laksisi. Let's uh, wait and see what happens. Kirti Siri. What a conversion! This is why this guy was the highest point scorer in the Dialogue Schools Rugby League, which concluded this season. And that's the halftime. 14 points to 5, St. Anthony is leading. Sumedh Malavan, the coach, uh, could be a very happy coach at the moment. Not Sanat Martis. That's the halftime confirmation. St. Anthony is 14, St. Peter's 5. These are the highlights. That was the first try for St. Peter's College, scored by uh, Madugaspe. Then this was uh, Jeffrey, Saki Jeffrey's run. What a run that was. Kushan Tarindu tried to stop him but couldn't. Kirti Siri converted that. Then uh, just before the halftime whistle, Tiron Mariada scored the second try. And uh, with uh, Kirti Siri's uh, conversion, St. Anthony's took a 14 points to 5 lead here at uh, Bambalapitiya. We'll uh, be back with uh, the second half action. Hey, just in Harambe Pana, sing a yanki, Gemma. Gemma Tamai! Welcome back to the live action. This is the second half of the Rugby Sevens finale of uh, St. Scott Drangula Tournament 2022. We had two finales so far. St. Joseph's College clinched the T10 title and St. Peter's College clinched the basketball title. So. This is the final encounter of this uh, tournament. St. Peter's College looking for a double, while St. Anthony's College looking for the Rugby 7th title. A lot has changed since morning, uh, Damit, because 
in the morning session, St. Peter's College defeated St. Anthony's 27 points to 5 with a huge gap. But here, the tables have turned. Kushantar in the starting off, second half. Good collection and uh, chip. St. Peter's under immense pressure. But uh, Randir Pereira kicked it out. It will be a Peter Wright uh, throw in. Now the tricky thing here, Dramit, is that because of that conversion, that fabulous conversion by Keith Siri, St. Peter's, they have to score twice now to get the lead. Pranit Silva with the feed in. St. Peter's have uh, a knock-on advantage, but uh, that will be done now. Here's Keith Siri once again. That's... Uh, Roshan Kumara with that run. They are holding on to the ball well. Here's Jeffrey. St. Peter's putting some pressure in the ruck time. Hands in the ruck, says referee Arno Shanta. Saki Jeffrey gets it quickly. Randir Pereira. To Sahan Kirti Siri. Here's Malik Shapereira. Dangerous uh, runner with the ball. Kirti Siri with the ball. He's finding some space and he goes through. That's the third try for St. Anthony's College. These boys from Kandy, they are dominating here in Bambalapitiya. Kirti, Kirti Siri saw the space and uh, he put his head down and ran into the corner. What a performance, Damit St. Anthony's College. Putting the home team under a lot of pressure here. Walked into the second half with a nine point lead, and now they have increased it to 14. Keith Isiri. This will be another hard chance here. Surely he cannot kick from the corner flag. He's a very good, talented place kicker, but uh, so far he's had a great game. Nevertheless, St. Anthony's College, 19 points to 5. Can they hang on to this lead and uh, win this seventh uh, competition of the Saints quadrangular tournament? Four premier Catholic schools in Sri Lanka, St. Peter's, St. Joseph's, St. Benedict's and uh, St. Anthony's College. Can they take part in uh, three sports? Sevens Rugby, T10 Cricket and uh, Basketball. Basketball won by St. Peter's, Cricket won by St. Joseph's. Here's Kushan Tarindu. Backhand pass to uh, win the Dimel. Here's Pranit Silva. No look pass to Madugaspe. Dimel, once again, here's Kushan Taridu. He's a dangerous runner. Some s nice sidestepping. Gives it to Silva. Here's Suleiman, Ria Suleiman. He's been uh, tackled into the touchline by uh, Saki Jeffrey. St. Anthony's will get the ball. On our clock, there are still uh, three minutes remaining. Yeah, he clearly uh, touched the sideline that time. So, Anthony's College putting up a brilliant performance here. With less than three minutes to go according to our clock. They look like the favourites here. Coming into this match, it was St. Peter's College the more fancied side because of that uh, performance in the first round. Uh, they dismantled both the sides, St. Anthony's College and uh, St. Bendix College. But here in the all-important final, the Eagles have turned up and they have turned up big time. Now they have a 
lead of 14 points. St. Peter's College, they need two converted tries to tie the score. They need to find a scoring opportunity as soon as possible. Time on, says uh, referee Arno Shanta. Malik Shapereira. He's still waiting to uh, get the line out. Yes, St. Peter steals it. Pranit Silva gives it to win the Dimel. Yes, Kushan Tarindu. Yeah, he knocked it on. And uh, it will be a Pete Wright ball. Should have continued with the advantage, uh, Lux, you see. Kushan Tarindu, he... Uh, he was... Uh, I think he was... Uh, reminding the referee that uh, it was an intentional knock-on and uh, they were just <laughs> he was trying to get a yellow card maybe against St. Anthony's but St. Anthony's got the ball St. Peter's was uh, the one who was uh, penalized for knocking it yes Kirti Siri yes Jeffrey they have the numbers Ra Randir Pereira Loose ball. Yes, Kirti Siri. He scored one try already. And he gives it to uh, number five. That's uh, Roshan Kumara, who scores the fourth try. I think uh, that's the game for St. Anthony's College. Yes, I mean, that's the killer blue by uh, St. Anthony's College. Their fourth try. 24 points to 5. What a performance here. St. Peter's College, since opening the scoring uh, in the first half, they have failed to find the uh, try line here. Some good defensive work by St. Anthony's to go with their attacking display of rugby. Here's that try. Sahan Kirti Siri timed this pass perfectly. And uh, Roshan. Easy uh, work for him. 26 points to 5. Could be the last uh, move. But kudos to St. Anthony's College for turning it up in this final. He tries with the ball. And yes, uh, holding on to the ball. A penalty for St. Anthony's. Yes, Kumara once again, the try scorer in the second half. Kushan Tarindu almost steals it. Yes, Saki Jeffrey. He scored the opening try for St. Anthony's in the first half. Now with the ball, good offload to Kirti Siri. And he gives it to uh, Roshan for his second try. His iconic uh, jump. And uh, St. Anthony's College running away in this uh, seventh final. Brilliant support play from the Anthonians. Excellent stuff. Thirty-one points to five. St. Anthony's College. Now, Roshan had a good all Island Sevens tournament as well. Damit scored two hat tricks uh, during that tournament. Was one of the key players of St. Anthony's College. Yeah, that's it. That's the game. 31 points to 5. St. Anthony's College have won this Sevens uh, rugby competition in the Saints quadrangular tournament. St. Peter's College, they beat uh, St. Benedict's and St. Anthony's in the group stage, the round robin stage rather. St. Anthony's lost to St. Peter's, they defeated St. Benedict's but uh, in the all important final 
They had a great game, 31 points to 5. They've beaten St. Peter's at their home grounds. St. Joseph's College did not participate in the seventh competition. But St. Anthony's College, they've uh, turned up and uh, they've turned up big time to uh, take this uh, seventh uh, tournament final. Kudos to the old Petrite Sports Club for organizing this uh, Saints quadrangular tournament. We have uh, the three winners. St. Peter's won the basketball. St. Joseph's won the cricket. St. Anthony's College won the sevens rugby tournament. Yes, Lamit, uh, three winners in the three sports. You got to feel uh, sad for St. Bendix College. Here's the full-time confirmation. 31 points to five in favor of St. Anthony's College. Candy. St. Peter's College scored the opening try of this game, but uh, St. Anthony's College, after Saki Jeffries' try, they never looked back. So may the Malavana, the head coach, will be a pleased man. Here's that... Uh, Try from uh, Kirti Siri in the second half. Brilliant run by the fly half. Then it was uh, Roshan Roshan Kumara uh, scoring uh, his first try, and just before the final whistle, Kirti Siri's uh, pass here. It was initially Saki Jeffrey's uh, break, then Kirti Siri giving it to the winger to uh, complete the win for the Antonians. Five tries for St. Anthony. St. Peter scored only a single solitary try. 31 points to five, the full-time confirmation in favor of St. Anthony's College. So uh, we will have the award ceremony of the Saints quadrangular tournament coming up. Stay tuned to the thepopper.com as we will uh, bring uh, all the action from uh, the final presentation ceremony. real time be up to date with it all let us capture your milestones get it sizzling hot off the turf hear the experts break it down dig deep into the nitty-gritty be inspired by their greatness relive all the scintillating action Ready, 
Senegal City at Galpuravare. Favorite.com Apia Devil in Norelia Pradesh. Final showdown Candy Sports Club. Pernarwe Chatik Sankarne City. Tejasin Halimbo Pana Singhayangi Gemma Gemma Tamai the excitement real time be up to date with it all let us capture your milestones get it sizzling hot off the turf hear the experts break it down dig deep into the nitty gritty be inspired by their greatness relive all the scintillating action Ready, Oli Barapu? Yar paana thele. Maathar kote villa, gampiya sada villa thele. Sipudas at Moratua. Piya kama Mahindra Rajpal, Sri Dangal. Pilak kama hala. Sukadas Indo Stadium is at the Fox Hill Supercross. Thruna Agal City atu gal puravare. Favorite dot kama piya daivili ni Norelia Pradesh. Final showdown Candy Sports Club. Pernarwe Chathi Sankarne City.
ತೇಜಸ್ಸಿನ ಆರಂಭ ಪಾನ ಸಿಂಹಯಂಗೆ ಕೆಮ್ಮ the excitement real time be up to date with it all let us capture your milestones get it sizzling hot off the turf hear the experts break it down dig deep into the nitty gritty be inspired by their greatness relive all the scintillating action ರೆಡಿ ಒಳಿ ಬರಪು ಯಾಳ್ ಪಾಣತಿಲ್ಲ ಮಾತ್ರ ಕೊಟವಿಲ್ಲ ಗಂಪಿ ಹೆಸರ ಇಲ್ಲ ದಿ ಸಿಪ್ತದಾಸ ಅಟ್ ಮೋರಟು ಯಗಮ ಮಹಿಂದ್ರ ರಾಜಪಕ್ಷ ಕ್ರೀಡಾಂಗಣ ಕಿಳಕು ಮಹಾಲ ಸುಗದದಾಸ ಇಂಡೋ ಸ್ಟೇಡಿಯಂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಾಕ್ಸ್ ಸೂಪರ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಕುರುನಾಗಲ ಸಿಟಿ ಅತುಗಾಲ್ ಪುರವರ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಕಾಮ್ ಅಪಿಯಾ ದೇವಿಲಿ ನಿ ನೋರೆಲಿಯ ಪ್ರದೇಶ ಫೈನಲ್ ಶೋ ಡೌನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಪರ್ನರ್ವ ಚಾಪಿಕ್ ಸಂಕೀರ್ಣ ಸಿಟಿ ತೇಜಸ್ಸಿನ ಆರಂಭ ಪಾನ ಸಿಂಹಯಂಗೆ ಕೆಮ್ಮ the excitement real time be up to date with it all let us capture your milestones get it sizzling hot off the turf hear the experts break it down dig deep into the nitty gritty be inspired by their greatness relive all the scintillating action ರೆಡಿ ಒಳಿ ಬರಪು ಯಾಳ್ ಪಾಣತಿಲ್ಲ ಮಾತ್ರ ಕೊಟವಿಲ್ಲ ಗಂಪಿ ಹೆಸರ ಇಲ್ಲ ದಿ ಸಿಪ್ತದಾಸ ಅಟ್ ಮೋರಟು ಯಗಮ ಮಹಿಂದ್ರ ರಾಜಪಕ್ಷ ಕ್ರೀಡಾಂಗಣ ಕಿಳಕು ಮಹಾಲ ಸುಗದದಾಸ ಇಂಡೋ ಸ್ಟೇಡಿಯಂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಾಕ್ಸ್ ಸೂಪರ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ 
A very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We have come to the close of the Saints Quadrangular Tournament organized by St. Peter's College, celebrating 100 years of excellence at Bambalapidia. And as we are about to commence with the closing ceremony, we humbly and respectfully invite the following dignitaries to step in front of the podium to commence with the closing ceremony. We invite our chief guest, Mr. Vinodhan John, a distinguished old Peterite and a national, a former national cricket player to step forward. We call upon Reverend Father Aravind the Priyasad, the priest in charge of middle school of St. Peter's College. Mr. Ravika De Silva, president of the Old Boys Union of St. Peter's College. Mr. Brigesh Jagannath, the guest of honor and representative of Aaron's Clothing, the official clothing partner of the St. Scott Triangular Tournament for the year 2022. Mr. Ashley Fonseca, the chairman of the Old Peter Wright Sports Club. Mr. Chamin De Pereira, the, ch the tournament chairman. Mr. Mario Luiz, represent representing Mr. Ismail Hussein, Chief Operating Officer of Multilac Corporate. We also invite Mr. Lakshan Aniakara, represent representing Mr. Graham Berenga of Mosan, Colombo. Mr. Irfan Amir Dean, treasurer of the old Pete Wright Sports Club and Mr. Chamil Obesekar, the secretary of the old Pete Wright Sports Club. Before we move on with proceedings for today, we must mention the sponsors of this event who have made this event possible. The event sponsor, Multilac, the clothing sponsor of this event, Aaron's Clothing, 
Nestle Milo, Keels Crest, Maggie, Elephant House, the food and beverage partners of the Saints Quadrangular Tournament for the year 2022. Papare.com, the digital media sponsor. Quadrangle.lk, the photography sponsor. Sunday Times and Daily Mirror, the print media sponsor, and Hema's Hospitals, the healthcare partner for the ev this event. So without any further ado, let's move on to the most important event at today's proceedings, the event that you all have been waiting for. Let us start off with the distribution of the participation certificates. And we call upon Mr. Lakshan Naniakara, representing Mr. Graham Berenga of Moors and Colombo, to step forward to distribute the certificates of participation. So, beginning with cricket, we call upon the captains of St. Anthony's College, Kartuga Stotta, and St. Benedict's College to step forward to receive their certificates. If the captain is not present, a player from St. Benedict's can step forward, or maybe... <laughs> and we call upon the captain of St. Anthony's College basketball team to come forward and receive the certificates of participation. And we call upon the captain of the St. Benedict's College Raga team to step forward to receive their certificates of participation. And now, we will be awarding the best awards in the cricket tournament at the Saints Quadrangular Tournament for the year 2022. And to start off, we invite Mr. Chemilobe Sekera, Secretary of the Old Pete Wright Sports Club, to step forward. We will first be awarding the silver medals for the runners up of the cricket tournament. And we call upon the captain and the team of St. Peter's College, who emerged as runners up in the cricket tournament. We congratulate the Peter and Cricketers for the amazing performance they put to make to the finals of the cricket tournament 
at the St. Quadrangular Tournament for the year 2022. And now, we call upon the winners of the cricket tournament, St. Joseph's College to step forward to receive their medals. Thank you, Mr. Chemiller. We now call upon Mr. Chamin the Pereira, the tournament chairman of the Old Peterite Sports Club, to step forward. We will start off with the man of the finals trophy and the player of the finals who performed exceptionally to take his team over the line is none other than. Master Sadish Jayawardana from St. Joseph's College. Let's give him a round of applause for his brilliant performance. And now, the Best Batsman Award. The Best Batsman Award goes to Master Shevon Daniel for his exceptional performance with the bat that ensured that St. Joseph's College emerged as champions at this tournament. Moving on to the Best Bowler Award. The Best Bowler Award at the Saints Quadrangular Tournament for the year 2022 goes to none other than Chanel Samaratunga of St. Benedict's College. We congratulate Mr. Chanel Samaratunga for his amazing achievement. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the most coveted award, the player of the tournament and the player of the tournament of the All Saints Quadrangular Tournament for the year 2022 in cricket is none other than Master Sharon Daniel of St. Joseph's College. Yeah. Let's put our hands together once more for Mr. Sharon Daniel. Thank you, Mr. Chaminder. And now we call upon our chief guest, Mr. Vinodhan John, a distinguished old Peterite as well as a former national cricket player to step forward. And to present the runner-up trophy, we call the captain of St. Peter's College to collect the runner-up trophy from Mr. Vinod and John. <laughs> and
And moving on to the champions of today at the cricket tournament. In the finals held just a while ago between St. Peter's College and their brother school, St. Joseph's College. St. Peter's College were put to bat first and were able to post a score of 67 runs for the loss of eight wickets in their allocated 10 overs. St. Joseph's College, in reply, were able to chase that score, scoring 68 runs, losing only three wickets. And they only took 8.2 overs to achieve that score. And we call upon the captain of St. Joseph's College to step forward to receive the champion trophy for the cricket tournament from Mr. Vinod and John. Please step forward. We congratulate the team of St. Joseph's for their achievement. Thank you, Mr. Vinod and John. And now we move on to basketball. We call, we call upon Mr. Mario Lewis, Corporate Sales Manager of Multilac, representing Mr. Ismail Hussein, Chief Operating Officer of Multilac, to deliver, to distribute the, the awards. And first off, the runners up of the basketball tournament are St. Benedict's College. We call upon the team of St. Benedict's College, led by their captain, to step forward and receive their rewards. And now we call upon the champions of the basketball tournament at the quadrangular for the year 2022, St. Peter's College, to step forward. St. Peter's College, led by their captain, will receive their championship medals from Mr. Mario Luis. Let's, let's give another round of applause to St. Peter's College for this amazing achievement. Thank you, Mr. Mario.
ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನ ಹಾರಂಬ ಪಾನ ಸಿಂಹ ಯಾಕೆ ಕೆಮ್ಮ the excitement real time be up to date with it all let us capture your milestones get it sizzling hot off the turf hear the experts break it down dig deep into the nitty gritty be inspired by their greatness relive all the scintillating action ಎರಡಿ ಒಳಿಬರಪು ಯಾಳ್ಪಾಣತಿಲ್ಲ ಮಾತ್ರ ಕೊಟವಿಲ್ಲ ಗಂಪಿ ಹೆಸರ ಇಲ್ಲ ದಿ ಸಿದ್ಧದಾಸ ಅಟ್ ಮೋರಟು ಯಗಮ ಮಹಿಂದ ರಾಜಪಾಲ್ ಕ್ರೀಡಾಂಗಣ ಬಿಳಕು ಮಹಾಲ ಸುಗದದಾಸ ಇಂಡೋ ಸ್ಟೇಡಿಯಂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಾಕ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ ಸೂಪರ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಕ್ರೂನಾಗಲ ಸಿಟಿ ಅತುಗಾಲ್ ಪುರವರೆ ಬಬರಿ ಡಾಟ್ ಕಾಮ್ ಅಪಿಯಾ ದೇವಿಲಿ ನಿ ನೋರೆಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರದೇಶ ಫೈನಲ್ ಶೋ ಡೌನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಡಿ ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲಬ್ ಪರ್ನರು ಚಾತಿಕ್ ಸಂಕೆ ನೇಸಿಟ and we call upon mr brijesh jagannathan guest of honor and the representative of aaron's clothing the event clothing sponsor and the runners up of the basketball tournament at the all saints quadrangular tournament for the year 2022 is none other than st benedict's college and now we will be announcing the champions of the basketball tournament in the finals that was just held between st peter's college and st benedict's college st peter's college were able to defeat st benedict's college astoundingly by 74 points to 24 and we call upon the captain of st peter's college the champions of the basketball tournament at the quadrangular all saints tournament to step forward to receive the champions trophy thank you mr brijesh and we now move on to rugby we call upon mr irfan amirdeen the treasurer of the old pedrite sports club to step forward and the winners the runners up the runners up of the rugby tournament are st peter's college and we ask them to step forward to receive their medals
And now we call upon Sin the rugby team of St. Anthony's College, Kartuga Stotter, the champions of the rugby tournament, to step forward to receive their medals. Thank you, Mr. Irfan. And we now call upon Mr. Ashley Fonseca, Chairman of the Old Peter Wright Sports Club, to step forward to award the individual awards. Mr. Ashley Fonseca will be awarding the Player of the Finals Award at the Rugby Tournament. And the Man of the Finals at the Rugby Tournament is none other that Roshin Tusharu Kumara of St. Anthony's College, Kartuka Stutter. Give it up for this brilliant lad for his amazing performance. Thank you, Mr. Ashley. And we now call upon Mr. Shane Gunawadana, Gunawijaya. Mr. Shane Gunawija, the Vice President of the Rugby Foundation, to step forward. And Mr. Shane Gunawija will be awarding the best player of the tournament. And the player of the tournament is none other than Master Sahan Keithisiri of St. Anthony's College. Thank you, Mr. Shane Gunavadana, Gunavijaya. And now we call upon Reverend Father Arvind Priyasad to award the trophies. And we call upon the captain of St. Peter's College to receive the runners-up trophy at the rugby tournament from Reverend Father Arvind Priyasad. And please remain on stage, Father. And the winners of the All Saints Quadrangular Tournament in the rugby competition is St. Anthony's College. And we call upon their captain to step forward to receive the champion trophy from Reverend Father Aravind the Priyasad. We congratulate the boys from Kartuka Stota for the amazing performance they put in today. Thank you, Father. And now, the most awaited part of these two days 
where we'll where we will be presenting the overall champion shield of the Saints Quadrangular Tournament sponsored by Moors and Colombo and the winners and the overall champions of the Saints Quadrangular Tournament for the year 2022 is none other than St. Peter's College Colombo we call upon the captains of all three respective sports to step forward to receive their awards. St. Peter's College have emerged as overall champions while being the champions at basketball and runners-up in the cricket and rugby tournaments. It has been an amazing performance by the Petrites here and they undoubtedly deserve this award. That's it from the, the presentation ceremony. The overall champion of the Saint Scott Rangular, St. Peter's College, taking away the plaque. They were champions in the basketball segment and they became runners up in the cricket and rugby segments. So that concludes uh, the presentation ceremony at the Saint Scott Rangular Tournament, Prison Boys 2022. Thank you for joining us uh, from all around the globe and all around the country. We, we hope you enjoyed our pre presentation. And hope you enjoyed some exciting sports from all three segments. Thank you and good night from property.com. Catch me howling at the moon